morning, jewellery makers. Was Ross dancing? Were you? Sorry, in the intro, we like to have a little sing song and do a bit of freestyling. <laughs> bit of freestyling, you know, jewellery maker. And apparently Ross was uh, dancing. Was it a bit Magic Mike? Yeah. <laughs> We'll get them out in the studio to give us a rendition of that, shall we? How are we all? Oh, it's just started chucking it down here. Chucking it down. But it's a good job. It's sunshine in the studio. Look who's with me this morning. Beautiful Ellie. Hello. Hello, darling. How are you? Yes, good, thank you. We have positively put the world to right, haven't we, this morning? Yes, definitely. <laughs> yeah, I think so. So um, we just need us in government, I reckon. I think a lot of sub problems <laughs> might be solved. <laughs> Adam went, oh. No, I think, I think we do a good job, you know. A little bit of common sense. Yes. <laughs> that would be nice, right? <laughs> that, would, that would be nice. That would be nice. <laughs> anyway, you have got truly an absolutely fantastic Tuesday. We've got gorgeous Ellie. And uh, Ellie, on your VT, I was admiring your jewellery. I'm admiring it all the more in person. Oh, wow. Thank you. Do you want to talk us through? Because these are um, your projects. So yes. I know you've got some amazing gallery wire, haven't you? Yes, yeah. That's So that's for the masterclass at midday. <gasps> yeah. I had a lot of fun making these. They're incredible. Yeah. And the Labradorite is really shillery. Shillery. So pretty. Yeah, shillery. That's a, that's a word. Yeah, it is now. <laughs> it is now. Oh, wow. And what about, you know, if somebody's never worked with gallery wire, is it is it tricky? Um, I haven't found it tricky. And up until my very first show here, I had never used it. Oh, really? Yeah. So that my first show in January was the first time I'd ever used it. And it was surprisingly... Easy, easy compared to what I th how I thought it was going to go. Wow. Yeah. Wow. So you're converted to gallery yes, yeah. wire. Um, so these are coming up at 12 o'clock. Yep, these are 12. And then at 9 o'clock. Yes, we've got gorgeous quartz at 9. So we've got so frosted pretty. quartz and strawberry quartz. I got the kits for. They're so nice. Oh, wow. So we're looking at the frosted right now. Perfect yeah. for the spring and summer months. Yes, definitely. Yeah. Loving those. Um, strawberry quartz as well. I know. I was really excited for these and they're so sparkly. Yeah. So sparkly. I think they might have been my favourite. Oh, okay. I love a micro facet. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, the earrings that you're oh, yeah. wearing, I mean, I think I think it was, um, was it Yvonne? I can't remember. Um, was talking about, there we go, we're on your ear right now. Oh. Uh, was talking about how you work with micro faceted gemstones. Yes, yeah. You know, because they can be quite daunting, I suppose, if you've not worked with them before. I think so. And I think when they're small, people are worried because of the drill holes, but yeah. actually, the drill holes on the micro facets, often you can get a six mil wire through even. Oh, really? In fact, yeah. Surprising. And they're just nice for adding that bit of sparkle. Yeah. I think they just add something special. Magical, magical and special, absolutely. <laughs> um, you're, speaking of magical and special, at 10 o'clock today, we're gonna be joined by wonderful Dave, oh. who is, bringing quite possibly, if if shillery is now a new word, yes, <laughs> I'm gonna say the most metallic-y pearls oh. that I have ever seen, without, without exception. Because these are literally like beautiful, almost like the nacre is made of solid gold. It, they're unbelievable. So at 10 o'clock today, check these out, jewelry makers. The beauty of these incredible pearls. So uh, Dave is launching those. Super, super, super exclusive though. Are they natural? They are natural. Oh, nice. Look at those colors. Oh my goodness me. When we say exclusive, Ross, there's 30 available oh. in the world. That's all we have. Um, tell a lie. 32. <laughs> Makes a difference. That's two extra it people does. potentially that can get hold of these. You know how often I um, rant about this? Not those, put them on a gold class. I mean, how amazing would they be? That and I, be oh, look, useful. we don't sell gold. We should, though. We should. Yeah. I, if I'm sniffing, I feel like I'm going to sneeze. Yeah. <laughs> 
Um, also, so for those of you that, um, Dave was over in Geneva recently and he actually Skyped into the live show um, to launch the most unbelievable strand, the, the color wheel strand. Um, it's, it's absolutely exceptional. I don't know if you can see, it's just down here in this beautiful box. So Dave is gonna be joining us for this as well, for the last remaining opportunities of your uh, Jadeite color wheel strand. Plus he's also bringing, um, that's the rainbow of rarity strand, oh. which is exceptional. And you've got the most lavenders, you've got the most beautiful cherry tomato reds, you've got the most gorgeous Olmec, because it's actually a mixture of locations as well for the oh, first yeah, time. Yeah. So he's gonna be bringing the last remaining opportunities of those. Also a launch, and I can never pronounce it right. Um, sorry? A lashen. Mm. So he launched your Alashan Agate recently as part of our birthday celebrations. We know, I know nothing about this, I've got to be honest, nothing about it at all. He's gonna be bringing you some of the final opportunities of your Alashan Agate. The bangle is absolutely beautiful. Even how it's presented, I mean, it's a box in a box. Yeah, it's really special, isn't it? Beautiful. Look at that, so they're also coming up um, with the 10 o'clock hour. Should we run through the menu? Let's do it. Um, eight o'clock, your early bird this morning are a bit of fun, but they're also super practical. You have a tower of rainbow uh, findings pots, which I use on a daily basis here in the studio. And I'm sure you do as well, um, whilst you're making jewelry. So we've got a big quantity of those and we got 600. So they are available in this hour right now. If you check, it, uh, check out the website, you can add a few of those to your order, go into the most unbelievable price tag. Um, at nine o'clock, you have your trio of quartz projects with our gorgeous Ellie, um, all these stunning designs. Beautiful, from your strawberry quartz to your rose quartz to your frock, they'd all work together, wouldn't they? Yes, they'd look lovely all Amazing together. Amazing together. Um, then at 10 o'clock, of course, um, you've got your natural, most metallic-y cultured ripple pearls that I've ever seen, literally ever, ever, ever seen. Um, that's at 10 o'clock as your deal of the day, but remember, super exclusive, just 32 of those available. And then the last remaining opportunities of your rainbow of rarity and your lash and our gate, at 11 o'clock then we've got your Nan Hong Agate selection. Um, regular viewers will know that it's mined out now, so what we've got is what we've got. It's highly mm. unlikely going to be able to um, replace that. It's actually got, this is the twisted silk variety where you've got those beautiful patterns inside. So if you prefer the solid red, we've got the solid red. If you prefer the twisted silk with those white inclusions that are totally natural, um, we've got that as well. But it's last remaining opportunities of that. And then at 12 o'clock, it's your masterclass with Ellie and some beautiful brand new gallery wire. So uh, floral gallery wire. So that's a first. It's going to be a super Tuesday. And if the weather's doing anything um, like it is here with you, there's definitely a day to stay indoors. <laughs> I had all good intentions of cutting the grass when I got home, but I don't think that's gonna happen, is it? Probably not. And yesterday, was when I arrived, it was blazing sunshine. Yeah. I got a little bit of burnt on my shoulders yeah. waiting for my taxi at the train station. Yeah, yeah, gorgeous. <laughs> um, classic British weather, isn't yeah. it? You never quite know. It's always, it always just keeps you just a little bit, Oh, I could rain. I could. Yeah. I might not, but I could. You're gonna threaten it a little yeah, bit. Yeah, just, ooh, don't forget your coat. <laughs> don't forget. I did that yesterday. I forgot my coat, but thankfully I was all right. Yeah. Um, right then. So have a little look at the website. All the W's at jewelrymaker.com. If you click watch live in the top right hand side of the screen and then scroll down and you'll see the beautiful plethora. Do you like that? Do you like that? plethora of goodies there's your early birds nobody responded so you know just i liked on. it um <laughs> pardon you were mid sip of coffee okay fair enough i'll let you off uh, plethora of goodies look you've got some beautiful pearls you've got some beautiful tiger's eye oh sleeping beauty yes please um, oh, speaking of strawberry quartz, you've got the gorgeous uh, um, stretchy bracelet. What do you mean? What do you mean? Adam says, we can't get excited about every single word that you use, Al. Why? Why not? Why not, Adam? <laughs> <laughs> not even the ones, but you know when you say a word and you think that's not a word, is it? <laughs> it's not actually a word, is it? But you just roll with it. 
I do that quite a lot. Yeah, same. Yeah, that sentence didn't really make sense. Um, okay, can I just say as well, we've got lovely Michael joining us this morning. Hello, Michael. Hello. He's got his legs out as well. You, you thought it'd be sunny. It's not sunny, is it? It might be sunny later. Hopefully this is just a shower. Hopefully. Did you remember your coat though? No. Schoolboy era. Yeah. No. Come on. I've got my Rain Mac. Packed yeah, it. me too. I've got my <laughs> Rain Mac as well. You turn up like this, that much of your face showing. <laughs> In the winter, I, I've got one of those dry robes. Yeah. Oh, it's such a godsend that. On the school run, I am that mum that's always like, you can see that it's much of me. Picking up the kids at school. Anyway, right then, should we get cracking? Should we do it? Because the, I don't know if Michael knows this, but Ross has got a little bit of a signature way of starting every single show, haven't you, Roscoe? Yeah, you, he's not listening. You are. You've got a signature, haven't you? Word for word. He says, <laughs> says, don't doubt me, I was listening. Okay, fair enough. <laughs> fair enough. Um, yeah, do shop ahead. I did notice as well as we scan down the website that items are already selling out. Um, okay, shall we start with a bit of sparkle, Ellie? Yes. Do you reckon? It reminds Roscoe of Mystic Topaz. We haven't seen that in a while. No, we haven't. These are really pretty. I came over and had a little peek at them earlier. Did you? Yeah. What are you fancying? I think they'd look really nice in like a celestial. Oh, a bit of stars piece. and moons. Yeah. Lovely. Um, you get all of these as well. All of these. They're so sparkly. <laughs> Full of sparkles. Um, <laughs> um, <laughs> oh. uh, six within a pack. <laughs> They're taking the mickey out of me, jewellery makers. Adam. Um, do you know, our security just said to us, they're like, Elsa, did you hear them the whole way through the show? Just like talking. I'm like, yes, yes, I do. <laughs> yes, I do. I said, you get very good at filtering it out, though, to be honest. Um, <laughs> I just yeah, you know like you know like when you make if you make like a filter coffee, that's what I do. <laughs> strain it out, just strain, filter out so much of the conversation. Um, signature, by the way, was a pound, pound. It's a pound, it's a pound. Oh. Um, <laughs> moving on, shall we bring you some beautiful amethyst? Not these amethyst, Roscoe. <laughs> Um, <laughs> these are huge. They'd make lovely individual pendants. Oh, they're like sails, aren't they? Yes. Or, or what? If you were making a big stegosaurus, you could fan them across the back. I've just made a little. I've made In a, your head. I've made a chakrasaurus at home, <laughs> which is a stegosaurus with each of the beads of the chakras across its back. I love it. And, I love but if you were you making see. a big one, that would look really cool all down the I, back. I, I just love the fact with our designers, they see a beautiful strand of amethyst <laughs> like this and they immediately think Stegosaurus. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I love how random we are here at Jewelry Maker. Do you know what they'd be good for? Stegosaurus. <laughs> yes. Yeah. I like that. I want to see the gemstone Stegosaurus. Like a Stegosaurus, Stegosaurus sun catcher. Oh, yeah. That That's, would be cool. That would be very cool. With those sparkly things hanging down. Oh, sparkly. Lots of sparkles. Yeah. I want to see, I want to see the Chakra Stegosaurus. I'll show you a picture. Stegosaurus is, what's your favourite dinosaur? Stegosaurus. Probably Stegosaurus. No. <laughs> um, <laughs> I've always liked, I, I, <laughs> I would, I've always liked to try Ceratops. Yeah. I like a triceratops. My son likes a diplodocus. That's often the password. Is you it? can't come past unless you tell me the password. Is it diplodocus? Yes. <laughs> love it. Yeah, love those. It's always the gentle ones that we like. Although we were talking about dinosaurs yesterday, weren't we? We were actually saying, because they'd recently discovered through Amber, that dinosaurs were actually furry. They had feathers. Yes. So now yeah. I can't see a T-Rex in the same light, because like a T-Rex is fluffy. Or in my head it is. Um, this is not, no? Yes, it's a pound. Oh my goodness. It's a good job our viewers are paying attention, isn't it? Because uh, <laughs> I haven't even mentioned the gemstones. I'm, oh. too, I'm too engrossed with the fluffy T-Rex. <laughs> so like, all of a sudden the T-Rexes are like that much more sweet, aren't they? And oh, it's like a big cuddly teddy bear with little arms. <laughs> 
It's true. It's true, isn't it? Can you imagine a T Rex like a, a little, it's like a teddy bear now, isn't it? A T Rex with feathers. Snuggle up in bed with a T Rex. <laughs> I, then I doubt they'd be the best cuddlers, though. No, maybe not. They've got really little arms, couldn't haven't reach. they? Not enough. So they reach. couldn't cuddle very well. <laughs> 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 Next up, let's do. <laughs> oh, the storage boxes. Which one? Let's go blue. Let's go blue, shall we? Oh, full of sparkles. Look at those. You've got some beautiful shapes. Ross is singing songs in my ear. He's in a good mood today. That's nice, Ross. Is it? It's your anniversary today. A happy anniversary. Well done, Coco. Sorry, that's what Ross calls his fiance. Well done, Coco. I feel like she deserves the pat on the back. Um, <laughs> I think she deserves the recognition in this. Um, <laughs> um, all of those beautiful sparkly beads. Plus the storage itself. I mean, look at that. That's a bit mm. of you, that is, Ellie. Yeah, I do like blues. What dinosaur are you thinking with this, then? <laughs> <laughs> we'll make everything into a dinosaur. Yeah. You know, uh, 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 in the 12 o'clock hour, we're still going to be saying, what dinosaur, then? <laughs> what dinosaur? <laughs> a bubble know. raptor. A, a bubble raptor. Is, that such, is there such a thing? No. no. <laughs> I believed you, then. I was just thinking, because you can make bubble bracelets out of them. Yes. Yeah. Oh, I love that. What? It, yeah, what's the sea one? The big, like a big whale. Megalosaurus. Is that what it is? You are, you're or a megalodon, it. and I can't remember what the name of the megalodon's other one is. the shark, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. No, the other one. The one that chomps the bad dinosaur. Playosaurus. In, in, there we go. Chomps the bad dinosaur in Jurassic Park. Saves the day, doesn't he? Oh, is that one in the one of the later movies? Yeah. Yeah, I haven't seen the two latest uh, ones. Yeah. Yeah. Saves the day, chomps the bad dinosaur. Um, we've only got 14 of them. Sorry, we've been very random this morning. I don't know where that's come from because we were actually talking sense. a lot sense. of dinosaur chat. <laughs> yeah, we were talking sense. Like I said, I genuinely meant it when I said oh. we were putting the world to right this morning. Um, nine pounds and 99 pence for your beautiful, beautiful glass and quartzite in one amazing gemstone collection. But can you notice you've actually got little shapes here as well? Um, you've got like little, little leaves. Are they leaves? Yeah. Like little leaves here, and then you've got little starfish. Oh, they might be fish. I think they're fish. Can you see that? Little fishies. Oh, so you definitely go mermaidial vibes there. Yes, yeah. Uh, it's £10. Make sure you check it out. Are they fish? Yeah. Little fishies, look. Are they shrimp? No, they're fish. They're not Can clams. you take one out? I will take one out. They're... Look. <laughs> <laughs> It's a fish. Take my word for it. It's a fish. <laughs> See? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Look at his little mouth. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah. And then you've got, hang on, little starfish. Oh, I love the starfish. Aren't they sweet? I like this one too. Look, hang on. You've got little textured beads too. Little textured beads as well. You get the box as well, jewellery makers. I mean, I think that alone should be a fiver, shouldn't it? Yeah, that it's alone. nice having things sorted. And like colour graduated yes. and everything. So that's just, you know, that's like a kit right there, isn't it? Yeah. A little project straight away. Perfect alongside your um, trio of quartz collections. Yeah, that we've so got it looked especially up. nice with the frosted quartz, I think, yeah. blue one. Very nice. And that's a lot of beads in there. I only had 14 though, and we've got a different colourway. So if I hold that behind, you can see, because they work beautifully together as well. If you want to incorporate maybe some of your. Um, lovely gold, especially the starfish. You need the starfish, don't you, in that colour. Do you know there's loads of different varieties of starfish? Yeah. Can you Google it? How many different varieties oh, of starfish so many, there are? Oh, there's so many, aren't yeah. there? So many. We Googled it yesterday. There's like tens of thousands of different varieties of bees. Yes. 20,000 different varieties of bees. I, I remember seeing recently there was an exciting thing. I think in Florida they found like the blue bee again or something. That was mm. last year or something like that. And Is they thought fuzzy? it was extinct and actually they found it again. Oh. I might be getting the place wrong. Okay. But. <laughs> but a blue bee? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. 
2,000 species of starfish, but the majority of them are five arm. But there yeah. are species of starfish with 10, 20, and even 40 arms. Are they arms? Very cool. Mm. Very, very cool. I don't know. I mean, it, what? I was talking about this the other day. No, not about starfish. But I was like, how do worms reproduce? <laughs> <laughs> Wow, that was a flipping com you know, in conversation. I was, I was literally sat in my garden. Sat in my garden. I was like, my God, El, you're random. And I'm watching the birds hop around. And I was like, oh, lovely. And of course, they're eating their worms. Um, and I was like, how do worms re reproduce? I'm not going to lie, I Googled it. I did Google it. <laughs> there you go. There you go. Let's just say it's it's... Not that surprising, actually, how they reproduce. <laughs> it's just, I was like, okay. Because I don't, I didn't know. Do they oh. lay eggs? Do they, what do they do? I know. I wouldn't know. <laughs> my, my random thought, this is, that's just reminded me, and it was from years ago. We, me and my husband were driving through part of Spain. I was like, do you think that Spanish badgers would understand an English badger? Or do they have different languages? <laughs> or do they just have like certain grunt, like whatever it is they do, but are they in a different language? Would they understand each other because they're from different countries? I, I, you do, and, I I would, and I would just went, <laughs> I was like, why are you still talking about this? We talked about it for about 30 minutes. And I was like, that I'm really interested. Yeah, this is our texting topic, <laughs> isn't it? What was the last random thought that you had? You never know, they might have accents. Well, not even accents, language. but just different, a completely different language. I'm just thinking about a Spanish sounding, uh, a Spanish sounding badger there. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah, I, if I could do accents, I would try and do my own rendition of a Spanish badger, but I'm terrible at it. I'm not going to do it. <laughs> um, well done, everybody. Stay where you are, those phone lines. Do text in. Am I, are we the only ones who have random thoughts like this? Um, yeah. I actually text my friend. I was like, "How do how do worms reproduce?" She was like, "What?" <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> Have you ever thought about how? <laughs> <laughs> She's got. I did say I was like sat in the garden watching the birds. <laughs> and I'm just wondering how do worms reproduce? And she's like, what? <laughs> anyway, back to the gemstones. Um, how about your beautiful Amazonite, your number one gemstone in the lovely palette of colors that actually offers, because it's not just the blue. Um, you can get really almost Larimar-like tones, I think, from Amazonite. Yeah. Um, amazing. 22 pounds and 99 pence would be a great deal for Amazonite. It's all the rage at the moment. This uh, this color palette always reminds me of the bracelet that we saw in Harrods. You know the one? Um, we've shown photographs of before. Um, and it's like 300 quid, I think it is, for a simple stretchy bracelet. Um, these are bigger than those in, in theory. Well, not in theory. They actually are bigger. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, that would be a great price, wouldn't it? But I've got a funny feeling that's not going to be your early bird price. <laughs> Let's do it. We'll show you the piece we're on about. There you go. Oh, see, that's good, isn't it? 290. I was a tenner off. Wow. For that bracelet. Could you make that, Ellie? Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. it says sterling silver, so I'm guessing it's got a sterling silver clasp. It's on like it. a sliding yeah. clasp. Um, I think the sterling silver is little bead caps on the ends, or maybe the little little jump in between, rings in between. Yeah. yeah, you could all make that. I feel. Yeah. Are you ready? Not two hundred and ninety pounds. These are bigger than the ones that you see in the Harrods bracelet, but the same kind of palette. Four pounds and ninety nine pence, jewelry makers. Amazing, for genuine natural Amazonite. Yeah. And you'd, you could make a few stretchies out of that, couldn't you? Definitely. Especially if you're adding in a couple of spaces. What? Father's Day is uh, next month, isn't it? So, I mean, that'd be a lovely gift for Father's Day. Gorgeous yeah. Amazon night. Um, yeah, you could recreate that. Just need some elastic, basically. If you've never made a single piece of jewellery, we can certainly show you how. Janet, Marie Claire, Carolyn, Susan, Jacqueline, hello to you, Dorothy, Merseyside, June, hello to you, Essex, Angela, Alison, new customers. Do text in. Am I the only one who has random thoughts like that? Yeah, Adam's saying yes. 
Have you, don't tell me you've never thought of things like that. Have you ever thought? Try <laughs> Morning, Judith. Say, morning, ladies. My random thought is how do birds know when to gather together to migrate? It is mad, though, that, isn't it? Mm. Yeah, how do they know? And when starlings start a murmuration. Yeah. Yeah. We've had quite a few, yeah, I've seen those mm. as well. We've had quite a few of those outside, uh, um, sort of in Redditch, where, you're st where the studio is, you actually see lots of starlings. Yeah, we have it as well. It's so nice to see them all. And it's just like, it's almost like magic, isn't it? Yeah. You just think, how do they... And why so do they do it? just a few start and then they all join. Why do they do it then? No, I don't know. It's mad, isn't it? Mad. I love that, Judith. That's really got me thinking now. Um, <laughs> let's move on to... Strawberry Court Stretchy Bracelet. We're going to do a close-out deal on this one. Again, whet your appetite for um, Ellie's lovely uh, projects coming up at nine o'clock. So we're going to show you previous... Previous lowest ever price. I mean, how gorgeous is that? £34.99. Strawberry quartz is rare. Very, very rare. Don't be don't be uh, um, fooled by quartz gemstones are rare, in particular sargonetic quartz, which is what this is, yeah. where it gets its colour from the internal inclusions. Remember, we've shown you specimens of strawberry quartz that have sold for thousands of pounds um that's the previous lowest price but we're going to do a close out deal you can deconstruct this if you wish i like it as a bracelet though if you struggle with bangles then here's your alternative brand new close out deal price jewelry makers so much so we've got to have the red clock um how many have we got 23 Karen straight on in there. Well done, lovely. Um, Angela, Conway, Lanarkshire, Mary, Maker wanting three, Helen and Carmarthenshire. Beautiful Carmarthenshire. Um, make sure you're checking out everybody. Previously closed at $34.99. That, that was an amazing deal for Strawberry Courts. Today, close out deal, $19.99. Um, keep those text messages coming through to the, stu uh, to the studio. We're asking for your random thoughts. You know, have you, have you had, ever thought, oh, no. Just you know, you know it's random, but it's a genuine thought or yeah. question. Lauren, you got any random thoughts? <laughs> no, go on, go for it. Look, I just asked how worms reproduce. It couldn't be much more stupid than that, can it? Let's be honest. So you know when you have like a, a paper cut? When you have a paper cut, and yeah. The blood travels through the veins. And, yeah. How does that work? How do you have a paper cut that's not in your veins? How do you have a paper cut that's not in your veins? Yeah. What? what? <laughs> How does, I don't even know what she's trying to say. I, I, listen, we're not judging though, because it's all about random thoughts. I don't even understand what you're trying to say. We'll have to, we'll have to elaborate on that one. Um, make sure you're checking out. Let's do some beautiful, I've got, Lauren's got me thinking now. Um, huge tiger's eye. Hey? I feel like capillaries. Maybe, I might be Something wrong. Something to do with capillaries. I might be wrong. These... I'm going to look it up. When we have, I'm going to look it up. Yeah, in the break. We do, we'll look at <laughs> chat. We'll do, we shall discuss that one. Um, absolutely massive tiger's eye. These are upwards fifth, between 15 and 16 millimeters. Look at that chatoyancy. Seriously. Great guru beads. For oh your yeah, eyes. tops of tassels and things mm. like that. Now we've only got a handful of these available jewelry makers. They are quite possibly the biggest tigers I've brought to Eros. What do you reckon? I'd say so. Only 19 available though. Um, so again, make sure, oh, look at this. This is what I love about tiger's eye. And a gem, can you see that? Lovely migration of light. So beautiful. I won't try and hold them all because I feel like there'd be tiger's eye everywhere. Um, but you do get all of these. Wow, that's four pounds per tiger's eye jewelry makers. Um, 140 carats, yeah, tops of tassels or yeah. gurus, beautiful. Loving that, and again, a gemstone that is um, massively including lots of the big designer brands like your Thomas Sabo, of course, uh, Van Cleef and Arpels. Well done, make sure you're checking out. Um, moving on to, ooh, the Malachite heart pendant. I remember the launch of this. Absolutely flew on launch. Pop this away in your present drawer if you wish. Make sure you get yourself one though, otherwise it won't make its way to the present drawer. <laughs> um, if you're anything like me anyway. 
I've got 21 of these available. We're going to do this, and you get the whole necklace, you get the chain as well. Look at that, lovely, it's a beautiful, lovely malachite. Um, beautiful piece of jewellery, just present it in a nice box. Yeah, that's I mean, lovely. Again, I can't emphasise enough how popular this gemstone is. It, uh, La uh, Malachi, it, it, you know when gems actually have their, their moment in the spotlight, This is de it's definitely Malachite's moment yeah. right now. Um, there's 21 available opportunities. You get the chain, the bail, everything, and obviously the gemstone. We're going to do this in one price crash. From the Congo, so Congolese. Oh, <laughs> nine ninety. Where with in the With the world? chain as well and the bay. Yeah, you'd pay that for the sterling silver chain here at Jewelry Maker. Never mind outside these yeah. four walls; it'd be more than that. And the bale as well. It's a substantial bale. Yeah, you can't make it for that price, can you? No. One of the things that lots of us get into jewelry making for is because, you know, basically we can okay, I can buy pieces of jewelry that I might not be able to afford, um, otherwise. But actually, on this instance, you're better off buying it complete, aren't you? Yeah. I mean, you can go on to further embellish it if you wanted to make it one of a kind. There's nothing stopping you putting clusters. I only oh, yeah. had a handful of these available, though, jewellery makers. So again, make sure you are checking out those baskets. Um, morning, Patricia. Morning to you, June. Morning to you, Kim. Morning to you, Maker. Morning to you, new customers. Um, any more random messages, Roscoe? Yeah, we've got some random, random thoughts we're talking about. Hello, June. Good morning, jewelry maker. The Malakat Heart's fabulous. Um, I bought a few last time, um, and they were on they they were on for prezies. See, that's not random. That's very sensible. That is June. Um, <laughs> such good quality. Thank you, my darling. Um, yeah, I would be thinking exactly the same, June. Pop it away in a present drawer. Well done, everybody. Uh, you can do it, Bucket. I'm sure you can do it, Jill. So make sure you're checking out. Again, we pay $9.99, I think, quite happily here at Jewelry Maker for the chain. Elsewhere, you're talking, what do you reckon, 20, 30 quid for a sterling silver chain? That's without the Malachite heart. Um, only a handful of those available, though. We've got such a super Tuesday show. As you can tell, we're all very excitable this morning. Very, very excitable, because it's going to be a fun day, isn't it? Um, we've got what, sorry? Ah. Oh. Oh. I was looking at these earlier. Do you notice how our demeanour immediately changed? Yes. Uh. <laughs> oh. Lauren, can you pass me? You Your favourite bust. She knows. <laughs> my favourite bust. I think all our busts should be gold. It is nice. Because these, I'm showing pearls. They're so nice, these pearls. These are, uh, honestly dreamy you want to see a perfect round remember edison pearls were i don't want to say invented that's the wrong word the the idea was to take on the finest quality south sea pearls and my goodness me haven't they succeeded mm -hmm. look at the quality of this strand sorry we'll always have a laugh and a joke but when you see pearls of this quality yeah you do need to put sensible hats uh, hats on um, these are the kind of pearls, and I genuinely mean this, jewelry makers, that when I was in the jewellers and we used to sell fine pearls, yes, some of them were Tahitian, some of them were South Sea, they would have been tens of thousands of pounds. Um, I'm, and that's, not, that's 25 years ago. You know, that's what Edison pearls were all about, was taking on South Sea pearls. We can't get South Sea now. Um, we can get Edison, but I will tell you, they are astonishingly expensive at the moment. Do you remember that conversation that Dave had with that pearl trader recently at the beginning of the year in Hong Kong and she she was showing various freshwater pearls and she was saying like like South Sea, the colour, the size. Um, and how much were they wholesale? Something like six thousand dollars, US dollars, um, at wholesale. This is the and it's opportunities like I mean that's perfection right there. It's opportunities like this that prompt me to say Pearls are our greatest strength. However, however, it's not sustainable in the no. current market. Please say there's quantity of these, Ross. Three, okay. Three. I got excited then because I looked up and I thought it was the other number that was up there. <laughs> I five was like, oh, I might you. have a chance. <laughs> oh, no. There's five of you have this in your basket already. 
They're stunning, aren't they? Mm. Beautiful, perfectly round, large Edison pearls. I know our graphics say nine to, to 11 millimeters. I think these are 11. They're bigger than, there's not, I can't see a single one that's nine mil. Definitely not. And again, I'll say it, this is why I, we should be selling gold. Mm. Because of the quality of the pearls that we're looking at right now. Now the first price crash, first. An Edison pearl forms in the same way that a South Sea pearl. It's one pearl per oyster, one. So to get a strand like this that's perfectly matched, you How understand the price, don't you? Yeah. That's your first price crash. I can't stop touching these. There are only three left. And we're going lower. We're gonna do one more price crash and then we're gonna put 60 seconds on your screens. Do you know, Ross, I won't be disappointed if these don't sell out because I'll buy these if there's any of them available. Knock your price at 299 for the final three, some of the best Edison pills I've seen. Wow. And you could use one in yeah. a necklace on a chain. That would look beautiful, just yeah. having a one. And how many are on there? Like, if you were going to do that, I mean, you, you probably haven't got time to count because it's going to I, I, I just can't <laughs> believe that, you know, even when pearls or pearl supply wasn't an issue, 149 is, was far too low then. Now it's ridiculous, though. We buy very, very, very differently. I, I say that we can't currently buy them at the moment. But thank goodness when we could, we did buy big. And I do mean millions of pounds were spent on pearls mm -hmm. across the partnership. So that's the only reason that we see these opportunities on our screen. But that's not, that's what I mean. It's not sustainable. We no. can't replace what we've got within our vaults. So take advantage now. Dorothy, Lancashire, Candy, well done. Well done. Have they gone? I'm not surprised. I'm very envious. They are absolutely beautiful. Absolutely beautiful quality Edison pearls. Now, should we do a bundle of pearls? <gasps> yeah. <laughs> Again, we can't, it doesn't make sense. Apps, it doesn't make any sense. Our pearl buyer has, quite literally the hardest job in the business now the pearl buyer because can, okay i'm gonna buy some tisha pearls no i'm gonna buy some south sea pearls no i'm gonna buy some medicine pearls okay but cough up because they're expensive how about some fresh water pearls that we always used to bring you for 14 years um I used to bring you pretty much on every single show. No, because the Chinese won't export them because the market is so, so, so vibrant for pearls, if you like. And then we do something completely crazy and go, well, let's still bundle them because that's kind of like a jewelry maker thing to do. Yeah, it is, it is mad. I mean, look at this. See if I can hold it up. Yeah. You're getting all three, genuine culture pearls, not faux, not simulant. Even shell pearls are expensive right now. Yeah. Which always used to be the go-to for an affordable alternative. Even, sh these aren't shell pearls. These are genuine culture pearls. How many have you got, Roscoe? Not many, okay. You might channel your inner Sarah Jessica Parker who wore, oh. you know, didn't she, from neckline to, to the floor in a pearl necklace to the Met Gala Ball. We have seven available, seven, and you get all three. Good luck, everyone. Again, goodness me, that's already far too low. Far too low. We're already over allocated on this. I've got seven available. You do need to check them out though. So if they're, just because they're allocated doesn't mean they're confirmed. So don't let that put you off dialing through, checking out your basket. It'll be allocated on a first come first serve uh, basis. Like June, our lovely June in Surrey. She's got hers, well done June. Um, all three strands. Uh, you only need to ask yourself, and I know I've said this a few times, but bear with me. Where was the last time that Jewelry Maker had a pearl day? When was the last time Jewelry Maker had a, a bridal weekend? 
can't. Or it the just, pearl kits we used to do. Yeah, we can't do it. Mm. How often do you see pearls in kits? Not that often. What? <laughs> All for three. So is that what? Yeah, less than twenty pound per strand. But seven of you, five now, will be successful on this. Candy, check out super fast, lovely, and Dorothy. Because they will go. Candy's done it, Dorothy's done it. Well done. Well done. Elizabeth, you can do it, darling, you can. And Rem Fuchsia, you can do it. But you've got to check out super fast. Because they only had seven. And if my calculation's are right, we've got three now. Three, yeah. Three left in the vault. Two. Elizabeth's done it. Well done, lovely. Two left. From Fuchsia, you can do it. You just need to check out your basket. You get all three strands. Oh, and Melanie in Buckinghamshire. I've got one left. From Fuchsia's got theirs. Oh, Melanie. Go on, Melanie. There's one left. Melanie. Oh, okay. I'll leave it with you. You can still do that, Melanie. Or anybody else that's watching right now. Should we do another guaranteed sellout? White fresh water drop pearls. Usually one of the most expensive shapes. Now before, okay, Ross, okay, Ross is asking me the question. He says, white fresh water drop pearls, six to eight millimeters of full 38 centimeter strand. What price do I think they would be? Um, fresh water, yeah? At the lowest. Or can I be cheeky? Forty nine ninety nine. Okay, I'll remember that number. I, and I, I was, I was worried saying that price. Pardon? There was a thousand of these. When? When did we buy a thousand? On the birthday. They're such a nice shape. How did we get a thousand? Okay, so these were launched on the birthday. Clearly with Carol, because I don't remember this. <gasps> They're so nice. I've never worked with this shape before. It's like La Pellegrina really drop pretty. shape. They're beautiful. Oh, raindrops. They are they? raindrops. Amazing. And you know, do you know, you, when, you, when, when Pearl Harvest is going on, obviously they aim for a round, but obviously sometimes, well not aim, that's the wrong word, but they're, they're roto rotating the mollusk. They can't, to actually say, right, I'm going to do drop pearls. I'm going to make these into button mm. pearls. I'm going to make these into, it's not possible. Yeah. So these are like little lottery wins to actually get a rare drop shape. Absolutely unbelievable. Full of luster. Out of an amazing 1,000 that we originally bought, I've got 50 left, okay. That's the first price crash. So I was a bit nervous saying 49.99 because I thought, gosh, that's really cheeky to expect that price tag. They're so nice. I love them. I did say 49.99, yeah. Your next price crash. Look at that, full of luster. And again, a drop pearl is all, or a bit think fireball where you get this blaze of mm. nacre. I think the very lowest would have been forty nine ninety nine. Yeah, I, I generally jewelry makers have not got a Scooby Doo clue. The next price is not your price. Ross is saying in my ear. <gasps> oh, not your price. I was just about to get up and run. <laughs> I do it. <laughs> I, do, I, do, I genuinely do not know what price these were. I would have said forty nine ninety nine. Honestly, Ross, I was I was quite nervous saying that price. We <clears> had <throat> a thousand. I'd be multi buying on this. The phone lines and the web and the app have all gone crazy. Clearly, you're as shocked as I am. I haven't got a clue where Ross is going because that's already far too low. These these are the kind of prices of pearls. Not five years ago. Probably ten years ago. Mm. In fact, in fact, I don't remember seeing drop pills at nineteen ninety nine. I've never seen them. <laughs> yeah, drop pills are normally more expensive. So no, not five years, Al. Not ten years. Drop pills don't command a twenty quid price tag. They are much more expensive. Like I said, they're little lottery wins. 
um, as part of the culturing process. Right. Go on, do it. Yeah, do it. Ellie's off. This is crazy. You have to be quick, Ellie. There's only 50. What on earth? Ellie, they're 9.99. What on earth? No wonder a thousand of these have gone in what? Best part of a week? That's ridiculous. I don't, I... Now, let me just explain something as well, how we do our buying, because uh, I don't know, even I can't get my head around a tenner as a price tag. You know, we might have bought this as part of a parcel. Ellie? Yeah. They've gone. Sorry, lovely. Over 150 people missed out on that. I'm so sorry. That's crazy. We would have probably have bought those alongside something else, wouldn't we? And that's how we've managed to get that deal. I don't know the story, but that's what my assumption would be. Crazy. That's actually crazy. Um, okay, let's do. The last three of the black series that we brought to you the other day, the last three. This is the only one out of a little trio of showcase that we did that is left. We had a 12 mil, a 38 centimeter six mil strand, and then we've got the meter of your six mil. The black series, so this includes your omphacite um, jade, which is arguably one of the rarest colors. I don't suppose we've got a tall bust, have we? Where's our big fancy new gray bust? Has that, has that gone missing already? Um, but again, oh no, Adam keeps them. Does Adam look after them? Um, I don't blame you, because they go walkies, our busts, you see. Um, but I don't want to just lay this across the back of my hand. It's something that's too rare and too precious. I'd be putting this with the pearls, actually. I think that would be absolutely amazing. Now, firstly, I, thank you, Lauren. Oh, it wow. is... <laughs> <laughs> that is a big bust. It is a big bust. <laughs> But this is gallery worthy, you know, this is the kind of um, um, necklace, if you imagine it knotted, uh, the kind of necklace that you can absolutely imagine being on places like First Dibs or Sotheby's, Christie's, Bonhams, you know the drill. Um, anyway, so black jadeite firstly takes three times longer than any other color of jadeite to form and we're talking millions of years longer um if i was to show shine um, a light source some of these would literally light up as an olive green a deep olive green that's what we refer to as omphacite jade you've got your lovely kind of cashmere colors in here as well from your chicken skin um, and remember there was a message from bernard who was talking um who was talking about the rarity because you know i'll be honest i love jade but i'm not as educational as obviously the likes of bernard is um and he was talking about just how rare this amazing parcel actually is definitely 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 worthwhile getting hold of your certificate of authenticity now because there is only three and you are getting a full meter which is just mad um we're going to do what Okay, let's get a little bit closer, says Ross, to your final price, your first price crash. Not where we're closing, but we could. That, that right there, 499, and please know but that is a considered amount of money. However, not for what we're looking at. We are looking at one of the world's rarest gemstones, and even more than that, one of the world's rarest varieties of said gemstone. The last three of your black series, type A, jadeite. Yeah, I mean, it's not being mined. So for us to be able to actually bring you more would only be probably from someone that's actually maybe collected it and then is sitting on it waiting to make some profit. So to actually bring it to you at this price tag, that well, I can pretty much guarantee is almost impossible. What? A minute on that price tag, a 38 centimetre strand would be absolutely mm. amazing. This is the last of the black series that we have here at Jewelry Maker. You get a full metre for that price. Remember what, what Bernard was saying? He was talking about how you've got like the um, omphacite in here. You've got some of the chicken skin colour. It's not the most romantic description, but it is quite literally what the Chinese describe it as. 
um, where you have that lovely patterning. Um, I've, I think my three has gone down to two now, jewelry makers. So well done to you, Patricia. That's two left in the business. Could potentially be completely irreplaceable. Logic tells me that that's probably the case. Angela June and Maker. Um, so Angela June, if you check out your baskets, you can be successful on this one. Thirty-seven pounds and twenty-five pence for one of the world's rarest gemstones. But even more than that, one of the world's rarest gemstones and of this variety as well. Good luck. Uh, Patricia and Shropshire is joining us as well on the phone line. Stay where you are, Patricia. You can do that. There's only three left in the business, or rather there were only three. So, last chance saloon. Incredible. That is. I've got June, Gaynor, Patricia, Angela, and another June there. So, well done. I'll leave it with you. That is a big bust, That's isn't a really it? really big bust. Now, let's do... One more before your early bird, so your lovely stack of pots. A gemstone that we never see. Don't tell me that's what I think it is. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> is that imperial? That's what no I way. Mm. It's so nice. This is the rarest colour of all topaz. And this, I think it's a really underrated stone as well. It's so pretty. Like it's, there's it's, something... I just don't think... I don't think it's underrated. I think it's unknown. Not unknown. That's, that's, yeah. that's, the, uh, that's the best term you know, for it. Like, unknown, yeah. At the Ouro Preto mine in Brazil, which was previously a gold mine, more money goes into the ground, does that make sense, than is actually physically extracted in imperial topaz wow. so basically what tends to be the case that actually imperial mine owners it's not a business for them mm -hmm. it's about owning the ultimate treasure trove yeah if you want to read a fantastic article i say this every time about imperial topaz read matt bennett's article that he wrote about the Oropreto mine some years ago it's on the if you google um, Matt Bennett, Imperial Topaz Gemporia or something like that. It talks about how rare this gem is. If you go to the book that some of us might have, the Gems and Crystals books, um, we used to have one in the studio. You go to the Topaz section, the first photograph that's on there is not of a London blue or a sky blue or a colourless Topaz. It's Imperial because it's the rarest of all. Mm. If you are a November baby, by the way, then this is your birthstone, Topaz is your birthstone. If you want the rarest of all, then it's on your screens right now. This is not a 49.99 gemstone. It's far too low. Are you telling me that's natural? No way. One crash, one minute, and then we're gonna go straight to your early bird. This is already far too low for this gem. We had, what, one last thing. When I was presenting on gems, the smallest collection in any gemstone that we ever had at that time, as in the most limited, most exclusive, was Imperial Topaz. Good luck. It's a collector's stone, without doubt. Mm. Oh, oh good. my goodness. <laughs> That's just ridiculous. I mean, I can bring you, I can't bring you Mystic Topaz for that, which is created. Not the topaz, but the mystic. Yeah, yeah. You know, I can't, I can't, I can't bring you colourless topaz for that. Everybody who, yeah, who is in the know on how rare this gemstone is, is 100% checking out. Like Angela, like Cynthia, like Susan. I've got Rachel there, Maker there, Dorothy there, Melanie there, Candy there, Catherine there, Cynthia there, Christine there, Rachel. And as you said, you're, you're so right. It is a little known gemstone. And yeah. that's because sometimes a gem's rare, it can be a victim of its own rarity. Yes. Does that make sense? Yeah. Um, and the fact is a topaz, people don't realise it's as rare as it is. Um, it's, it's up there. It's got to be up there in some of the world's rarest gems. 10 seconds and I'm going to be diving straight into your early bird jewellery makers. Make sure you're checking out this. Make sure you're checking out all of the items we've brought you thus far. A bit of colour in your pots next.
Sorry. There's 117 of you with it in your basket. I can't, I can't let that not sell out at that price tag. <sighs> okay, it will. Stay where you are on those phone lines. I, I, that's probably a first and a, and I'll never ever do it again. I've just bought Imperial Topaz. And what, yes! And those white freshwater drop pearls. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. The pearls have sold out, by the way. Uh, Talk about high end. That's ridiculous. This is what jewelry maker do. So pretty. Gorgeous. It is boutique ads. I totally agree. Amazing. Again, that's why we should have gold. Just because you've paid nine ninety nine does not mean that that's the price it should be. Please know that. Please know that. Wow. Okay. Right then, I use these on a daily basis. Mine aren't colourful though, but these are genius. Um, I notice, Ellie, on all of your VTs, your studio is very tiny. Very tidy and very organised. That, that, well, that's mostly what you see. <laughs> but yeah. Uh, <laughs> Behind me is all organised in all the individual drawers. Yeah. My desks. I have a clear bit where I do my making. Okay. But I have four desks. <laughs> okay, surrounding you. Yeah. Um, Natalie was saying to this to me the other day. She was saying, like, on the VT, sorry, Natalie, if you're watching, I'm letting everyone know your secrets. And you were like, no, 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 it's just the camera's strategic. Yeah. <laughs> and I was like, no, I get it. You don't, it's the same, you know, when you when someone FaceTimes, you're like, oh, I'm sitting here, it's the only room in the house that's tidy. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Anyway, um, but organisation and, you know, little things that you go to or you use on a regular basis, crimps, uh, findings, whatever yeah. it might be, jump rings, you can have in these little individual pots. Now, um, they are different colours, all different colours, and they screw together, look. So you could colour code them. So you could have, if you've got a couple of sets of these and you have, like, your different rose gold, silver and gold findings, you could have all your ear wires in the orange pots. You could have all the crimps in the green one so that they're always in the same one. So you know quickly what one to go to, you even go to. in every different color. Yeah. Look at these and they screw on top of one another. So obviously there's only one lid because the idea is that they're a tower. How good are these little pots? Mm. How good? And also, you know, if you're going, I don't know, say you're going away and you only need a few findings, just take two pots. Yeah. Because that lid will go on all of them, by the way. Yes. Um, just take the two pots. Um, how good? How good is that? Just screw together. The pot becomes the lid. Genius. Absolutely genius. And I'm talking jewellery making. I mean, obviously, anybody that's got a hobby, a certain mm. hobby... Maybe with little intricate uh, um, components or parts. Sorry, I'm just being all fiddly here. Um, then these are going to benefit them as well. Maybe you do something like your diamond dot art or, yeah. or um, I bet nail technicians would find these very, very useful. Yeah. Oh, my daughter, she loves her craft. Um, so there's little bits everywhere. Furry pom-poms. Mm. I've, got, I've got sequins. Yeah. And they get everywhere, don't they? Get sucked up the hoover, never to be seen again. These would properly organise it all out. Mm. Now, we're not stopping jewellery makers at £9.99. pence. Very useful, don't you think? What about if you're going away and you want to take something like creams, lotions and yeah. potions? Be good for that too, wouldn't they? I'd probably want to rearrange the stack so it's in like... Would you? A rainbow colour order. Go on then. So it's like... Where would you start? Oh. Is there a red one? There isn't red, but there, there is a very red. deep pink. Yeah. So I'm going to go... Yeah, I'd probably go blue. Blue. Green. Green. Pink. Maybe. I'd probably have the white one on the bottom. I'd go blue, pink. No. But I've, yeah, but the lid can be moved, and the li and the lid will still look fine on any of them because it's clear. It will take on the colour of the one below if you're looking at it. So that one goes with that one, doesn't it? Yeah, and then I'd probably put the orange, the darker orange, and the lighter orange on top. On here. Yeah. And yeah. Then maybe the blue on the purple, and then the green on the bottom. Yeah. Okay. That looks better for my eyes. <laughs> okay. We could do that. My you son's obsessed with rainbow, so everything is like specifically in. 
There you go. Yeah, that's better for my eyes. Is that better? That's you better find for my that... brain. <laughs> yeah, fair enough. I get it, I get it, I get it. There we go. We do love an ombre here at Jewelry Maker. Now, we're at $7.99. They are so useful. Um, you can take your condiments if you go on your picnics. Oh, those yeah. kind of things. Little salt and peppers yeah. and everything. Lunch pots, lunch boxes. Um, we're at $4.99. And I do have a big quantity of these. Big quantity, but I don't think people are just going to buy the one. I think people are going to be looking at getting multiples. Yeah. Yeah, you go on a picnic or you go into, I don't know, um, we've got a place called Ragley Hall not far from us, and they do things like the like air shows, mm. and, um, which are always fantastic. And you take it uh, take your picnic alongside. So again, when you want to sprinkle your salt and pepper, when you want to take a little bit of mayo. Yeah. Why not? Yeah. But also, obviously, for your findings. Yeah. <laughs> but, mainly, is... but mainly for your crafting thing. <gasps> yeah. Like Which sand is... art. Sand art, yeah, yeah. Good call. I haven't done that for years. Micro so gemstones. Yeah. So yeah, there's... so I just have mine in little plastic bags I've got in here. But actually, I could separate them out and have them in their different pots. You could have them in your pots. Mm. And you could colour grade the pot to your... To, yeah. to your that would make micro me gemstones. <laughs> um, we're at four ninety nine. Lots of organising going on. I can see Jacqueline, Caroline. Hello to you, Laura. Hello to you, Kathy, Tina, Jane, Patricia, Brenda, Lorraine, Vanessa, um, and lots of you still with it in your baskets. Good luck. Four ninety nine is already an amazing price tag. Oh, wow. three ninety nine. Oh, what? okay. <laughs> We've got six hundred of these. Just little bits. Little yeah. bits that tend to accumulate in and around your home. People who make like fishing flies. Oh, fly fishing, like yeah, yeah, fly good call. Because you don't want them just knocking around you. They can be really sharp. Yeah. What about textiles? Would you use them in textiles? Yeah, well, if you've got like the little, like the craft knife with the little tiny blades, blades. that's a good thing to put that's them in. That's a good idea. Mine are just loose. Wouldn't it? Yeah, we don't. We That's not a good. Just shove my hand in the drawer. <laughs> yeah, we don't want that. You've got to be careful, haven't you? Um, Texting jewelry makers, little items that you can put in your colourful pots. We use them here in the studio um, on a daily basis. I kid you not. I've yeah. always got little plastic pots around me. Um, when Lauren brings me spacer beads, when Lauren brings me, um, I don't know, like the, like the tiger's eye a few moments ago. They're in yeah. a pot, so obviously they don't roll everywhere. And they'd go well with the first kits as well because projects even because they've got all the little beads yeah they've got the Perfect. individual spaces with them and ultimately you're looking after the pieces that you actually purchase yeah 3.99 was good 2.99 is better it is very useful very yeah. very useful I'm trying to think, like, craft is very broad isn't it so there's lots and lots and lots of things that we can actually lots incorporate in would these. they fit needles in Ah, uh, possibly. Shorter needles. Yeah. Glitters. Oh, I did face painting at the weekend and I have glitters. So they'd actually ah, be good in those. Oh, yes. Yeah. What about um, if you wanted to do things like lip balms? Because some people make lip balms, yeah. don't they? Like with the beeswax and things like that. Oh. You could do that. We're at £2.99. <laughs> We've got 600 of these available. Yeah, lip balms. Yeah. Or, you know, sometimes, like, um, if you, if I suffer, I get, this is me all over. My, I buy a lipstick. I don't wear makeup very often when, um, when I'm not in work. But my Tiggy has just found out where my makeup is and she likes to destroy my lipsticks. Yeah. But apparently, if I, if you melt it, you can, into a pot, it's reusable. So yeah. I could do that. I yeah. could put them in these little pots, couldn't I? Yeah, Where that's Tiggy's a good idea. just modged my lipsticks together. <sighs> nice. Um, and eyeshadows, you can do the same with your eyeshadows, etc. So you can make your own makeup. Yeah. Perfect. We're at two ninety nine, but we are going even lower. Why is it whenever we have little storage containers like this, we never solely talk about the function that they were purchased, <laughs> i.e., jewelry making? We always go off on a completely random tangent, don't we? Totally random. Yeah, lip balms, lip balms, <laughs> makeup. Um, what do we do? In a couple of uh, a couple of seconds, it's going even lower. Can you believe this? One pound and ninety nine pence only. I don't think there's going to be people just getting one uh, ones of these. No. Um, yeah, when you come to the end of a strand, you might have a few. Yeah. Gemstones. Because I loose. just started shoving mine all in one box. 
Yeah. So I've just got a box that's really heavy. It's kind like of like the scoop. ends of gems. Yeah. And then if you wanted to actually say, oh, actually, I'll make a pair of earrings, and now you've lost them all, haven't you? Because yeah. they're in that bead scoop. You'd be surprised how many beads actually go in these. Mm. You'd be really surprised. Um, even of the larger ones, you know, there's a fair amount of space and storage in there. So, yeah, you know, say you've, those pearls that you've just had. Do what? Yeah. Try the clear one on the bottom. No, okay. leave the green one there. Leave the green there. Oh, you want the, the green there? But just the clear one on the bottom. Hang on. Oh, I what? like the daisies on your nails as well. Just oh, thank you. Just notice the... <laughs> thank you. Clear one on the bottom. Right, okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I think that's better. Mm, uh, I don't. Oh, no. Uh, that's a lid. I don't. You're right. Adam, that was a rubbish idea. <laughs> no, I've always said the clear one on the top. Yeah, and if you do the lid up properly. <laughs> clear one on the top, definitely. Um, amazing. Well done, everybody. Make sure you check it out. Coming up after the break, jewelry makers, we've got Ellie's gorgeous, gorgeous kit. It's all about your trio of court. Um, so don't go anywhere. Gorgeous rose court, strawberry court, and also frosted court. Um, all of which comes with instructions. Make sure you check it out your baskets, and we'll see you in two. <laughs> Hello, I'm super excited for our show on the 21st of May. I've got some amazing kits and I'm really excited to share some fun demos with you. In the nine o'clock hour, we've got some beautiful strawberry quartz that come with um, silver spacers. And also some of this, look at this gorgeous frosted quartz that comes with gold spacers. Those are both at 9 a.m. And then for the masterclass at 12, I'm so excited beautiful gallery wire and amazing labradorite cabs. I can't wait to show you some fun demos and I'll see you then, bye. How would you like to be part of an unofficial world record attempt and amongst the largest number of people making jewellery at one time? On Friday the 31st of May at 10 a.m jewellery maker will be holding the world's biggest make along where over zoom you can join fellow jewellery makers of all abilities as we attempt to break a world record whether you've never made jewellery before or it's your favourite hobby you can join us all you have to do is sign up via the link below we will send you an email with the zoom link to join us near the time Go to www.jewelrymaker.com for inspiration and, of course, how to sign up. See you on the 31st of May for the world's biggest make-along. Hi, Jewelry Makers. Monica here. Just wanted to tell you quickly about what's coming up on Wednesday's show on Jewelry Maker. In the 9am Project Tower kits, we've got these brand new sterling silver seaside themed connectors. Um, along with the tassel caps and seed beads, of course, and these beautiful tassels as well. And not forgetting some beautiful um, fire agate gemstones, which is one of my favorite gemstones because I just love all the patterns um, in there. So I've also got the instructions written to show you how to make these necklaces. And then in the 12 o'clock hour, we've got all full on seed bead kits, but with brand new hex cut twisted hex cut size 10 uh, seed beads which I've never used before to be honest with you and I really love them they are so sparkly this is the bracelet uh, that I've written the instructions for it also comes with a magnetic clasp which, make, which makes it fabulously easy to wear uh, we've got three colorways of those as well and the instructions to make this bracelet um, so I hope you can join us on Wednesday on the 22nd from 8 o'clock in the morning see you then <music> Hi 
Jewelry Makers, it's Charlie. I'm back with you this Friday, Friday the 24th, and I'll be with the lovely Elle and the fabulous team. At uh, nine o'clock, we have got some beautiful floral pendants. I'm going to be walking through how you go about setting those. And then at 12 o'clock, we have so many goodies. It's all about metal smithing, forging metal. Uh, so we've got lots of hammers, steel block. There's a new tool as well, a new tool that will help you um, if you're uh, soldering at the minute and you're struggling to get everything set up, this is going to be really useful for you. Um, so I really look forward to sharing all that with you guys and I hope you can join me on Friday. See you then. Welcome back jewellery makers. Oh, I have to say... These projects are definitely a bit of you, Ellie. Yes. Yeah. They were very fun to work with. And, and, and because you get so much as well. I mean, you could make masses. Yes, I've still got plenty left in here that I didn't actually use. So, yeah, the other pieces there. If I just empty it all out. And, oh, my goodness. And um, there's actually at home all the tiny silver ones that I didn't use as well yeah because you don't just get the gemstone strands you're also getting oodles of spacer beads so i'm yes. not just looking at this from a project perspective i'm looking at this from you know a stash replenisher perspective yes as yeah well. um now with each of these you do get ellie's amazing instructions um which is all about your quartz chandelier earrings um, so they're lovely, aren't they? I like them. <laughs> they're perfect for the spring and summer. Yes, yeah. I thought it's just, it's coming round to that time of year where you think you're going out a little bit more, nice weather, and you want something a little bit fancy. Does going out mean going outside the house? I mean, obviously yeah. in your garden. No, just leaving. The leaving the house. Oh, okay. <laughs> I always put my earrings on for when I go over to the school run. So. Do you? Yeah. I'm impressed. It's the only thing I put on. I don't ever wear makeup. I just shove I all my jewellery like on. I'm like, yep, I'm ready to go. <laughs> when I'm on the school run, I literally look like a bag lady. Um, anyway, anyway, so can we bring those earrings round in front? Just because we can't quite. There we are. Um, so you get the instructions for this as well. Now, you can choose. Obviously, they'll all work together. So we've got strawberry quartz, which is uber rare. Um, yes. rose quartz and we've got frosted quartz but like I said each of these projects come with a lot of spaces as well um, so I'm going to start with the strawberry quartz now this is the only project that if your preference is silver colour then this is the only project that comes with the silver um, okay so let me just scooch these for a minute um, sorry Lauren can you pass me a black board lovely is that okay um, just then so I can show, I can tip these ones out. Sorry, Lauren. It's almost like I waited for her to actually go <laughs> and then to call her back. Sorry, darling. Thank you. Um, okay, so you get, firstly, tubes, which are crimps, but they're also decorative little beads, aren't they? Crimp covers, like little Pac-Men. You get all of your two mils. And, oh my goodness. I know. All of those. So many. That's a lot of, do you see what I mean now? It's also a stash replenisher, isn't it? Look, there's your little pots I use on a daily basis. Yeah. Um, now, not only do you get that, you have one, two, three strands I agree. I totally Look agree. <laughs> Three strands of strawberry quartz. Ross has just said he thinks that this parcel is the nicest strawberry quartz we've seen. I agree. Now, can I just say, strawberry quartz is what we refer to as a sargonetic quartz, which is very rare. Yeah. Now, quartz as a mineral is not rare. It's the second most abundant mineral on the planet. However, quartz as a gemstone, very, very, very rare. A sargonetic quartz basically means the gem will get its colour from the internal inclusions. Can I just show you a specimen that was sold at Bonhams and it's sold for 3,000 US dollars. You might be thinking, yeah, but that's massive. It's not. It's actually not. And it says, rare strawberry quartz, 
a rare quartz uh, for the collectors. This is an exemplary specimen of one of the more important varieties of included quartz, frequently confused um, by laymen with synthetic imitations. This is not synthetic. True strawberry quartz is actually a naturally occurring and very rare red stone having inclusions of scintillating hematite needles. Uh, this single well terminated crystal point of strawberry quartz with its superb luster presents a rare opportunity for collectors of included quartz. Um, so they, there you go. That's, that's one of the auction houses talking about this rare specimen. Do you remember the launch of your Moroccan amethyst? Do you remember when that was discovered? It was around about, I think, 2015 times, so around about then anyway. The reason that that went almost overnight globally is because red inclusions were found inside this. Um, and red is not a color that usually forms in quartz. It's very rare to find in quartz. It's hematite inclusions that produce those red flashes. Here's another piece. It's not just a one-off specimen that fetched that price tag. Here's another piece. Wow. Yeah. Um, sold, or I don't know if that's the estimate, probably the estimate, which means it probably went for more. Back in 2018, the estimate was between 5,600 and 7,400 pounds. Um, the world of gold opals and other phenomenal gemstones. Now, not only is that strawberry quartz, that piece also has a star asterism, which I think you can see there as well. So those hematite inclusions will have aligned to create that. Can you see here? That's a cat's eye. So it's just one single line sold for over a thousand dollars. We are talking about a very, very rare gemstone. Two and a half grand, that one. We're talking about a rare gemstone. So again, it's it's the collectability that says this strawberry quartz specimen lives up to its name. It's beautiful color, reminiscent of fresh strawberry jam. Measuring, look at that, yeah, three and not, a half inches. That's the bit I was just looking at. I was it's like, wow, not it's huge. Not... We, the, you know, and I, we've brought you strawberry quartz before. I remember the launch of it quite vividly. We are talking about a very rare gemstone, quite possibly one of the rarest in our vault. You're not just getting one strand. You're getting three. And I'm gonna reiterate what Ross has just said. I think it's one of the best parcels we've purchased. 58 carats of natural, mm. it's not treated, which is what you want your strawberry quartz to be. Natural strawberry quartz. There are 70 available. Can we just say, make no doubt about this, this is one of the rarest varieties of quartz in the world. Graphics, alive. Um, you had quite a special project here. Yeah. I really, really enjoyed working with this. The faceting on this specific gem, just it gives it a real special like luster. Yeah, There's sparkle. Yeah. You get that wonderful uh, um, luster internally as well from yeah. your hematite inclusions. It's, it's a really pretty, pretty, pretty stone. And I love that, reminiscent of like a strawberry jam. It's the tiny, um, almost like pips, yeah. of hematite that naturally occur. Don't forget, you don't only get the three strands, you also get all of those um, additional uh, findings as well with your spacers in two different sizes, your crimps and also your crimp covers. Um, and you also get Ellie's gorgeous instructions as well. Now I've got 70 of these. This is one for the collectors without shadow of a doubt, jewelry makers. Those of you that are, sorry, um, those of you that are um, looking to really expand their collection with something that not everybody on this planet will actually have. Quartz, yeah, sure, but not, not strawberry quartz. It's incredibly rare and it's incredibly expensive ordinarily. Um, how Jewelry Maker brings this gemstone at such affordable price, ta uh, price tag, I do not know. Now, 70 available or were um, available, they're not gonna last very long. They aren't going to last very long. Your first price crash. Again, you're talking £100, but that's actually only £33.33 33 per strand of strawberry quartz and then all your findings for free. Yeah. When you look at it that way, it's not bad. No, it's, it's really not. not bad. We were just talking about... Here we go. £190... For a stretchy bracelet. And that's actually a fantastic price. 
The quality isn't as good as yours, I have to say, because it's quite dark. Can you see the big black inclusions in that? Yeah. I agree, I like strawberry quartz faceted. Um, yeah, they're quite, that, that makes, that's a great price for strawberry quartz, but there are some big black inclusions in that, which I would prefer not to have. Um, look at, look at that luster, that scintillation again, that Bonham spoke about when they were auctioning that uh, specimen eff effectively. Scintillation internally, but luster externally. So the reality is, yeah, we're at £100. However, that is £33.33 .33 per strand of strawberry quartz. Um, is it natural or dyed? It's natural, Jeanette. Totally natural. It, I, I, I get the question because also, A, you want your strawberry quartz to be natural. You do. Yeah. That's where the value is. Um, it's fine if you want the look for less, then yes, you can get the dyed variety. However, that is totally natural. extremely difficult to purchase some might even go as far as saying this is one of the rarest if not the rarest variety of quartz i'm trying to think out i'm trying to think out loud now probably is red mm. quartz when we always used to say it's a bit like the conversation you say oh don't get blue in a garnet and then what do we discover yeah. blue garnet <laughs> um Red was that colour to the quartz family. We were always like, I oh, don't get reds in, in, in a quartz. Yeah. You do, but very, very, very rarely. In relation to your question, imitation strawberry quartz. Strawberry quartz is very popular uh, and abundant. Ha However, material with superb colour and appearance is rare. There you go. Um, nature does not provide enough superb strawberry quartz to meet the demand. So numerous people have figured out how to make materials that look just like strawberry quartz, imitated effectively. Ours is not imitated. It is totally natural, superb quality strawberry quartz. We are not stopping there. There are only 70 chances though. And you get all those findings, you get all those spaces, which are silver plated. After we have just confirmed that it is natural, Wow, yeah, mm -hmm. I know. It, I, I would make that assumption as well, Jeanette, to be honest. When you see something that's that intense in red colour, I would go, okay, well, that's that treated. Um, or I'd certainly ask the question. We're at 49.99. I can confirm this is natural. For the larger size alone at that price is amazing. Absolutely amazing. Do you remember, Jeanette, when we first launched this? I think they were that price per strand, weren't they? And I'm going to reiterate and sort of back what Ross has said. I think this is the finest parcel that we've got to date. We see it very sporadically. And it's not through lack of want. It's through lack of availability. Mm -hmm. It's a very rare variety. Arguably the rarest of all quartzes. We're at 49. Uh, to be honest as well, we could put these with your precious. We should put these with your precious metals. Good luck, everyone. It'd be amazing as well alongside your rose quartz that I think is coming your way. Yes. I've only got 70. At the end of this 60-second clock, how about if I told you £10 per strand and then all of your spaces for free? And, and the instructions. And the instructions. <laughs> And the instructions. How many spaces do you get? Is it like, like, it looks like about 100 of each. Loads. By the by, £10 per strand of strawberry quartz, natural strawberry quartz, and everything else. Ellie's instructions. All of those spacer beads. Sorry? Yeah, there's 200 spacer beads you're getting here, mm. jewellery makers. I mean, surely that alone should be, what, £15? 15? At least. At least. Hang on, hang on. Stop the clock, stop the clock, stop the clock, stop the clock. Stop. We've just been, I, look, we've been so engrossed in the strawberry courts, I haven't even thought about this. So much so, Ross is questioning himself. Well, Ross, 
You can't go back on it now, lovely. You've said it out loud. <laughs> but can we just say, that's a hundred four millimeter spacer beads. What do you reckon, 10 pounds? A hundred two millimeter spacer beads. What do we think? 7.99? Plus you get your crimps and you get your crimp covers. So again, for that alone, the price we've just promised. How much? Yeah, I agree. Ross says minimum £15 at Jewelry Maker. Let's be conservative and say that. £15. So that means then that your natural strawberry quartz is now £5 per strand. That's madness. Okay, let's start the clock again, Jewelry Makers. <laughs> Ross says let's just deal with it yeah and the instructions <laughs> don't forget that on our sister channel you're talking £10 for those all of this one of the rarest varieties if not the rarest variety of quartz in the world yes it is natural it's not imitated it's not dyed plus all of those beautiful silver plated spacers and we have made a price pledge yeah we've said it out loud now we've got to honour it under £30 um, for this entire project Karen, Swansea, Brenda, Ayrshire, June, Claire, Mary, Suzanne, Angus, Susan in Essex, Maker in Oxfordshire, new customers getting involved and we have got multi buyers. They will go beautifully with your other varieties of courts that are coming up within um, Ellie's project hour as well. Any questions do text in. Good luck because there was only 70, one for the collectors for sure. You know, we'll bring you, I mean, it's such a privilege to be able to talk about rare gemstones like this. You're not going to find, never say never, but it's highly unlikely that you'll find strawberry quartz on your high street yeah. highly unlikely and in fact it wasn't until I, I joined jewelry maker that I knew about strawberry quartz didn't know it existed 29.99 it's crazy I know I've been saying it but when yeah. you see it in black and white on your screens I know and this was this was my favorite I mean I'm drawn to the micro faceted anyway because that's yeah. just that's just what I love but there's there's something about them Look at that colour. I know. I am. I'm just saying. <laughs> it's the scintillation from the hematite inclusions that are giving you the red yeah. colour. Otherwise, if you didn't have the hematite inclusions, that would be clear quartz. Yeah. You and know is that, that the iron? Is that because of the iron it makes it red in the. Possibly, yeah. Hematite. This is the same as. Um, um, if you there's hematite in Larimar that gets, gives it a red yeah. color, so um, absolutely. I mean, it's super, super, super rare to get that beautiful strawberry color. Half the stock is gone, jewelry makers. <laughs> Ross, he says I've gone into the price, but I have just noticed something. Okay, I'm I'm literally repeating what he's saying in my ear. If you see enough people, he says, I can take it lower. And if we can, we always will. If we can sell out of all 70 and we have the ability to take it lower, we've got to remember that's what, what you're... What? <laughs> Sorry. He's crunched some numbers. <laughs> he says, only if I see 70 of you with it in your basket and on the phone lines, though. He's crunched numbers. And remember, at Jewelry Maker, that's what we're about. If we can bring you the rarest gemstones... For the most affordable price tag, that's been the ethos the very get from the very get-go. But you know that that's no reflection of the true value or worth. Now, use this 60 seconds, jewelry makers, to show Ross that you want, historically, probably the best deal you'll ever see on Strawberry Quartz. Do you agree with that statement? Historically, this has to be the best deal that you will see on Strawberry Quartz. And I would sell those earrings for £30. Okay, so how about if I said you're in profit then straight away? Yeah in a big way they are a guaranteed sellout says roscoe as it's happening it is happening because did you hear that price that Ross yeah, just said? it's ridiculous <laughs> you know again it's no reflection of the true value or worth this is one of the rarest varieties of quartz in the world it's not imitated it's totally natural we've just shown you specimens of three and a half inches that sold for four figures you know we're bringing you faceted um natural strawberry quartz of both your two and a half three and four millimeter plus all the findings as well and how about if i told you jewelry makers we're going to take this under 20 pounds today <sighs> under 20 pounds
Mm. Is that the lowest price we've ever done strawberry courts? It must be. <laughs> do you know what I'd use this with? Nan Hong. Oh yeah, look, with the silk especially. I think it would look especially it. nice with a Nan Hong silk. With some Nan Hong agate, okay, I think that'd be mm. beautiful. Oh my goodness me, yes. Thanks Michael, thank you. Yeah, it's just beautiful. It's just gonna, you know, cause they're both natural. They complement one another, don't yeah. they? Amazing, that I do think is probably historically the lowest price of strawberry quartz we will ever see. Never know, never mind have, will ever see. It's a brand new parcel. Your Nan Hong Agate's coming up in the 11 o'clock hour, jewelry makers. I only had 70 of these. Don't forget as well, you've got your beautiful strawberry quartz and frosted quartz. <laughs> um, what's that? Less than 20 left. I tell you what we're gonna do. We're gonna yeah. do the demonstration, <laughs> let our call, our call center catch their breath. I'm gonna give you, a, give you a little sneaky peek. So we've got the rose quartz selection just here, which come with gold plated findings. And I've got the frosted which come with gold plated findings. They're coming your way. Um, so yeah, I'll keep you updated on the um, on the quantities. We had, um, we only had 70 and there's way more than 70 of you in the process of making your confirmation. So good luck, make sure you check out your baskets. Good luck, Ali, Anthony, Valerie, Lynn, Karen, Joanne, Andrea, Janet, Elaine, Dorset, Yorkshire, Ellen, Gillian, Maker, um, Angus, Susan in Essex, Oxfordshire, uh, Candy in London. Again, I've got to say it, Thank that's you. the best deal I've ever seen on natural strawberry courts. You can still get involved, but you need to be super, super, super fast. Check it out, your basket. Um, Ellie, take it away. Yeah, so for, for these earrings, I made the base on a ring mandrel. I'm not sure if we've got any at the moment. And this is one of the original ones. Oh, the yes. old school ones. <laughs> yeah. But you can just use a tube of beads or a yeah. lipstick or something like that to create your your base hoop with so what I do is I take a 10 about a 10 centimeter piece of 0 0.8 mil wire you bend it around the ring mandrel okay and where it crosses over where it meets each other I'm just going to create a little right angle bend with my flat nose pliers and while it's on the mandrel take the tail wire and wrap around a couple of times and this just helps to keep the shape of your hoop if you do it while it's while it's on the mandrel so we're gonna slide that off and just give that a little trim here okay and then just bend the top wire out at a right angle bend to create the loop at the top And just trim off the excess from the loop so that's the base wire and what I do now is when I make my earrings at home and I make these because I want them to be a bit more durable because 0 0.8 can be a little bit bendy what I do is I work harden the hoop by giving it just a little gentle squeeze all the way around with the flat nose pliers and the hoop at the top as well. And that just makes it that bit sturdier. So it doesn't, it's not likely to bend when you're wrapping now. Then, oh, I lost my bit of wire. So I'm gonna take a piece, about 15 centimeters of your 0 0.4 millimeter wire. And on the side of the earring, I'm gonna wrap around three or four times to secure that in place. So these are nice and simple and this design you can actually, I mean you could create the little loops all the way around if you wanted mm. to, to hang off and make them extra, extra spangly. Um, so once we've got the wire secured on, I'm going to hold the base of the wire here in between my thumb and forefinger. Just hold that, bring the wire around the back so you've, you're creating a little loop by holding that in place. So it looks like this, and then when you bend it, you get your oh, little yes. loops there. So then we'll do that again. So you do that, we're cre on these ones, we're creating five. So it's yeah. like a little dream catcher. Yes, yeah. 
I like that. Adding magic everywhere. <laughs> Catching dreams and yeah. sparkles. So we've got two there. Bring the wire around back behind and wrap a couple of times. And so I've said that these take about an hour. I mean, you can go at your own pace though. So that's why I think it's nice that we have the instructions as well as doing the demo on air. Cause it's yeah. nice to be able to go back and have it written down. Well, if you're anything like me, I forget. Yes. I forget what I've seen. So I need that point of reference. To yes, my memory. yeah. So we're just doing the last loop now. And then I just add a few more wraps on the on the one that I'm securing it on. And we just trim off the wires here. And the next part of this is your your rosary links, which is something that I use quite a lot in my work. And I know lots of lots of our viewers do. When we see the Wall of Fame, I know that's something that that comes up a lot. So you can see there, you've got the little the little loops just there. So I'm just going to leave that there for a moment. And then what I tend to do when I'm making these earrings is I will cut off the p amount of pieces of wire that we need for each for each one. I won't do all of them because once I've shown you how to do a rosary wrap link, I'm sure you'll be able to replicate that. So take your piece of wire and create a right angle bend. And we're going to make a loop, but we're not going to close the loop at the moment. So we're just going to bring it all the way around so that we've got our little loop here. And then we're going to feed it on onto the ear wire, onto your little loop at the bottom. And then we're going to close the loop. And you don't have to do it this way. If you wanted to add extra jump rings in, you could make your links separately and then add them together mm -hmm. with, with jump rings instead. I just preferred this. That's just yeah, how I Yeah, I think I it's prefer. delicate, so it complements the gems. Yes, I think so, yes. So then we'll feed one of the 0.4, not 0.4, four millimeter beads, sorry, onto there. Use your flat nose pliers and create a right angle loop again sorry, right angle bend, and then we're going to create the loop with our round nose pliers. And this one we can just close off straight away. And I always leave the tails on until the end, because when I'm wrapping, I like to have the same amount of wraps mm -hmm. on either side of the gem. But again, you can be more organic with it if you like, and just if that's your style, if you want to leave it Oh yeah, look how perfect there. Yes. And then sometimes, some, I haven't done it for these ones, but sometimes what I do when I've got the longer tails is to add an extra detail. You can wrap around oh, the, the bead gem. Yeah. to give it, I'll do that on this one, just so that we can see the uh, difference. And I quite like that sometimes. It just adds that little bit of extra detail that I think sometimes can be quite nice when you're making these pieces. Go. Especially with the warmer colours, you know, if you're like you're working with rose gold here, but yes, you know, if you're, you're going to do that with yellow gold, yes, it adds warmth to the strawberry corn. It does, yeah. And on the ones that I made, I actually for the the earrings here, I actually used the silver on the copper mm -hmm. because I like mixing metals. Yeah. <laughs> um, but it just gives it a different look. Yeah. Almost just changing the colour wire, I think, can make such a difference. Um, to your pieces and that's it's quite a simple thing to do but it makes a huge a huge impact into the finish of your piece so i've just created another loop to feed on here and we'll just wrap around a few times before adding on the next bead and i love that they're all all the beads are ever so slightly different yeah. So we have the darker ones. Whereas if they were imitated, they wouldn't be? No, they'd all be a flat colour. Yeah. Um, 
Yeah, that's well, one of the things I love about natural gems is you can't, you can't replicate that. No. Or even treat it. If they were treated, they would all look the same as well, wouldn't they? Yes. So we'll just finish this off. Oh. There we go, wrap it around. I'll leave this one plain so you can see the, the difference. Just trim the ends off. And when I trim the ends off as well, I always use my flat nose pliers to come in and just give them a little gentle squeeze where I trim the wire. And that just stops you from having catchy bits. I think that's the technical term. <laughs> yeah. And then all I've done for the last one is I've popped one of the four millimeter gems onto the head pin and dropped that on the bottom so they've got a nice, a nice little finish at the end. And I actually think these would look really nice with just all in rose gold, but then with the silver drops at the bottom. Yeah, lovely. I think that's a a nice way to finish. Um, and for these, it's in it's in the description in the in the earrings. But for these, the top two either side here are on a head pin. Yeah. And then on the the next ones that come in, you've got one rosary link and then a head pin. And then on the central one, you have two rosary links and then a head pin. Okay, so, so that it gives you it gives you that graduated that graduated look. And I use the four mil beads because that I, we got four mil beads in the other in the other. Yeah, kit so as you well. can do it with the other projects yes. as well. Um, amazing. Now you have just eight of these left. The call screen's completely full. Um, so Belinda, John, and Susan, and. Paula, Joanne, Andrea, Janet, Dorset, Yorkshire, Ellen, Gillian, Maker, Angus, Susan, Oxfordshire, and you disappear after one of the screens. Um, yeah, very popular project, but again, we're super over allocated. I've only got six left. How many in basket? 56, there you go. 56 people, doesn't go into six. Um, <laughs> good luck. Uh, should we do the next project? It's a tough one, this is. Do you know, this, I think this with the strawberry quartz would be oh, absolutely yeah. stunning. Um, there's rose quartz. You know, sometimes rose quartz, lesser quality, it's quite pale and quite oh, wishy-washy. This is beautiful. That's idyllic rose quartz. There's nothing wishy-washy about that. <laughs> no, definitely not. Now, there are only, how many? Oh, oh just 30 of these ones. I'm sorry, I thought there would be more. It's That's intense, isn't it? It's gorgeous. It's peony pink, isn't it? It's the perfect colour of rose quartz. Yeah. Because sometimes ro rose quartz can be almost white. Yes, yeah. Whereas well, not the case here. Beautiful. I've only got 30. I'd be joining you on this. You know, all the meaning behind rose quartz as well. The gemstone of unconditional love, friendship. Um, but it's a gemstone that I think we all, we gravitate towards, don't we? Yeah. Um, immediately, almost half the stock's gone. One price crash, natural Brazilian rose quartz. Natural. 20 pounds, <laughs> three strands. This one comes with the gold plated spacers. So you've actually got bigger sizes, so four, six and eight mil these are bigger carrot weights uh 330 carats in total across uh, across these three strands but again that's perfect textbook rose quartz isn't yeah. it i love the choice of putting it alongside the yellow gold plated um findings again you've got a hundred of the four millimeter gold plated beads a hundred of the two millimeter and then you've got your crimps and your crimp covers those alone should be 15 pounds, I reckon. 
15 pounds for your spaces and then five pounds for three strands of beautiful natural brazilian rose quartz um only here at jewelry maker i've only got seven of them left though jewelry maker so you do need to be quick checking out your baskets suzanne buckinghamshire fife cambridgeshire ayrshire deborah cheshire swansea lindsay sue dorothy angus neil linda i can't keep up um yeah that's gonna be an on-screen seller i'm not surprised i am not surprised at all Lots of people are, and the instructions, yeah. Don't forget that. <laughs> Which again, if you were on Sewing Street, you'd be paying ten pound for these. You're paying ten pounds for those alone. They're going to sell out. Well done. <laughs> well done. Well done. Again. No, I think it's new. Frosted clear cords. Mm. We all say, is it? Is it? Yeah, new? I think so. I think that that's that was in the email that I got. So the bigger size, full length mm -hmm. strands. Oh, they're gorgeous, aren't they? Ooh. And I made a stretchy bracelet because I never make them, do I? I made one. That is here. You. Uh, <laughs> Ellie, who's I never make stretchy bracelets. I can't believe you're frightened of them though, because you're I know, it's here. with all your talents. Yeah. <laughs> See, look how beautiful I was that like, oh, is. Oh look, I can make them. <laughs> of course you can. Oh, Ellie, that's gorgeous. Oh, it's like it's like an aura in a gem. Yes, it's lovely. Beautiful. It's brand new. We've never had this before, jewelry makers. And it's great with the gold. I think it's perfect with the gold. Yeah, I love it. So we've had clear courts, of course, many times. We've had clear courts, of course. Yeah. Um, of many course. times, but never on our records anyway um, have we had the frosted variety, and it's beautiful. Firstly, can I just mention, you need the finest quality clear courts. It needs to be completely inclusion free. Otherwise, if you imagine there's a black inclusion in the center there, it's going to lose the whole yeah. sort of uh, um, glow, I suppose. Yeah, and they are glowy. Yeah. Well, today, jewellery makers, natural Brazilian clear quartz in a brand new, beautiful, matte, but matte it. Matte texturing a gemstone is more involved than polishing one. Is it really? Yeah. I guess you have to get it perfect, don't you? Yeah. It's almost like a sandblast technique. Yeah. Roscoe, how many have we got? Have we? We've got 70 available. I love these. They'd be beautiful with pearls as well, wouldn't they? Mm. We're at £149. Again, we've uh, right up there in carat weight, we've got 295 carats. It is natural clear quartz, but again, it's got that really beautiful texture, this matte texture that gives the gemstone a glow. Oh, amazing. We've never had this on air before. 70 were, oh, look at that. I think it's quite spiritual looking. You know, like Serenite. Yeah. It's got that kind of spiritual aura, this presence about it. Yes. Don't forget as well from the metaphysical side, quartz is like the, the master, master gem. The master healer it's known as, yeah. So I think there's going to be a lot of our um, jewellery makers loving it for that reason. You were speaking about chakra dinosaurs earlier on. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Why not? Yeah. Have a master stegosaurus a master stegosaurus a master stegosaurus because he's actually stegosaurus got... to rule all stegosauruses exactly <laughs> we're at 69 pounds and 99 pence only brand new to your screens jewelry makers again pristine clarity in your brazilian clear quartz and then you've got that matte texture which gives it this beautiful micellanite glow um okay price that we were told okay yeah yeah that seems fair. But we don't do as we're told, do we? No, the office team know that. They roll their eyes a lot. Mm. Bigger sizes, eight, six, and four. A new variety of clear quartz. A minute clock, and we're going to break the rules. I'll tell you what I think I know what you're going to do, Ross. Are you? Again, you get a hundred of your four mil, a hundred of your two mil. You get your, your crimps, your crimp covers. 
If I told you that we're going to take, and the, and the instructions, how about £10 per strand? You have to have the finest clear quartz. I, I have to reiterate, clear quartz as a mineral is not especially rare. This is not clear quartz as a mineral. This is cl clear quartz as a gemstone, which are two very, very, very different things. Mm. Pristine eye clean clarity, that is rare. And you have to have the best grade if you're going to apply this wonderful texturing to the surface. It's natural, it's not coated in any way, shape or form. Today, a brand new variety of quartz, this wonderful matte texture that gives this wonderful, almost angelic-like glow, doesn't it? I mean, with that black background there, look how it glows. Mm. The master healer, 10 pounds a strand. We only had 70 though. They, this would work with every single one of your beautiful projects, Ellie's beautiful projects that she's brought you today. Again, don't forget you also get the instructions as well, which Ellie has written for you to create your beautiful court chandelier earrings. Um, again, there's a flurry of activity on the website. I'm not surprised by that at all. Um, the glow that you get from these. And it's, you know, I, I like the fact it's that little bit different. I mean, we've had clear courts showcases, haven't we, yes, recently? Yeah. Um, but nothing like this. No, no. It was really, it was really fun to work with as well. So I, I've, I don't, I don't think I've worked with matte beads before or frosted beads so it was really nice to have that to work with well with the map we've only ever really had i believe anyway we've only ever really had opaque gems haven't we we've only actually had it with things like your jaspers and your agate mm. um this might well be the first transparent gem sorry nice with a light oh yeah should we do that yeah shall we i wonder if i've got a torch and i did use it with the other i did mix some of the um, strawberry quartz with the with the frosted ones as well. I thought they just looked really pretty together. <laughs> Here we go. Oh my goodness! Look at that! Mm. Look at that! That's amazing. We talk of sort of angelic appearances. Can I move it away? <gasps> How do they get brighter when you move it away? <laughs> How's that possible? Hang How on. Lovely. Wait a minute. <laughs> Just sw I switched the torches. So that's a UV light. Oh my goodness, that's amazing. Oh my goodness me. So imagine the wearing these. You sort of just pass by a UV light. Maybe you go to your discos. <laughs> Don't call them discos anymore, do they? Clubs. Clubs. Um, hello to you, Yorkshire Ethereal. They really yeah. are, aren't they? Look at that. I only have 70, or had. Oh. Half the stock <laughs> has gone. <laughs> We're going to go even lower. That's why they do oh. the watch your eyes, I know, watch your I eyes. Know. They're very, yeah, you're very <laughs> mindful of our vision, aren't you? Bless you. Yeah. <laughs> All three strands, we're gonna go even lower. If there's enough of you there though, jewelry makers, they are brand new, it's a new launch effectively. Not clear courts, I know you've seen clear courts. We've brought you clear courts for the 14 years I think that we've been established. Um, however, However, in the matte texture, I think we've we brought matte texture in sort of your more opaque gemstones, but I'm not sure we've actually ever done it for, with clear quartz. And our office team are certainly confirming that. $29.99, you get all of these findings, 100, 100, and then you get all of your crimps and your crimp covers, three strands of natural clear quartz. Let's take it to a launch price, jewelry makers. It is ethereal, you're right, Yorkshire. A beautiful glow. Wow. Oh, hang on a minute, that's, there's three. How about if I said it this way? Five pound for your four millimeter spacers. Five pound for all the others. Yeah? Yeah. 
five pound per strand and then your instructions for free that's unbelievable isn't it and it's totally natural brand new premier opportunity the reality is the eight mil should be 25 90, uh, 25 pounds don't you think if we were to launch this in the showcase i'd be saying right the eight mil strand 24.99 and it would be like an avalanche from there um right now on that basis you're buying the eight mil you're getting everything else for free and um, we had 70 again lots of you getting involved susan five ali and forrester dean candy's got four well done candy dawn sylvia kent susan in essex shawlene wiltshire cheshire deborah sharon Anne in worcestershire swansea and ayrshire and tracy and joanne and june and yorkshire and Teresa and maker and maker and allison uh, Neil, make sure and Helen in Flincher, make sure you're checking out 70 is not enough to go around. It's gonna be an on-screen sellout. They are natural, they're not coated. Natural. It's a very advanced uh, technique of where rather than polishing the gemstone, they almost sandblast it to a certain degree. Um, but it, it does take longer to do that than it does actually just to polish them effectively. Because yeah. it has to, as you said earlier on, Ellie, it has to be perfect. Yes. All the way around um, now well done everybody shall we on the back of your strawberry courts yeah project shall we do some closeout deals on strawberry courts we have a 12 mil 10 mil but I will tell you it's natural again it's not the imitation strawberry courts oh, that's unbelievable we launched it at 79.99 that's an amazing price again you remember that three and a half inch specimen what's that about that yeah that sold for <laughs> that sold for thousands four figures <laughs> We're about to bring you 12 millimeter natural red strawberry quartz. Oh yeah, that's a good point, Roscoe. That one cat's eye strawberry quartz, 5,600 to 7,400 was, and that's one stone. You're looking at a full strand of faceted strawberry. I can't have many of these though, Ross. 30 of each, okay. Good luck, everyone. That's your launch. But we're not stopping there. Good luck. I mean, again, you see, you know those Edison pearls we had earlier on? Oh. Strawberry quartz and Edison pearls and one piece of jewellery. Oh my goodness me. Mm. If you got the projects, you're going to want to get this, says Ross. Okay. <laughs> wow. <laughs> we've just, wow. We've just put £50, yeah, back in your pocket. Better than half wow. price. £29.99 for the largest strawberry quartz that we've got in our vault, full stop. We don't have anything bigger, do we, Ross? No. It's like, no, don't be ridiculous. Of course you haven't. We had 30, Deborah, Car Karen, Anne, Swansea, Patricia, um, Maker and Debt, I can't keep up with you. Marie, make sure you're checking out, that's 50 pounds back in your pocket. Not that, with a beautiful silk. Use them sporadically if you wish, because let's yeah. not forget this is an Uber Rare gemstone. Uber Rare, one for the collectors. Yeah, let me show you another specimen superb rare fantastic strawberry quartz crystal from mexico six thousand six hundred and eighty eight pounds and 39 pence let's read let's read it says extremely good and rare strawberry quartz with hematite inclusions like yours polished crystal um from mexico a rare old time example of strawberry quartz from mexico these incredible specimens Oh, their unique colour and scintillating internal sheen to a network. Oh, I like that word. Mm -hmm. A network of fine reddish needle-like inclusions. Hematite. 
Um, this material uh, came from just one small find over half a century ago and considered to be one of the rarest. Dark red and sparkling, one of the best Mexican strawberry quartz available. I'm, uh, you can see why. It's a gorgeous natural mm -hmm. color. I've got the 10 mils. Same again, 30 available. I've got single figures of the 12 left, so good luck. Wow. Launch price. I'm intrigued, because the launch price is already amazing, isn't it? If you got Ellie's projects, then yeah, I agree. I think you need to get hold of these. Look at the quality of that strawberry quartz. You could alternate them with the Edison. Oh. That would be nice. It'd be long. Strawberry quartz Edison, strawberry quartz yeah. Edison, yeah. Long and luxurious. Most definitely. <laughs> uh, 69 pounds and 99 pence was your launch price. We're gonna take it to a brand new low today. What a collector's opportunity, again. When was the last time? I know there'll be people watching right now who've never heard of strawberry quartz before. Why? It's because of its rarity. It's incredibly, mm. that's so low, Ross, 24.99. <laughs> that's a good, that would have been a great price for the two mil, to be truthful, honestly, um, let alone 10. Deborah, Karen, Swansea, well done. We only had 30 available opportunities. I've got Anne, Patricia, Joanna, Newport, all there straight away in, in an instant. The fact we've got a split pay on this tells you it's too low. You know, um, for the rarity of the gemstone. And again, you do tend to have to find this gem on places like uh, um, auction houses. If you see it elsewhere, and I will always say this, I'm not tarnishing every, every other retailer with the same brush. I, I fully appreciate that. But please be mindful of imitation strawberry courts. Mm -hmm. So I, I know that if you go onto certain sites without naming them out loud, it'll most likely be treated. Yeah. It'll most likely be imitation. If you're seeing it, if, if you're seeing it for a few pound, it probably isn't strawberry quartz. Your gems from us here at Jewelry Maker are gem lab certified. So you know, hand on heart, what you're buying is that gemstone, that rare collectible gemstone. Um, again, we buy very differently. We'll go direct to mine where possible as well. That's most likely how you're seeing this opportunity on our screens, but it shouldn't be at 24.99. Unbelievable. Absolutely unbelievable. Well done, everybody. Jacqueline, you've got yours. Susan, you've got yours. Carol, you've got yours. Uh, I've got Ellen there, Joanne there, who wants three. Joanne, I only had 30. The fact that we've got split pay, you can just about still get the 12s. I've got three of these available. <gasps> Imagine that in a graduation. I know. Oh. It works with faceting, doesn't it? Yeah. Yeah, imagine just an over-the-head necklace, knotted strawberry cord. Yeah, lovely. From the 10 to the 12. Beautiful. I think it'd look nice with the gold spaces in between. Yes, me too. Brings that lovely warmth, doesn't yeah. it? Yeah. Complements the warmth of the hematite inclusions. Um, it'll be a sellout for sure, jewelry makers. Keep an eye on the 12 mil. I've only got three of those available. Um, I think the project sold out, didn't they? Or close to, anyway. Um, so if you wanted to add that to your wonderful collection of uh, st natural strawberry cords. The final six. Um, that's crazy. So hang on a minute. Yes, let's say this out loud. So the 12 mils on their own originally 79.99 so if i told you you can get the 12 the 10 and ellie's project you can get all of that for less than 75 pounds that's not bad and it? a load of spaces as well in instructions mm. too that's definitely not bad unbelievable you can get all five strands for 75 pounds less than well done everybody i think a lot of you are going to be doing exactly that congratulations um make sure you're checking them out now coming your way we've also got the most unbelievable pearls i know it's probably not a word but these are the most metallic -y pearls i've yeah, ever seen definitely and they're natural i know oh, yeah i had to ask earlier i wasn't sure <laughs> well, you know if you were like a gold miner and I know it doesn't come out the ground like this, you know, these big yeah. nuggets that you kind of imagine in cartoons. Yeah. <laughs> it tends to be sort of dust, doesn't it, if you watch Gold Rush. But um, 
but that if you imagine as a child being a gold miner this is what i can almost imagine yeah from the ground that this is not 24 karat gold these are solid beautiful natural pure nacre they are with something as as uh, so much of as a vision as these of course they're incredibly limited edition there are just 32 opportunities in the world and of course there can only be one person to launch them and that is the wonderful dave who will be joining us after this <laughs> Hi Jewelry Makers, Monica here. Just wanted to tell you quickly about what's coming up on Wednesday's show on Jewelry Maker. In the 9 name Project Tower kits, we've got these brand new sterling silver seaside themed connectors, um, along with the tassel caps and seed beads, of course, and these beautiful tassels as well. And not forgetting some beautiful um, fire agate gemstones, which is one of my favorite gemstones because I just love all the patterns um, in there. So I've also got the instructions written to show you how to make these necklaces. And then in the 12 o'clock hour, we've got all full on seed bead kits, but with brand new hex cut, twisted hex cut size 10 uh, seed beads, which I've never used before, to be honest with you. And I really love them. They are so sparkly. This is the bracelet uh, that I've written the instructions for. It also comes with a magnetic clasp, which makes it fabulously easy to wear. Uh, we've got three colorways of those as well and the instructions to make this bracelet. Um, so I hope you can join us on Wednesday on the 22nd from eight o'clock in the morning. See you then. Have you purchased one of our projects and want to download the instructions? Then simply log into your account at jewelrymaker.com. Go to your order history, find your order and click on download content. From there, you can save to your computer or print off a copy. Please note that your project sheets will be available once your order has been dispatched. Jewelry Maker. Create. Wear. Share. How would you like to be part of an unofficial world record attempt and amongst the largest number of people making jewellery at one time? On Friday, the 31st of May at 10 a.m., Jewelry Maker will be holding the world's biggest make-along, where over Zoom you can join fellow jewellery makers of all abilities as we attempt to break a world record. Whether you've never made jewellery before or it's your favourite hobby, you can join us. All you have to do is sign up via the link below. We will send you an email with the Zoom link to join us near the time. Go to www.jewelrymaker.com for inspiration and of course, how to sign up. See you on the 31st of May for the world's biggest make-along. Every day, our experts will bring you a wealth of knowledge. They'll take you through the steps of making projects and feature fabulous tips along the way. Whether you're new to jewellery making or a seasoned professional, you are sure to learn something new. We are live every day from 8am until 1pm and you can also watch back all of the demonstrations featured on the show on our YouTube channel. Hi jewellery makers, it's Charlie. I'm back with you this Friday, Friday the 24th, and I'll be with the lovely Elle and the fabulous team. At uh, nine o'clock, we have got some beautiful floral pendants. I'm going to be walking through how you go about setting those. And then at 12 o'clock, we have so many goodies. It's all about metal smithing, forging metal. Uh, so we've got lots of hammers, steel block. There's a new tool as well, a new tool that will help you um, if you're uh, soldering at the minute, and you're struggling to get everything set up, this is gonna be really useful for you. Um, so I really look forward to sharing all that with you guys and I hope you can join me on Friday. See you then. Shopping with Jewelry Maker couldn't be easier. You can shop via our website at www.jewelrymaker.com where you can watch our live shows and see all the products from that day. We also have a huge amount of products on our website, from your jewellery room essentials to gemstones, tools, precious metals and much more. You can download and shop on the go with our Jewellery Maker app. Simply head over to your app store and search Jewellery Maker. 
Alternatively, you can contact our UK-based call centre 24 hours a day on 0800 644 655. Shopping made easy at Jewellery Maker. Did you know that instructions come included with every designer project? Dive right into your Jewellery Maker project with confidence and clarity. Whether you're a seasoned pro or a first-time creator, our step-by-step -step guides ensure success every time. Just download them from your Jewelry Maker account on our website. Get started today and experience the joy of hassle-free crafting. Instructions included, creativity unleashed. Are you having trouble finding the ideal gift for that someone special? Then why not treat them to a Jewelry Maker gift card? Simply head over to the website and scroll down to the bottom of the page and click where it says gift cards. You can decide between posting the card or delivery by email then decide the value you would like to send. Whether it's for a birthday, a special occasion, or just a way to say thank you, the Jewelry Maker gift card is the perfect answer. There are deal of the days, and then there is what's happening today. Deal Dave. of the year. Let's... Oh my goodness, Dave Trough, oh, thank everybody. You, um, good morning, Al. Good morning, team. Wow. Good morning to every single one of you. I'm so excited uh, to be here. Um, we've actually pulled some strings to bring you an incredible deal. Look, obviously, the deal of the day, if that's what we want to call it, is this incredible, naturally coloured, certified metallic pearl strand which I'm guarantee you've never seen anything of the like before. It's a closeout deal. Uh, what that means is no one's gonna be paying the market value, but it also means we took everything we could. There's only just over 20 of these available, which is not great for a deal of the day. So with that being said- yeah, Probably one of the um, most limited then. Uh, yeah, they're certainly the most limited that I've ever done. Yeah. Um, with that being said, I've pulled some strings. Um, something phenomenal is gonna happen for you right now. So if you remember at the close of our birthday, uh, there was an incredible deal that kind of finished off the birthday, right? And it yes. was the multicolored strand of oh. type A jadeite um, of, of incredible, wonderful colors going from the reds and the lavenders and, and the greens, uh, the grays, the blacks, just every single vibrant neon color. And uh, I couldn't join you, or I did with the help of technology from a hotel room in Geneva because I was there um, at the invitation of Benoit Rappelin, uh, who heads up the, the jewels, uh, uh, the jewelry side of the Phillips Auction House. They do watches as well and art. Um, and it was part two, and it's probably the most significant um, gemstone auction of my lifetime. I mean, right. we know there's been some incredible ones before, but just to give you a rundown of what was in this auction, if you don't mind, I just want to show you the 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 incredible pieces that were in it. I think it'll blow your mind. This was the pink diamond, um, which is a 6.7 oh carat goodness, wow. pink diamond. We got to hold this. I've got a video coming out very soon, which will take you behind the scenes of that auction house. Um, Benoit reached out to me and he said, look, I want you at the auction. It's on Monday uh, the 13th of May, which is here. Mm. And uh, I, was, I agreed to it. I said, yeah, absolutely. Book the flights, wonderful. He said, I want you to see it. And then I realized that it was uh, my daughter's sat week. <gasps> yeah, so I, was, I had to ring up Benoit of Phillips Auction House and say, I can't join you. Um, and he said, look, come before, come on the weekend and I'll open up the whole collection for you oh, before okay. anyone, anyone even gets a look in. So it worked out really well for us because you guys are going to get unfettered access to that incredible auction. But the, the most significant diamond that is sold in probably the last 50 years sold for $4.2 million okay. and it sold to Lawrence Graff. Uh, on Monday, yeah. um, it's a world record. It's a world record for a red diamond, and it's a world record price per carat for a fancy uh, diamond, fancy colored diamond. And you think about it, you get four point two million dollars. You know, is it like this size? Like this emerald's like that big? I got it out. You know, it's got to be expensive. It's got to be huge. That's the real size of it. You can yeah, just... it actually. Oh, okay. And I wanted to show you that because all of the images you'll see online are gonna really, really show you up close, like I'll show you some of the, the kind of product shots for it that were you know, accompanied it in the auction that you think, oh, it's a big, maybe it's a big stone, you know? You got it here, it's this incredible red it's diamond, really it's $4 million. It's a simple setting as well. Well, yeah, the reality is it's, it's never gonna be left like that. Right. They've just, the reason they've put it in that standard setting, underwhelming setting, just a standard 
uh, a gold shank really with four prongs. The, the only reason they've done that is because you're dealing with a diamond that is tiny. It's 1.5 carats. And obviously when someone's going to spend $4.2 million, they want to see it first, right? So the, the weekend that is open, it's open to invitation only, really. Okay. It's only open to buyers, like serious buyers. You've got to prove your credentials. So Lawrence Graff is there, you know, Harry Winston is there, or the team from Harry Winston. The, 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 the most significant museums are there and they get to, they don't just want to buy it in the room. They will buy it in the room, but they want to see it first. So they come in, uh, yeah. it's an incredible event at the President Hotel in Geneva, and uh, it's one in, one out, and they get to look at the stones up close. Well, a 1.5 carat diamond, they don't want anyone handling that loose. So yeah. they put it in a so setting so you can look at it in a ring. Right. right. So obviously it's a super underwhelming setting, but it is just so someone can put it on their hand, see the size of it, you know, whatever. Yeah. Like the actual pictures that accompanied it in the auction on that Monday were just loose pictures of it, because that's what it is. Yeah. But what's crazy is, you want to talk about price increases, and we have to when we're talking about pearls. That diamond sold 11 years ago in 2013 okay. for $2 million. Okay. It's more than doubled its price in a doubled, decade. Yeah. Like, I mean, it sold for 4.2. All, all someone did was buy that, put it in a vault, then took it to an auction, and they've made, what, $2.2 million wow, in less than 10 years. Yeah. And this is you know, the top, top end. This is why people are making huge investments mm. you know, in certain gemstones. And uh, there is, like I said, an interview coming out with Benoit. And uh, look, this might not seem connected, but I want you to understand why I couldn't be here, why this event is taking place today. I used to, as someone who doesn't have that kind of money that can rock up to an auction house and go and buy these things, I used to think, oh, what a life. You know, uh, Benoit, for instance, I used to think, oh, he's got it easy. You just People bring their diamonds to him and their pearls and their emeralds and you know, whatever else it might be. He puts it in an auction and they sell. And I got to speak to him and he said, you don't understand how difficult this job is. Right, and um, he came from Sotheby's. He's a young guy, he's mm. dynamic. And his job as the head of jewelry at Phillips is to literally break the monopoly of the big three. Sotheby's, okay. Christie's, Bonhams. They're the biggest jewelry house. They have all the records. Everyone wants to sell their jewelry there. And he's very well connected. And his job is to be well connected. So he rings up Lawrence Graff, right? He rings up, you know, the guys at Tiffany, LVMH. He asked, his job is to know them all. Because when you put together an auction, just like we talk about the birthday, mm. um, Wayne, I think he might be in the gallery, you know, putting it together for a year, right? You've got to get it right. Benoit's been putting that auction together for a long time. Yeah. Right? And it's, you've got to convince people to sell their jewels. So he, he's, he knows where every significant diamond is in the world. Yeah. He knows where every significant emerald is. Yeah, absolutely. So that diamond that sold in 2013, yeah. I don't know who had it, he did because he got them to, to sell it, uh, right? So that's his job to know where all the significant, and then what he has to understand is the market, right? So he has to go to that person who spent $2 million, let's not forget, on that diamond, and tell them, now's the time, yeah, right? You know, if it had gone and it hadn't have achieved its estimate, if it sold for $1.7 million, that person yeah, might look amazing on paper. Oh my God, this diamond sold for $1.5 million, but someone's lost half a million dollars. Yeah. Right, that's the reality. So his job is to know the market. And he was saying, look, colored diamonds right now, they're the hottest ticket. He said, pearls, again, the hottest ticket, and jade. And this is what he wanted to talk to me about. Uh, and my connections, uh, knowing on Tung Jewelry, he wanted me to connect him with Stanley Chu. Because right. Stanley Chu has broke, yeah, he sold million dollar jades at Christie's, but he hasn't sold them at Phillips yet. And he said, oh, just let me speak to him. Let me speak to him, we can negotiate a different commission. I, I can, you know, because he's got auction house in New York and Hong Kong, because they want to enter into the jade market, the pearl mm -hmm. market. Of course. And so he also has to understand the buyers. He has to know Lawrence Graff wants to buy the biggest red diamond in the world. Yeah. Right, if he puts equally, if he puts uh, 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 any of those incredible gemstones into an auction and they don't sell, that looks crap for the auction house. Course. Because the next person's going to go, I'll, I'll send mine to Christie's. Yeah, thanks. There's only so many of them in the world. Like Red Diamonds, there's probably 20 that exist. Probably less than three that are over a carat wow. that exist. Wow. So the other people that have got those, if they see that diamond, it doesn't break the world record and it doesn't sell for the record price per carat. And Lawrence Graff wasn't in the room. They're going to go, I'll go to Christie's or Sotheby's who have this track record. Yeah. So this was one of the most significant auctions ever because it wasn't one of the big three although Phillips arguably are now part of that group. They've just, sold, they were, yeah, they've just sold the largest pink diamond in the world. By the way, that's not just a pink diamond. That's not just a pink diamond. That's a type 2A pink diamond. 
Wow. Yeah. So type 2A is, you know, is basically Golconda. I'm not saying this is Golconda, but it's the most chemically pure diamonds in the world. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's got what they call ultra limpidity. Yeah. Like it's no, no imperfections, no nitrogen, no boron. Wow. It is a pure, pure diamond. Type 2A certified, over six and a half and carats. And that's sold. And vivid pink. There. Oh my God, for millions. I think it was 20 million. Wow. Right. So that. Then they had this emerald. And I'm just going to quickly show it here. The largest gem quality emerald ever oh brought to auction. Oh my goodness me. And again, that setting is also, you can see the emerald. Just to give you some perspective, the Rockefeller emerald is 18 carats. That is 280. Goodness me. Right, Colombian minor oil. She's called the queen of the Amazon. And uh, like I said, we had unfettered access to all of this material. I'm going to be posting videos on David Harry Jewels. You'll get to see that in my hands. You'll get to hear Benoit talk about it. But the reason I'm telling you all this is because you had those three lots, but there was a hundred lots in there. The majority of what was there, if you were to divide it all up, was fancy colored diamonds. I'd say that was maybe 20%. Yeah. So there was a Harry Winston necklace, yellow diamonds, wow. with a huge pear cut in the center over 20 carats, wow. uh, flawless. But then there was also your natural pearls, right? Which, which were, were made up maybe 15% of the whole auction of the hundred lots. And he was talking to me and he's facing the same situation. He said, all my buyers right now want uh, you know naturally colored pearls they want those incredible big sizes they want south sea but they want your, your metallic pearls they want the rainbow orient they want mm. big sizes and they want um jadeite and he said but i'm telling you know all these buyers in the room by the way that were there in geneva he said we're not bringing them to geneva we're taking them to our auction house in hong kong yeah so he's already got an auction house that he's invited uh, an auction taking place later in the year that he's invited me to which is going to be there you know usually we do jadeite and jewels the industry that's a thing that works so Christie's does a Jade Art and Jewels auction. Uh, Bonhams does a Jade Art and Jewels auction. They all do them in Hong Kong. Phillips are doing Jade Art and Pearls. Mm -hmm. That's their auction that's coming up later this year. It's gonna be one of the most important Are you auctions. gonna to get to go to that? Yeah, he's invited me and you know, I'll definitely be out there, oh. 100%. And um, hopefully I'll get to go behind the scenes again. You know, yeah. I'll get to you know, get hands on with the jewelry. But he was talking to me about how difficult it is to get pearls in the auction houses how difficult it is to get jade eye. And this is why he was saying, if you, if you know anyone, he knows that I know Nick Paspali, I've been to the Paspali Pearl Farm, we've produced 90% of the world's South Sea Pearls. I know uh, Stanley Chu, you know, yeah. personally, and I connected them on WhatsApp from uh, Antung Jewelry, who has the greatest jade collection in the world. And this is our own jade eye and jewels auction house event right now. So this is a closeout. There's, l there's less than 30 of them. So just to put that into perspective. And then I'm gonna offer you a second chance at the sellout auction of the jadeite colors wow. so we we bought that when i was in geneva i had to join you from a hotel room i was about 100 meters away from the auction and i still wanted to join you and talk to you about this incredible commission because we've been working on it for a long time obviously with something of this importance we said we're going to divide up the stock all right we, we we knew it was a one landmark acquisition we said we're going to put half on jewelry maker half on gemporia and we're actually saving it for October. So we're not just going to, it's a birthday deal, yeah, right? Course. You can't just go on on a normal Wednesday or whatever. No, we shouldn't course. do anyway. So we wanted to finish our birthday with it at Jewelry Maker. And I wanted to finish our birthday with it in October this year at Gemporia. Because it's a one-time commission. But it's sold out. If you joined the show, oh, you were there obviously, but you will have seen, you were live in the studio. Yeah, I had yeah, text it messages. Went crazy. Yeah, and although I wasn't here in person, so I didn't quite get to see the call screen. Oh. I had a text message from Wayne and Ross straight after saying, oh my God, it's sold out, it's incredible, da da da. I didn't get to witness that, right? I didn't get to be here for it. So I am taking the Gemporia allocation, but I wanna make this really clear to everyone in the room. Uh, Ross might not know this, but I've already made the agreement with Wayne. I'm doing this once and whatever doesn't sell, will never be on your screen again because it has to go to Gemporia. Of course. I don't That's feel fair. comfortable removing it completely from Gemporia, but I, it could do. If they it's all beyond sell out. fair. Yeah. You know, the, the chance we're getting that second chance. So sometimes we might do an auction and then a week later we bring you the last threes and fours, right? Yeah. yeah, because people change their mind. Just to prove to you that this is a separate allocation, I've got a hundred of these. <gasps> Right? I've got a, the full quantity. There is a hundred chances. So far, we've not had a single one of these returned from the auction. Obviously, it's, it wasn't that long ago, but I don't think we'll have any. It is the craziest deal. 
and the, the, the craziest opportunity it's, you're going to get. It's quite possibly, and, and Ross said something similar, Dave, and mm -hmm. obviously I know you wouldn't have heard this because you're in Geneva. That's right. I, this is quite possibly my favourite ever strand. Well, I mean, ever. You, you're keeping good company because I think it's all of our favourite yeah. strand. I mean, how can it not be? Um, just to, again, showcase how unbelievably rare this is as an opportunity. Mm. I'm doing, uh, I'm in the building tonight till 10 p.m. Okay. Right, over on our sister channel. Yeah. And I've got a series of showcases that I'm doing, and it's primarily Jadeite. And we're doing the colours of Jadeite today. I've got one show of lavender, which is one piece. Okay. It's old stock, there's only like 15 of them. I've got one show, which is red Jadeite. There's two products in it. If you added them together, there's only 50, it's last of stock. And that's it. There's no yellow, there's no of, of the other colours. It is, the, the, your opportunity to get this in one foul swoop is incredible. Like wow. in, and there's a really, really, really strong possibility that that will not make the birthday for Gemporia. No, because and I, there's no chance of us making this for Gemporia now. Not a repeat pur no. purchase. So I am just letting you know there's a hundred opportunities. It's the ultimate deal. I've only done it because I didn't get to join you live for that show, and I want to feel that excitement. I want to be part of it. I want to see the names. So if I can, Ross and Adam, I'm going to ask for a 30 second lot. I'm just going to put it on pre-order. <gasps> Okay, I just want to make it extraordinarily fair. We're going to do a crazy birthday deal. It might as well be a closeout itself. It's a monumental carrot weight. It features Olmec Jadeite as well. Yellow Jadeite, red Jadeite, lavender Jadeite. It's got the full spectrum. And in 20 seconds, all 100 of those are going to go on pre-order. And it realistically, in, in, in all actuality, I think they'll sell out in 14 seconds. Of, of all, the fact that this has got the combination of different locations as well. Mm -hmm. I mean, but they are the best of the best of those colours yeah. and those locations, aren't they? Yes, absolutely. You know, like the, the, the best of your Olmec, the best of your Black Jade, like the best of your Yellows. Mm -hmm. That is available for pre-order right now. Um, on the website, it will be listed at £20,000. It's not going to beat that. You know that. I want you to trust me. But I'm also going to say, I'm going to turn my attention to these incredible metallic pearls now. But that will sell out. I don't have an earpiece, so I don't know what's happening. But I do know you guys. I know the opportunity. I know it's already sold out. It's already sold out. Mm. And I'm just freeing up an allocation that's been hidden away that is ready. It's not even clasped up yet because we thought we had until October to do it all. Oh, I'm going to offer it to you right now, all 100. And for me, I would love only 40 of them to sell and at least to be able to offer 60 in our birthday. It won't be on your screen again. It is the rainbow of rarity. It is the most incredible jadeite piece of jewelry I've done for you and the team have done for you. Yeah. Right? That's the truth. It's as good as it gets. No, that is jadeite. Yeah. And I, I would just say, for those of you that know the kind of deal we're going to do, I'd multi-buy. There it is on our website. It's listed at £20,000. It's not going to be £20,000. Could it no. be? Who knows? Yeah, so you can check out knowing that that's obviously not going to be debited. You know, it, it nothing is debited until the end of the day. Mm -hmm. Unbelievable. Uh, already seven have gone. Okay, well, there you go then. So we're close to 10% just gone yeah. already. Um, it will disappear today. I'm 100% sure of that. Um, but I'll have to go and get other opportunities for Gemporia, but there won't be anything like that. I'm not going to be popular, am I? Don't worry. Like, the team, most of the team don't even know that this existed. Okay. Right? We, don't, we deliberately don't tell the teams what we've ordered for the birthday, so no one spoils the surprise. We let them know in the week, this is coming up, this is coming up, this is coming up. So no one really so knew about it. So we don't fall that. out. Yeah, we're not going to fall out. This is your opportunity. You have the, the last 100, and whatever doesn't sell, you'll be able to get it in October on our birthday. That's we, fair. We've just tipped over the 10%. Okay. Well, look. It's available, you can get it. I'm gonna yeah. look after you, we're gonna do a crazy deal. And it's far lower than it would be when we put it on Gemporia, even if we have 10 to put on there. I just want to be able to put 10 on that yeah, channel. Yeah, amazing. It's in fact, it in fact, can you just allocate 10 out of stop? Because I, I, I've got to at least take 10. <laughs> No, I have You're to. feeling bad Yeah, now. well, I want, I want to at least bring 10 of these on our final day of the birthday. It's the importance of it. So yeah. now there, there was 100. There's now less than 90, yeah, obviously, or 80 with the 10% already gone. I am telling you, I'm not giving you all 100 today. I've made a decision. I'm taking 10 for the people that don't migrate between the channels, and I'll be offering those on the last day of Jim Pori's birthday in October. Yeah, but that's fair. But the Jadeite and Jewels auction that is going to take place in Hong Kong later this year is primarily talking to the colors of Jade, if they can get them in the auction, and the colours of pearls, but the natural colours. 
And to, to illustrate that, one of the unique phenomenons that has taken the pearl industry, pearl, pearl industry by storm is that of ripple pearls, right? Because why are Okoya pearls so expensive? It's not because they're the largest pearls in the world. It's purely because of their nacre. Per, you know, per millimeter, they've got the densest nacre to nucleus ratio, right? So they're made up of far more nacre than any other pearl, even though they're smaller. Now they grow in the cold water bays of Japan. With that, the, the, the layers of nacre you know, form closer atomically, much tighter bond to the nucleus. And with that, you get this wonderful, wonderful myriad of colors. With ripple pearls, you get that. The, the reason they're rippled is because there's so much damn uh, nacre like building up Condensed. that it's giving you this satin finish mm. on that. And that's why you get the metallicism. That's why you get that metallic nature to this pearl. That's not just a, a term that we throw around. Metallic pearls are real deal. And this is a closeout. So no one's going to be paying the thousands that possibly we should for a strand of this caliber. When they say ripple pearls and they talk about them being the new phenomenon um, of the pearl world, they say freshwater pearls with a surface, with a satin surface mixed with patches of rainbow metallic luster, all in natural colors and often a golden leaf Very, effect. That's yeah. what we have here. You've got these wonderful kind of teardrop shaped pearls with that satin oh, finish. Goodness. It is absolutely insane. In fact, I'll show you these, but they're going to disappear. There's less than 30. It's close out and you're going to get a killer deal. You want to talk about 24 karat gold. Yes. You want to talk about aubergines it and is. greens. These are some of the best pearls I've ever seen. And I wish I had 100 just like I did with the jade. I don't, this is everything. Now, to understand why this is a closeout, I'm gonna take you to Hong Kong. Now, I was there a few weeks ago or maybe a month ago, I was there in March, basically, and I was at the, the, the incredible auctions there, and we'd just seen in September one of the craziest situations ever in mm. the jewelry industry where all the pearls just disappeared. Yeah. You know, the, the auctions, the Robert Wan auction was shut down, the Tahitians, the South Sea, prices have gone through the roof, fresh waters we can't get hold of. When we talk about metallic, fresh waters, that's 0.01% of every harvest will offer you a metallic pearl. Right? Yeah. That's, that's a like a tenth percentage. of a percent. A tenth of a percent is how you get true metallicism in pearls. These are 100% natural colors. You get that unique gold effect. Now, when I was in Hong Kong, I was speaking to one of the largest freshwater pearl wholesalers in the world. And I was asking her what the prospects of getting metallic pearls are. This clip of film I'm about to show you is about three minutes long. Okay. It's me attempting to buy more metallic pearls for you and for Gemporia. Um, and this is a lady that has more of them than anyone else. The first strand I pick up, she says, I've only got one. Then everything else I pick up afterwards, she keeps making the point, yes, you might get the color, but you're not getting the metallicism. You're not getting metallic. Yeah. So that's how rare metallic is. Yeah. Every single pearl in this strand is, is unique in terms of its color, but more importantly, has that metallic orient. I want to show you this clip of film. Usually when we go to a break like this, you know, maybe we go and make a cup of tea or a coffee or let no, the dog out. Watching. Please don't do that. Just pay attention. It's three minutes, but it's so important. Remember, I've got just over 20 of these and it's close out. And I want you to know that. Even Ross said to me this morning, should we take close out off? It sounds a bit, doesn't sound very nice. I agree it doesn't. Like I would love to have this in a glass cabinet, but I'd also be like, I'd like to get the real price for it, which would yeah. be maybe two and a half thousand pounds. The fact that we're going to do this price, I want to leave clothes out on there because I want you to know that this is not available. And even trying to replace anything like this is going to cost us thousands, especially if you get the big sizes. This is the clip of film. Take a look at this. When we come back, this will be sold out. Good luck. This is it. With Mattel. And what kind of price for this? Uh, which one? This one. This one? This one. $1,000, okay. And what, what size is it? 11 to 4? 11 to 14. 14 mil. Yeah, yeah. How much for these? Uh, everyone different. Okay. Yeah. Everyone different. Yeah. Like, like this one. Mm -hmm. Shining. And this one. Okay. I like uh, this one here. Price? Uh -huh. This one. <sighs> What color is this? This is pinkish with metallic. Metallic with yeah, a metallic pinkish, pinkish, yeah. Pinkish. Okay. Pinkish. Hard, very rare. Very rare. Yeah. The the the, the color very rare. You cannot get. And the bigger. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Big size. Big size. And pearls gone very expensive now. In the market, because of Nini and Yang Ni, yeah. the social media. Social media, yeah, 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 very.
Yeah. US dollars? US. So for this strand, 18,000 US dollars. 18, and can you get how many? Um, maybe many years can get one. Yeah. Oh, five? Very. No, no. No, I only, this color, only one. This size. Right. Yeah. Maybe a little smaller, smaller, but a smaller, not material like this. Okay. Yeah. And, and if just, if smaller, <laughs> okay. So, uh, uh, can you get more of this color? Yeah, this color can no two maybe two two yeah similar. So similar so color. yeah yeah yeah. And what price if I buy these two? No, if you this one. These are smaller, right? Yeah, this smaller, this quality. Five thousand five hundred dollars yeah, yeah. US. This quality, this all belong to top. Yeah. Yeah. This is what I'm interested in. Yeah. This one. Also a special white top color, top quality, like South Sea. Oh yeah. Yeah. Is this more affordable? More affordable. This lower? No. This top, all top, lower is over there. So for the top white? Yeah, top white. And what kind of, what, okay, so uh, how many do you have? This one. Yeah. Yeah, this long is seven. Seven. Uh, seven. If I buy all seven, uh -huh. how much? If you buy all Natural seven, color, right? Natural color, yeah. natural color, all natural color. We all natural color. Just the golden and the black. We dye. This What's all natural. 6,200, okay. Now, can you put clasps on and everything, manufacture with? We can, we can clasp, but if you have clasp, but we made it now, it's no problem. Okay, yeah. okay, perfect. Irreplaceable. Irreplaceable is present. In fact, she didn't have a strand like that. She did have one metallic strand. Yeah. She, she showed me top white there, and it was like 6,200 or 6,000. I can't quite remember what she said, but it was at the end. She had seven strands of top white. Mm. Right, I'll show you top white. Right, these aren't for sale today, but these are top white freshwater pearls. And yeah, they're, they're circle pearls, so you get those, those lines, uh, concentric circles going around them. But they, they, th the light, obviously, in here isn't ideal. Right, so yeah. it washes it out. But this does have a slight rainbow orient. Yeah. Right? Um, in fact, I'll show you that. Look and I'll show it, you'll be able to see it with your own eye, but yeah, just show course. everyone at home. You can see that rainbow orient, the pink's coming through, right? Yeah, of course, yeah. I, I don't know if we'll capture it, we can try, but the light might be different there, but you can see that. Then I'm gonna show you this, because this is absolutely outrageous, I can't even believe, and there is a reason. I try and romance things as best as I can, sometimes I'll have the cabinet in here, you know, that's my job. I said, leave clothes out on these. Sounds horrible, it sounds tacky, I get it, but you need to know why why these are going to be affordable they, in the same lighting oh my goodness in the same lighting the world's apart look at that they 24 need... karat gold and look at the colors that are coming off this they are like literally 24 yeah. karat gold luster yeah they talk about that gold leaf effect and they talk about the purples and all the metallic uh, colors coming through these are 100 percent naturally colored um can i have a 30 second clock ross um please and Adam, this is going to disappear. I've got, just to be really frank and open with you guys, I've got less than 30 of these. It is a closeout. It is what we call a deal of the day. It's going to be a deal of 60 seconds. It'll be gone. And it should I, be. I generally thought I'd seen the best yeah. pearls in the world. Yeah, we're very lucky here. We are We're, we're super lucky, yeah. I mean, the pearls that you get here are not too dissimilar to the kind of pearls you'd find in Yoko of London. No, I agree. Yeah. Um, and then it, it's just like Davey, the, the bar keeps getting raised mm -hmm. higher and higher and higher. They're remarkable. Like, they are literally like gold. Yeah. Good luck. There is less than 30. It's closeout deal. Natural metallic, uh, metallic golden ripple pearls. Every single wow. part of that sentence, except the closeout deal, which Ross did want to remove. I get it. But every other piece should be adding value. Yeah. Right? Natural colored bang, metallic, bang, yeah. ripple. Everything yeah. is the absolute perfection. And you know, we saw white pearls at what, $6,000 wholesale? Yeah, wholesale. We saw met one metallic strand, I think it was $18,000. I'm gonna start you off at 10 grand. I'm gonna be nowhere near that. I'm gonna do your crazy deal. Maker in Swansea, you're gonna thank your lucky stars you trusted us on multi -board. They're unbelievable. They are. Just these as pairs, pair of earrings, whatever it may be. And the fact that you're saying that Philip's auction, yep. you know, 
pearls. Mm -hmm. It's what all their all, all their customers. Are, that's what they want. Yeah, I can see why though. Yeah. It's like the world has finally woken up to. Yeah, I mean, I was in uh, uh, one of my favorite jewelry houses uh, last week, Pragnos, mm. who I think are incredible. Yeah. Such an illustrious history, amazing. I was talking with the guys in there and they took me around their collection. They showed me 300,000 pound diamond rings. Wow. They, they showed me their incredible cashmere sapphires, their Burmese and Montepuez rubies. They, they showed me their incredible pearls, which are phenomenal. They don't have anything like this. No. They don't have anything like this. That's how fortunate we are. Mm, it's our greatest strength. Yeah. Be it a short mm -hmm. window, because it's yeah. irreplaceable. Yeah, it said. is. I mean, this, like the whole proposition changes if you put this in a window like Pragnos. Yeah. You, that's it. Just by virtue of where you're seeing it, the whole yeah. proposition changes. And they would not have close out on the title. No, of course not. But we're, we're doing that to let you know, look, this is irrepeatable, this is not wholesale, this is not trade, this is closeout. Already, what, 25%? Yeah, quarter of the, of the stock, stock is gone. gone. Right, 30 second clock again, Ross. We, uh, look, I will let you know as well, the jadeite, the, 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 the rainbow of rarity is also being multi-bought as we speak. Yeah, I'm not surprised. These are the two greatest deals you're gonna see. Be as fast as you can. Can you imagine it together? Mm -hmm. Can you imagine mixing your metallic ripple mm -hmm. pearls? Mm -hmm. See, the problem is that we, we, we find unique, well, I'm trying to find unique ways to do deals, right? Yeah. I flew a whole pearl harvest into Zurich. I told you, the South yeah. Sea. Um, and went and selected the best pearls I did from the harvest because the reality is, and what they were saying to me, the reason they'll do that, because you probably think that makes no sense. Well, the Chinese are paying top dollar for any pearl, mm. right? So they don't care. They, they will pay top dollar. So. The, the, when, when someone like myself asks the Indonesian pearl farmers, look, you can sell all those pearls, no problem. I just, I only want the best. You know, these big European brands that only want the best pearls. Then the, the Indonesians are more than happy to let you select them out yeah. because they can sell everything back to China. The reason we can't do that with this, I can't have this harvest flown to London or Paris is because it comes from China. So China, do not let it leave. I'm gonna go straight down to a thousand pounds. This is going to sell out. Um, you have a unique opportunity. We are nowhere near done on price still. Marion's got it, Anna in Derbyshire's got it, Gail's got it, Jenny's got it, Maker in Swansea's got two, Hazel in Hampshire's there. Another collector in Wales is on the finance. I mean, Al, you said you've seen some of the most incredible pearls. Yeah. You thought you'd seen the best, which you absolutely have. Yeah. But this is on another level. It's it, another it league is. entirely. Like these, this myriad of like rainbow colors that we're seeing, that's, that's metallic. These are all golden but then you get this metallic flash, this Orion that is dancing you know, vividly beneath the surface and breaks the veil and you can see it. The, it, it it's just those colors and that yeah. luster and that, you've, I've never seen that in concentration, is that no, the right yeah, word? Yeah, yeah. In, in, in a pearl. Yeah. And then of, of course to actually have it across the entire but This strand is the magic well. of Nacre. Yeah, and look, as much as I love them, this is why you don't get these colors from, say, Edison pearls. Yeah. Right? Because Edison pearls are huge, they're round, but they have less nacre. Yeah. That's the whole idea. And the nucleus is larger. Thing. Yeah. So it's, you know, the, the whole industry is designed to get the biggest pearls, the roundest pearls at the fastest point. Right? How, how can we speed it up? How can we, you know, generate more? That's it. It's a business. But I've just had that light bulb moment, Dave. Mm -hmm. There's something that you said earlier on. You were like, okay, so they form, form in the cold waters. Yeah. Um, fresh waters, like a coir, and a coir form in yeah. cold water. That's why they get. That's why you get that incredible. So cool temperatures produce these high. Yeah, lusters. and uh, I learned something when I was in Zurich that you know when you talk about the the South Sea pearls, for instance, you get the gold lip and the silver lip. Yeah. And in Australia, you, they just produce white South yeah. Sea pearls, right? Pure white, incredible, huge sizes. Mm -hmm. That's because in Australia, off the Kimberley coast, the waters are much cooler and uh. the depths are much. Yeah, they're they're, they're serious depths and so the the silver oyster produces white pearls the same silver lipped oyster in Indonesia in the shallower warmer waters mm -hmm. produces a silver pearl Wow! right so and it's like blue yeah but it's the same it's from the same process and this Just is what yeah and and I mean very fortunate to have acquired the largest South Sea pearl That's in amazing. the world and it's blue it's from Indonesia you couldn't even get that from Australia you, wow. you couldn't get the size anyway but well you might do but once every 10 years but you certainly it would be pure white wow. this is like blue vivid blue naturally colored Amazing. South Sea pearl that's nearly 30 millimeters wow. absolutely ginormous 
These waters contribute to the incredible colours you're seeing here. The nacre even more so, it's where you get those unique ripples. That's the, the, the nacre pooling. Mm. You can literally see it, the folds of nacre. Allowing, I love that. yeah. So I'm gonna give you a 30 second clock. I'm gonna absolutely kill this price. I'm gonna take it to a ridiculous deal. And then I'm gonna show you the closeout deal. So this isn't even your final price, even though it might, should sell out at this price. Yeah, a thousand pounds, that's a great price. Yeah. That's a great price for a generic pearl strand. Mm -hmm. But obviously that's any, this is anything but generic. Yeah, but we're, 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 we're not even close to wholesale prices right now. You'd be more at wholesale mm -hmm. currently for this grade. True. Yeah, I mean, we've just seen you literally mm -hmm. from Hong Kong. Yeah. Oh, what, a few months ago? Yeah, it was in March. In March, there you go. Um, yeah, I can say a third of the stock is gone. Yeah, I mean, this is what... Yeah, there you go. That's, that's Pragnos, who are incredible, by the way. What's this? Nat yeah, look, natural pearl incredible. necklace in platinum. Okay. Very small, graduated, but, you know, the, the idea of having these wonderful colours. You know, if, if Pragnos, if Asprey introduced their clientele to pearls of this nature, oh. they'd be gone in a heartbeat. Uh, Ross, can we half the price? Please, we're gonna go to 499, and it's, that's not even your closeout, but this is the time to get on the phone lines, this is the time to get involved, this is the time to multi-buy if that's something you wish to do. Goodness me, goodness me. Yeah, I can't believe we're even lower than, than, than a thousand pounds. Yeah. Because something of this rarity, it is rare to get those colours, isn't yes, it? Yes, 100%. It's not, you know, it... it Maker in Swansea just bought three. By wow. the way, you know what? I'm going to speak to that Maker in Swansea. Even though we're not done here, I want to let you know I'm going to take hundreds, plural, of pounds off this. I'm going to give this you, price? Yeah, I'm going to give you 30 seconds. This isn't to the crash. This is me giving you an opportunity, 30 second opportunity, a window of opportunity. I'm going to say, in this 30 seconds, the 20 that are still available, this is your time to get it. This is your time to trust me because when I go to the final price, it will be gone. And I can't replace these, we cannot get these, that's why we're putting clothes out on the screen. I am saying, I'm literally saying to, look, you probably all want it, right? You probably all tuned in, if only. I'm saying now is the time. This will be the most affordable opportunity on metallic pearls. And I'm just, sometimes I think to myself, I get inundated with messages from collectors, and I love it by the way, that said, oh Dave, if you'd have told me it was gonna go that low, I'd have been on the phone lines. Yeah. Because of the way that we work, it's reverse price auction, so sometimes we take massive drops off and then it's gone and someone goes, sugar, you know, I, I thought it was gonna be maybe this price and I missed out. I'm telling you right now, I'm about to do the deal that sells this out. Never been more confident in my life. I've, I only had uh, 27 of these anyway. Mm. In all the time we've been working with pearls, I don't think we've seen colors like that, a metallicism like that, an orient like that. This is naturally colored. And I'm gonna do something that I don't usually do. Usually we do this at clock and then we just crash the price. I'm just gonna to say to our, our, you know, our collectors that have been with us for a long time, those yeah. that have always messaged me and said, how low is it gonna go? I wish I'd have known, I wish I'd, because I'd have been on the phone lines, I'd have you know, got myself in. I'm gonna say, I'm gonna start the clock. You've got 30 seconds. Good luck, I'm everybody. giving you this 30 seconds. Remember, if the deal that I give to you isn't good enough, if you don't like it, cancel your order, you won't even be charged. But this is where you get a chance. I'm giving you the chance before the chance to secure these, to check out, to own them, to multi-buy. 10% of the stock has gone to one collector in Swansea. Half of it has been confirmed. Yeah. Look at those golds. So that was, that 30 seconds was my opportunity to you. That was me saying, yeah, this is me telling you without telling you, this is your time, this is when you do it, this is, and now, I'm gonna say, what, we've got 12 left? 12 strands left. Now it's gonna be a free for all because this 30 seconds that I'm gonna give you right now is where I take hundreds of pounds off this price. Hundreds of pounds off this price. Marion's got two, well done. Gail's got two, well done. Swansea, you've got three, congratulations. This is 27 seconds. More than 50 of you have it in your basket. I've got 12 strands left, that yeah. is it. Yeah. I, I mean, I'm not surprised. I mean, anything less than, let's be honest, Dave, the thousand pounds, mm -hmm. that's an amazing deal. Yes, 100%. I've never seen anything more metallic than what's nope. on your screens right now. I, mean, I don't know where, hang on, let me find it. That right there. Mm -hmm. I keep getting drawn to this one. That one alone. Absolutely. 499. That's like solid 24 karat gold. Yeah, and then you'll still get that aubergine orient oh. that just bounces out. Okay, your deal, to everyone who wants to own it, I said we'd do it, it is a closeout. I said I have to leave that on there because I don't want you to think this is even wholesale or that 
we can replace it because we can't. Go straight down to 299. I said it would sell out. I gave you 30 second heads up. I let you secure your piece. I let you cherry pick. I let you get involved. I'm going straight down to 299 pounds. And you're there, Helen. You're there, Makey. Wow. There, Maker. And wow. Maker trying to multi buy. Teresa in Oxford. You're there, Adelaide. You're there. I've got eight chances remaining. That is, you've got less than ten. We knew this would happen. We knew this would be the case. This is your opportunity. Our Jedi and Pearl auction is on your screen right now. But I'm, I'm not in a tuxedo. I don't have a gavel in my hand. And I'm not asking you to White outbid gloves. each other. I'm saying this is your deal. We'll, we'll deliver it at the most affordable deal we can. We're calling it a closeout. These are the most insane pearls in the world. You know, the, the phenomenon that is ripple pearls. Oh, I love it. Naturally colored. Absolutely aw awestruck I am. Yeah, unbelievable. And the fact... You know, even if they weren't the ripple, even if they weren't metallic, mm -hmm. even if the, any strand of pearls yeah. at 299 is amazing. A strand of pearls like this though, creme de la creme. Yeah, I mean, you're not getting strands at this price anywhere. No. Whether they're white pearls, whether they're golden pearls, whether they're dyed pearls, strands of pearls True, yeah. do not exist and certainly not at this price point. They'd rather sell them singularly. They'd rather sell them mm. as, as match pairs. This is a crazy, unique opportunity. I've got five chances remaining still what is it, 57 people within your basket? Yeah, like you exactly. all click. You all click check out now, and one in 10 of you is not going to get it. Oh, sorry, what, only one in 10 of you can get it. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. And this is not something that you can bring on a regular basis. I mean, Dave... I don't, let me just absolutely confirm that. Not only can I not bring this on a regular basis, I cannot bring this again. Well, you only have That's to go to, you referenced Pragnals yeah. earlier on. They Wonderful. don't have anything nope. like this. But nor does Asprey, nor does yeah. you know, any of the big jewelry houses. These are naturally coloured, large, teardrop-shaped pearls, ripple yeah. pearls. Everything, as I said, that we're reading together should be adding you know, uh, uh, premiums to this incredible strand. Mm -hmm. Look, you can see the metallic nature of these pearls. Yeah, beautiful. Absolutely no blemishes. Beautiful. It is the most organic, incredible celebration of colours you're ever going to see. It's a bouquet of colours. What was that there on the right hand side? That as, uh, so Pragnal actually had a, like golden pearls, but they're not. No, no, there. I think they'll be natural pearls because they're okay. Victorian salt waters. But twenty grand. Twenty grand. Yeah. I mean, they're beautiful. Don't get Stunning. me wrong, but you're twenty thousand yeah. pounds. Four left, guys. You know, I know which one I would actually prefer. Mm. You know, Absolutely. the myriad of colours that you're seeing here. Good luck, everyone. Cynthia, you can do it. Helen, you can do it. Anne, you can do it. Hampshire, you can do it. London, you can do it. Kent, you can do it. Three left. I'm going to give you a minute clock to close this one out. Mm. I'm going to give you six seconds. Look, I can't in good faith leave this on your screen for longer than that because I don't have the quantity. I'm saying to you, there's 50 of you. There's nothing more I can do. This is an incredible deal. Um, now's your time to secure it, check it out. If you want to own these pearls, if you want to work with these pearls, if you want to wear these pearls, mm. this is your opportunity. The real world, pearls like this are not affordable, they're not accessible. That's the real world. Well, yeah, you, I mean, where else do you see them? Yeah. Like this. Yeah, Hong Kong, and I showed you the prices. Yeah. Yeah, that's the reality, and we just, we can say, no, we're not paying that, but the Chinese do, and that's yeah. why we're not going to see them. Yeah. But again, it's, it's, it's so grateful, Dave, for the fact that you do have these connections. Yeah, you know? we do, we do, but we still cannot compete with the Chinese buyers. You know, a lot of these deals were put together a long time ago. Moving forward, as I've quite openly said, the reason I'm saying this is not replaceable, it's not that these pearls aren't being farmed, it's that we are priced out. Mm. We cannot uh, afford to sell you these for two and a half thousand pounds or five thousand pounds. We can't do it. Yeah. So we say no, and, and you get a chance, one left now, sorry, five seconds, you've got to check this out, to confirm on it, an incredible strand of metallic golden ripple pearls. Well done to every single amazing. one of you. Amazing, absolutely amazing. 59 pounds and 80 pence. That's a joke, pay. that's a joke. It is a joke. Yeah. How do we better that? Well, I told you, we've taken the Gemporia, which is our sister channel's birthday allocation of the rainbow of rarity necklace. We, we had 200 during the birthday, they're gone. Speechless. I've got 100 chances for you today. And I, I'm just doing this because I want to be here in the studio to physically see this piece. It is the dreams, the holy grail. Like we all love jade. We have the, the most incredible jade collectors in the world. That, you're about to get the chance to own. Or multi-buy on. Type A jadeite. Guatemalan and Burmese, reds, yellows, blues, greens speechless.
Right, I, it's already been on pre-order. I'll give you 30 seconds if that's okay. And I'm going to open this up, but it has been available for the best part of an hour. Yep. 20% of the stock has gone. I've just heard confirmation. Um, again, I, you know when you, you remember, you recall your reaction to seeing something for yep. the first time. It was like, wow. Absolutely. That's, that's the best yellows, the best reds, yeah. the best old necks. Yeah. We, we're not compromising in any part no. of this. Amazing. And these are bigger, aren't they? The They're rainbow huge. of rarity yeah, is bigger. Yeah, this is the, the largest we we've ever done. Yeah. In in the colours. We've only done the colours once and they were tiny, they were seven mil, I believe. And sold these out. are huge. Yeah. Unbelievable. And we, again sorry. I've I've we start we we did offer you a hundred. I then retracted that and said we're actually only gonna offer you ninety. Okay. Because I wanna take ten just in case you know, it does sell out today. I want to be able to take at least 10 during our birthday on Jump Warrior just to offer them to collectors that don't migrate between the channels. I've got Maker in Swansea who's bought th three of these. I've got Cumbria who's bought two of these. I was out at the Phillips auction house by invitation, which was an incredible experience for me. Mm -hmm. um, and one of the reasons that has put me there is you guys and my work with Jade, right? So they said, come and see what we do. You know, so I went out there and saw what they offered to the, to the Western market, you know, in Geneva. You know, the, the largest fancy round brilliant cut red diamond in the world, $4 million. They're the most incredible 6.7 carat type 2A pink diamond, millions of dollars. A 280 carat minor oil Colombian emerald, millions of dollars. But they said in Hong Kong though, if you'd like to join us, we're putting together a jade iron pearls auction, no. which is this showcase today. The best pearls meets the best jade. And they have a track record of offering incredible jade. You see pieces like this, carved jade out plaque, diamond pendant, Absolutely incredible. Um, you've got lavender jade on a cord on a string, um, which is from the, the Phillips auction house. Quite a pale lavender, but you know, we're mm. talking about the real world right now. Strands like this. Yeah. Lavender jadeites just at the tip at the end there, just behind the graphics, and then that wonderful apple green. But they have yet to offer to the market. And it's a kind of, it's a feather in the cap, isn't it? To say, yeah, everyone's offered the strands, for the lavender strands, we want to put together an opportunity for our auctions, a flagship piece, maybe the front page of their inaugural yeah. um, Phillips Jadeite and Pearl Showcase that's gonna take place in Hong Kong. They would love to have a strand like this to offer to the market. Only one, but an incredible, this would be large, let's not forget it, it would have diamonds in the class, but you know, you are getting the opportunity of a lifetime right now. And they do offer strands, but it's usually one color. It's another one, carved jadeite pendant, pink tourmaline, jadeite bead necklace. Wow. You know, this is the, the reality. But the market's changed and they need to find someone to be able to offer them access to a complete, complete rainbow of colors in a strand. Now, almost a quarter of the stock is this, this has gone. I'm not surprised. Um, we only came to your screens with 90 this morning. And we've seen even outside of auction houses, yeah. Right, just Jewel static brands. website, e-commerce, pieces like this. Now, you'll see that's in Swiss francs. That's because when I looked it up, I was in Geneva. Oh, okay, yeah. I was in Geneva. So, oh, yeah, but you can see that's a Gump's jade necklace, early, uh, uh, whenever, maybe early 20th century, multicolor collector's piece, one of a kind. Now, I'm, I've spoken with people who work for Gump's now. Amazing. And they literally have messaged in to this show, this very show, and said, look, I've got an uncle that works there, my husband works there, and I've been working there for like 40 years. Your jade that we've acquired from you, Dave, at Jewelry Maker, is on par with Gump's. And you've got the opportunity to get one of the largest right now, one of the most important strands. Do you know, you know we're looking under magnification on yeah, our yeah. screens right now, aren't we? Mm -hmm. And each and every single one of those beautiful rainbow colours, yeah. you can fully appreciate, and again, Dave, you've educated me on this over the years, that translucency, yep. that beautiful colour, you can see how tight mm -hmm. the crystal structure is. It's better than the one in Gums. Oh, 100%, I completely agree with you. Completely agree. It is factually, you know, better than the one that was sold at Gumps for 10,000 yeah. pounds. Um, I, I had the privilege of bringing this to air for the very first time with our jewel maker audience, Dave. And like I said, it was fantastic at, like, to, to hear from you over and I really appreciate you Skyping in from, uh, from um, Geneva. Geneva. The reaction yeah. 
was. But I wanted to see it, and that's why I'm offering it to you yeah. today because I want to feel that. That's you know the the payoff for us. There you go. Look at that up close. Oh. They're far smaller. It's over ten thousand pounds. And look at the colors that we've got. But the reality is, the payoff for us when we put deals like this together over eighteen months, we want to be in the studio. Yeah. And we want to be you know on your screen, seeing the collectors getting involved, feeling that. That's when we get the adrenaline rush. Yeah. Absolutely. And I missed out on that. It was amazing to get the text messages from the team saying, "Oh, they loved it. It sold out." And I was thinking, "Well, I'm going to see if I can get the other allocation." For them right now gail says I, I wasn't happy when my husband said he'd bought this strand we have a huge jade collection already then it arrived <laughs> wow wow yeah. wow and to keep it that's it look you may have an incredible jade art collection um i'm sure that many of us do now we've been you know in this jade art world if it's through jewelry maker for like four years yeah and we've got some incredible pieces that we're supremely proud of but this was something that we had to bring during the birthday that surpasses anything we've ever done before. It really does though, doesn't and it? And that's why I'm happy that, you know, we've got collectors that were already annoyed that they were getting this delivered to them. So this, this strand already was up against it. Yeah. Right? The, the, Gail was like, no, we're sending it back. We've got enough. We've, had, we've got enough. And then she saw it. I'm going to start you off at £20,000. Yeah. I think, it's, I think it's twice as good as the Gump's piece. So Absolutely. we should be twice the price. Absolutely. And these are the biggest that we've done in yeah. sort of the... Yeah, 100%. Oh, beautiful. Because it's bigger than the original idea. Yeah, the wheel, far took, bigger. Yeah. Which took, what, two, three years? Yep. How long has this idea... We've been working on this for probably since we started working with Jade. It's like four years. Just okay. cherry picking. The, and the original concept was to offer a strand of red, a strand of yellow, like all those in their own strands yeah. across the birthday. Okay. Like tune in tomorrow for the red strand, tune in tomorrow for the yellow strand. Okay. But then we got to a point where we said, you know what? We should just put all put the colors, all in one. one incredible auction, and you guys get to work with all those colors. You get to have that unbelievable, sensational legacy opportunity. But we're governed right now. For those of you that know, like Gail, what we did in terms of price during our unbelievable birthday auction. I can't remember. Uh, oh, I know. I know, and it is crazy. And many of you already know that I'm multi-buying, that maybe tried to multi-buy in that first auction, but it sold out so quick. Well, here you are um, on a, a Tuesday morning, able to get hold of this material. I'm gonna give you 30 seconds right now. And we're gonna do something significant, something special. You're gonna be a part of history, jewelry makers history, and certainly Jade Knight history for the deals we're about to do. Good luck, everybody. The fact that this shouldn't even be happening right now. We knew no. that. Yeah. But, yeah, it's, it's a huge positive. If you missed out on that first opportunity, the chance that this is happening is... Yeah, but it's a far smaller quantity. Yeah, right? yeah. So we, you had 200 originally, they're gone. Um, we have 100 for Gemporia for our birthday. Oh, and I'm going to give you an opportunity to get it. Oh, uh, bless you. That's oh, guest Natalie. design. Yeah, oh, wonderful, Natalie. I felt like the luckiest person in the world to work with all these colors of rainbow. You did an incredible job, uh, Natalie. Absolutely, I was blown away by your designs. Uh, Ross, let's half the price. Let's match the Gump's necklace. Okay. So we've already got a collector who's bought three of these. You, even if you had the money, you couldn't buy three of gums because there's only one. And it sold for £10,600. Yeah, absolutely. We're nowhere near here. You guys know it. I'm just going to encourage you. We've got 100. It's a massive quantity, isn't it? Not when there's an opportunity like this. And yeah, and Ross has just said something, proved, um, stated something. A, you've got more of each of those colours yeah. in this strand. Also, there's no Guatemalan, because obviously it probably wasn't rediscovered when You're that right. necklace was yeah. created. Absolutely. Um, yeah, you've got more reds, more yellows, more apple blossom greens. And a larger carrot weight and a larger size. Yeah, definitely. So we, we are approaching maybe half the stock disappearing. Yes. We have bought this forward from uh, where it was destined to be, which is our October birthday over on our sister channel, Gemporia. Okay. You know, we want to look after everyone. I've kept 10 back for that showcase. And, and I'm also kind of hoping these don't all sell out today. But yeah. with the deal that we are going to do, with the small quantity we have, oh, with the big me. audience that are tuned in, I think we all know what's going to happen. Um, 30 second clock. Dave, You're all waiting. I don't know if... This is a whole 10 centimetres longer than our generic strands. There's nothing generic about this opportunity. But this... What? That makes no sense. You've got a gemstone that is incredible, much, much, much rarer. 
of all its different colours. Oh my goodness. Yeah, but look, I want to see all these. I want to see that call screen full of names. I want to see every single one of you from around the world joining us for this unbelievable opportunity. It's taken us probably three, four years to put together. Can we take £9,000 off the price? I know it sounds crazy and ridiculous. I'm still nowhere near done. We are going to honour the birthday deal one last time. You won't see this again. It will be uh, available in October. There might only be 10 of them after yeah, what we're going to do today. Yeah, gold. That's what I would do. Yeah. Uh, Margaret says, this, str this strand is stunningly beautiful. Get them and see for yourself. I love mine. Thanks, Dave. Yeah. Look. Yeah. Our, our collectors that have been with us the longest, that have, that have the most enviable collections of jade, are messaging in in their droves, letting you guys know at home, their peers, look, you want to see this, you want to get it home. If you think you've seen colours of jade, if you think you've seen wonderful opportunities before, you've never seen anything uh, of this calibre. I totally agree with that. It's all very well and good us saying it, Dave, but yep. when you've got customers who 100%. physically text into the studio mm -hmm. and say, it, this is this is incredible. Yes, it is. It's the best that the best that I've seen. The most exciting yellows, the mm -hmm. most beautiful rich reds. Right, thirty second clock. We are going to do this for the most ridiculous deal. It's absolutely irre irrepeatable. It's not even going to be the most expensive jade out strand we've ever sold. And yes, it is objectively it be, the best. Uh, objectively the most valuable. All those wonderful colours, longer length, bigger carat weight. It should Everything be the about most it. expensive. Yep. Surely. Yeah. The fact that it's taken as long as it has to actually put together to manifest. Yeah, and I'm just giving you first refusal on an auction that is destined for a, a, another signed postage show in late October. Yeah. I'm giving you this opportunity just because I wanted to be part of it. I couldn't be physically in the studio for this auction. I'm here right now. I've pulled the 100 out. I'm saying, here's your chance. I want to see it. I want to be part of it. Your deal today, we're at £1,000, which I know is killer. A killer deal. Let me half that price for you. We do it for 499 There's a lot of you that are multi-buying, a lot of you that are joining us right now. There is a queue. Please use the app. Please use the website. This is an unbelievable wow. opportunity. The rainbow of rarity. Type A Jade unbelievable unparalleled Look colors and carrot yeah. yeah the quality of those colors Un and i would probably keep it in that arrangement as well mm -hmm. unbelievable it's Absolutely. a much longer strand you've got best part of half a meter yes here, which is insane yeah and and you know for that for that yeah maker and company's got got a meter yeah of the colors of jade and you know what i'm just gonna let everyone know that for the final birthday deal, which is what this was, that I unfortunately couldn't be here for, the birthday extends till now. Should we be done here? Absolutely. And I'm sure many of us, all you guys down there are over the moon. I know that I could go and put my head on the pillow tonight knowing I've done a deal that no one else could do for you. Mm, We've seen yeah, lesser absolutely. material sell for 10,000 pounds. What we're doing, I don't want anyone to get complacent. This is in no way comparable to any of the jade that we bought to you before. It is a, a very, very significant deal. And I am more than over the moon at the, the crazy deal that is on your screen right now. But I'm gonna give you 60 seconds. I'm gonna give you a minute. And I'm actually, oh, we're gonna take hundreds of pounds off. We're gonna give you the ultimate here? opportunity. We didn't stop here. It's gonna that. be a, 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 a sellout opportunity, which I knew would be the case. If you want to multi-buy, now's the time to do it. Many wow. of the collectors that have already multi-bought in this probably tried to on the original auction, but we had twice the quantity and missed out. Five wow. interest-free split payments. On, on best part of half a metre. Yes. Of uber rare. Yep. Phenomenal Ooh, colours. I can't believe we went a single penny lower than what's on your screen And look, right you, now. Get a, you get an Asprey right now. And mm. I was there over the weekend, just looking through the window. And you know that in their safe, out the back, they have a, a, a piece of rough that is about 30 centimetres long mm. and is valued at 18 million pounds. Yeah. Primarily because of the presence of red yeah. and yellow. And, yeah. and the largest portion of this necklace is the red and yellow. Yeah. And we're at a full strand, type A jadeite, and we're nowhere near done, which to me sounds absolutely wild. Unbelievable. Yeah, you can see the colors we're talking about. Outrageous. The red only exists in the skin. There it is. That's 18 million pounds because of that red and yellow. Look at that. Yes. And it's what, 30 centimeters? Yeah, 30 centimeters, about seven kilograms. Piece of rough. Obviously the yield on that, I'm not 100% sure what it would be. Yeah. But this strand, this opportunity, is something that should be uh, price on application. Absolutely price on application. In that, sorry, uh, Ross, can I just go to the, did you see the yellow jadeite bead that I, was, uh, I found 
from an incredible jeweler. This one here, honey jade yellow cabochon ring. Okay. Just that. This is, you know, a, an opportunity, an incredible opportunity. And I've reached out to them and that's $3,800. For one? Yeah, for one yellow jade eye. We should just stop here. Yeah. Like, yeah, okay, it's not the birthday anymore. So whoever joined us for the birthday, you got the crazy deal. But right now we're giving you the best value in the world. But I'm not going to. I want to see every one of... California, you're in. Congratulations. Last time ever. Won't see it again. Whatever is left. If there's anything left. I've guaranteed 10 to be left. If there's anything else, it will be featuring in our birthday in October. At our sister channel, it'll just feature a clasp. But I'll give you first refusal. Your deal today. 299. Wow. Take 200 pounds off. 240 carats. Wow. The, the, the rainbow of rarity. Guatemalan and Burmese. Sensational colors. Again, half a meter best yes. part of, isn't it? Absolutely. Of beautiful jade. Mm -hmm. But jade from all around the world. For I sure. love that. Yeah. I absolutely love that. It flew mm -hmm. on the launch and it will do exactly the same it is doing exactly the same right For now sure. and look how well, many people can say they own something like this though dave well exactly if you 100 people or 90 people right now yeah. if you're quick enough if you're fast enough it's a, a colossal incredible legacy deal penny you're there nicolette allison maker gloucestershire sheila susan essex another maker's trying to get four Good luck, everybody. Penny in Buckinghamshire as well. Lincolnshire getting involved. 299. It's 48 centimetres. Are you going to mix the colours up? Are you going to knot them? Are you going to keep them quite classic Gump style? Um, are you going to keep in these wonderful uh, um, sort of sections or chapters within your rainbow of rarity? You know, when we talk about legacy, I have to say that la the last hour and a half, um, well, the whole show always, but in particular, since Dave stepped into the studio, it doesn't get any bigger legacy than what we're actually discussing right now. What is on your screens? You know, this is the kind of items that I aspire, and thanks to Dave's connections, to actually pass on to future generations. Dave, I, there's no way I'd be able to afford the £10,000. Well, the same. You it, and me both. But th that's but the difference. But 299 is, is, is doable. Yeah, I mean, well, look. We're very different in the way that we buy. We buy metric tons of jade. Yeah. We're one of the biggest buyers out there. Um, with that, we've been able to, been very fortunate to have got some unbelievable opportunities over the years, and we pass it on to you. Yeah. If we said, you know, it's 5,000 pounds, we know we're comfortably half the price of anything out there that's similar to this. Yeah, and there will be some people who can, who can afford the 5,000 pounds. I'm gonna give you a one minute clock to close this one. I only had 100 of these. Yeah. Um, it's your opportunity. We're, we're replicating the birthday deal um, with uh, an allocation of stock that was meant for our sister channel. If there's anything left, join me in October where I'll be debuting this with a clasp um, and it will be a sensational opportunity. 18 karat gold clasp? For sure, on this for the birthday, yeah. Yeah, I so yeah, 100% agree. Unbelievable. Jewelry makers, good luck to each and every single one of you. Multi buyers, I mean, wow, what an achievement. Yeah. You can buy one single. I, I refer to it as like a dippy egg yolk yellow. Yes, yeah, stunning. Natural cabochon for more, significantly more, 3,800 for that, that ring yeah. that Dave was showing. Or you can get 48 centimetres of beautiful, a myriad of colours from all around the world in, in, in your jade. Yeah, but you've got 20 seconds to do it. 20 seconds to make this yours. Yeah, good luck. Good luck. I'm, oh. I didn't get it sold out on the first time, so I missed out. This is my second yeah, chance. Yeah, and Dave, if you can, well. I would do it. I would absolutely get involved whilst you can. Um, to to everyone who misses out, I apologise, but there will be a very small opportunity, a fleeting opportunity during the uh, the birthday um, over at Gemporia in October. And keep your eyes peeled on the social media for for the key dates for that. But it's wow. a few months away. Congratulations to anyone who's got that deal today. Absolutely sensational. I've got one more deal to offer you mm -hmm. uh, before I fly off um, again and it is a supreme and incredible variety of agate now we know that there is an agate kind of gold rush taking place we've yeah. seen the price of gems such as nanhong agate rivaling the price of jade and one of the people that is key in the industry when it comes to the ornamental stones from china is a gentleman called bernard and i remember him telling me about this material and he said there is one variety uh, of agate which is the only kind more revered than the nanhong this is the Alashan agate, also known as candy agate because of its fancy colors. And this is very rare. So not to be confused with like dyed material, nothing wrong with yeah. that. But this is natural what you're about to see. 
They said this location is revered for its colors and patterns, and today it's very hard to obtain gem quality material. And just to give you, an, you know, more information, Alashan agate is a type of agate that is known for its unique patterns and colors. It's a semi-precious gemstone that is found in the Alxa League of Inner Mongolia in China. The Alashan region is known for its rich geological history. It is home to a variety of mineral deposits, including the agate that is found there, which is the Alashan agate. And this is prized for its distinctive patterns, which can include bands of brown, red, orange, white, and gray. It's often cut and polished into cabochons, beads, and other decorative objects. Mm. But the price of Alashan agate can be higher than that of any other type of agate, even Nanhong, due to yeah. its patterns and its limited availability. While some types of agate are found in many locations around the world, Alashan agate is the only agate found in one specific region of Inner Mongolia. Because even with Nanhong, you've got the old mine, and then you've got the newer the new material one, yeah. in Sichuan. So there so are two is different location. single locational wow. the inner league of, of Inner Mongolia. Um, and they say, additionally, the process of mining and extracting the agate can be time consuming and difficult, which can add to the cost of the gemstone. They talk about cabochons and beads and decorative objects, but they didn't mention a bangle. I'm going to show you a bangle of this material oh, right wow, now. Seafoam Alashan bangle, um, $4,800 for something like that. That's stunning yeah, though, absolutely isn't it? phenomenal. Look at that unique natural color. Yeah. This is what the rough comes like. So rough boulders wow. with good color uh, are very rare and the price is very high. To do a necklace with all the colors would prove very costly, like four figures. To do yeah. a necklace of that material would be over a thousand dollars is basically what they're saying. Okay. And you can see this is how oh, they like to do wow. them, those carvings. Pieces like this, i.e. the large beads, can command five figures, which you're not surprised that. In, in Shanghai, in Beijing, if that was $10,000 or whatever, you can see why. It's, if they They're told you different. every one of those, yeah, and it's probably all from the same rough. They said it would how be cheaper easy. to do Nanhong, but you wouldn't get that unique variety. You get beads like this, look how decoratively <gasps> carved they are. But look at the myriad of wonderful colors and patterns. Yeah, it's stunning. Unique it's like to a, this it, location. It's a it's a proper creamy pastel. Yeah, they call it candy agate. Yeah, because Beautiful. of those unique natural colors. This material comes in many colors, but the most expensive pieces are blue, you know, kind of sea foam color. Yeah. It's a blue that no other agate comes in, and it can reach the similar price as Timbura Jade because it's the rarest gemstone in China, like natural blue agate. Okay. Uh, the biggest market for the material is Taiwan, but 99% of that material is dyed because the natural colors are so expensive. And you can see it. They're, they're selling it into Taiwan. Um, epoxy filled chalcedony as an imitation for candy agate because yeah. it's so expensive and you can see on the right there they're injecting polymer into oh, the beads okay. to give you those wonderful colors and selling it as candy agate but this opportunity this bangle you which, know it's special just by the exterior yeah i'll show you, you? That. this is the box that it comes with every single one of these and i never ever talk about the boxes of products but this is really really yeah beautiful. it's beautiful so you open this up take the top off and then inside is these incredible, oh, it's gorgeous. wonderful colors. You can see each one will be unique. Each one will be the same grade, carved from that unique rough. I'm going to give you 30 seconds. I'm going to bring this live. Wow. That's beautiful, Dave. Yeah. Again, those like creamy light colors. Good luck. Uh, and by the way, I'm, I always say and stand by it. Um, when it comes to uh, my final deal with you, it always has to be something crazy. This is going to be well, that. This is the first time I'm learning about it. Yeah. Um, so describe your, what's it? Asha, Ashla. Alashan. Alashan. Beautiful. Right, let's open this up. I'll let you know right now, I've got a yeah. hundred of these. Really? And I, yep, and I'm going to do a crazy deal for any collector who wants to own it. With everything you get here, you know, that wonderful box, the wonderful colors, 100% natural, the, the Alashan agate from Inner Mongolia. I'm going to start you off at 999. Okay. That's where I'm starting. And that should give you some idea of how crazy this deal is going to be. We've seen deals today start at 20 grand or 10,000 pounds. I'm starting as low as 999. Mm -hmm. And we've seen similar opportunities like this, the Seafoam Alashan agate for like nearly $5,000. I am gonna make sure that this is one of the most impressive, incredible opportunities that you can get. It's going to be practically a giveaway. So we've not, you've not seen any Alashan uh, agate actually sold in, car, in bangles before? Uh, only the one that I showed you online, but you, you're looking at the price of that. Oh yeah, 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 4,800, wow. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Very difficult to do. I bet, and, and of course very wasteful. Yeah. 
Stunning, absolutely stunning. Well, you're already, what's that, 25% of yeah. the price? Less than. Yeah. So we're at 999. For for you, collector in Swansea, he's got three of these I don't straight blame away. You, Congratulations! It's gorgeous. Right, thirty second clock. I've told you I'm going to do something special. I said I'm going to finish with the crazy deal. I always do, and I'm not frightened to do it on this incredible bangle. As rare as it is, as exquisite and exclusive as it is, I want you to own it. I want you to see it. I want you to have an introduction to the rarest form of agate in the world. It's beautiful, amazing. Those creamy candy colours. Mm -hmm. Okay. I've never, this is my first ever introduction of it, Dave, and it's absolutely Yeah, and it might be bangle. many people's, you're probably thinking, well, where, where do we pitch this? How expensive is this going to be? It's going to be the most affordable bangle we've done. Pardon? Yeah, I'm going to go straight down to 299 which is maybe our average price for a, a, a bangle here. Amazing. Yeah, an incredible opportunity. And I'm nowhere near done. Someone's put, I have a six mil Alishant Agate beads and they cost me 200 pounds. Oh, Caroline. Go. I have four six millimeter. Yeah. So four beads. Yeah. If it's Alishan though, you know, that's a great price. You know, we're seeing, you know, dizzying premiums being paid for Alishan Agate. I'm right now at 299 and I'm still, by the way, even with your four interest-free split payments, I'm nowhere mm. near done. But it's down to you. I'm offering you the opportunity. I can't do any more. I'm saying to you, we're not done here. So do you, do you see this much when you're over in places like Hong Kong and nope. China? No, nope. yeah, I mean, you see, uh, you always see pieces. But yeah. you don't see opportunities like this where they say, we've got 100 or we've got 50. Oh, no, it's obviously. singular moments. Wow. And you wouldn't see it at jewelry maker prices or mm -hmm. Dave prices. 30 um, second clock. I'm oh, just going to tell this is going to be relentless. It's going to be a crazy deal. Okay. Good luck, everybody. My first introduction, and I'm just mesmerized. Stop permitting I'm going to be joining you on this. Yeah. If you're promising it, it's going to be the most uh, affordable bangle. Without a doubt. Which doesn't make any sense because you just said this is one locational. Yep, one locational. We talk about it being the most valuable form of agate, especially when you're getting these wonderful colours. Um, and yet we're still going to offer you because we got a great deal. When we get a great deal, we'll pass it on regardless of what the literature says, regardless of what the market wants to pay. We will always do the best that we can. We're at 299 and take £100 off. We're going to mm -hmm. go straight down to 199 Okay. And we're not done. Pardon? Yep, nowhere near still. Nowhere near still, but this is me giving you that last chance. Look at that. You can see the blues, can't you? Yeah, look, Alison says, I actually have one of these bangles. Love the warm mocha chocolate uh, slate with moments of browns and amber colours. Yeah. The box is amazing too. Thank you so it much, is. Alison. Um, you may well know how crazy this deal is going to get. I wouldn't be surprised if we see you on the front lines. Gail's there in South Yorkshire. Swansea, you're there. Leslie, you're there. Peter, all the way from Alicante, you're there. Maker in Swansea, you're there. Greater London, Merseyside. Four interest-free split payments makes this, you know, hopefully stunning. so much more affordable, so much more manageable. Yeah, absolutely stunning. And mm -hmm. of course, every single one will be unique. I love absolutely. that. Absolutely. About now, these beautiful stones. I'm going to give you a 30-second clock. And the final deal is coming your way. Okay. This is my final deal with you. Mm -hmm. And we're going to make it one to remember. Good luck. Good luck. Good luck. I did tell you at the beginning of the show, Jewelry Makers, it was going to be an absolutely incredible Tuesday. Yes. It most certainly has been that. The finest metallic ripple pearls. Yeah. The most beautiful, extraordinary strand of rainbow of rarity. Mm -hmm. And now, an introduction to us all in one of the world's rarest agates, For the sure. Alishan. And it's beautiful. Right, Ross. Crazy deal to finish uh, my, my showcase with you. Take a hundred pounds off. I'm going to give it to you for ninety nine pounds. With we're still with your interest free split payments. This is what Should we want to do. We want to provide that. you with the most incredible opportunities. And when we get those wonderful uh, opportunities, like the closeout deal with the pearls, mm. and this opportunity here, we'll always make it as affordable as we can. I think you've shocked a few people there. I can Dave. imagine. Yeah. Um, plus, look at the split payments. Ridiculous. £25. Pounds. Mm -hmm. Is there any place in the world where you can get hold of Alishan? Natural, genuine, Alishan, certified, Alishan Agate. 25 is it? Is it on four-way? Yeah, £25 pound on split, split pay. pay yeah. Crazy. Absolutely crazy. Beautiful. Mm -hmm. And Just no two If, if you get through, I know it's busy. If you manage to get answered, if you can, depending on where you are in the queue, just say, give, give me two of these. Yeah, oh, I think deal. people are taking you up on that. Yeah. Uh, Swansea got four now. Well done. Cumbria is multi-buying. Another maker wants multiples. Sheila wants multiples. I don't blame you at all. Sheila's just got two, yeah. 
And just to so you know, I'm going to give you a minute clock to close this one out. It is crazy. Elle, you've got a strand coming up. Really? And do you know what? I'm going to say, even though I'm not here, I'm going to make sure, I'm going to say it out loud. We're going to take the strand lower than the bangle. And the strand is guaranteed to have that blue color in it, which they say is the rarest, the most expensive color. Okay. So this epic, incredible, colorful Alashan Agate strand. You can see the blues there. This is coming up and those vibrant reds. That's going to be lower than the bangle, but nowhere near as big quantity. Is it? Is it still? Wow, that's beautiful. Is it still the same, uh, you know, similar to your jades, where they say, you know, a strand can be more expensive? Oh, than a strand a will be, yeah, because it's far more wasteful. Okay. So with the strand, it is far more wasteful than a bangle. Um, the, the reality is you see the waste in a bangle. So you see that central portion that's been mm -hmm. cut away. So yeah. we just assume, oh my God, there's 90% waste. But with, with the rounds, think about them to get them that small yeah. and to polish them all, you, you're achieving a far greater waste. And that's why a strand of jade, it's the same with any gemstone, certainly ornamental, opaque gemstones, strand will always uh, command more a higher price you know, on, on average than uh, a bangle. Okay, I'll be bringing that to air. My introduction of your Alishan uh, agate is beautiful. Dave, thank you. Thank you, you so much, Al. So and thank much you to you guys joining. as well. And I know you've got a wonderful masterclass coming up as well yes. at midday, um, which you're not going to want to miss. And I'll be seeing you all very, very soon. Oh, amazing. Yeah, you will absolutely love it. So thank you thank once you so again. Much. Um, you're here till 10 o'clock. Yep. 10 o'clock tonight. 10 o'clock tonight. So make sure you stay with Dave because he's on our sister channel as well. Yep. Um, hope to see you soon. We'll do. We will be seeing each other very, very soon. And you guys as well. And I can't wait for what we've got for you on Friday. Oh, it will be absolutely amazing. Now, we went to 99.99, right? For your Alishan bangle. So beautiful, isn't it? I'm going to join you on that one. I wasn't expecting it to be a double figure price tag. Okay. My first ever experience and we've got two here to show you the consistency of that quality <gasps> and it's all natural so i've got two here but just to show you the consistency of the quality did dave say that look at those what so what did bernard say there is one variety of agate which is the only kind that uh, more revered than Nan Hong. This is the Alishan agate, also known as candy agate because of the fancy colors. This is very rare. This location is revered for its color and pattern and today is very hard to obtain gem quality material. Didn't he mention as well the blues? The blues that this material comes in many colors, but the most expensive pieces are blue. It's a blue that no other agate comes in and can reach similar prices to Imperial J because it's the rarest gem in China. The biggest market for this, this, this material is Taiwan, but 99% is dyed because the natural colors are so expensive. These are not dyed. So, yeah, Dave has just casually called this uh, under the price of the bangle. Even though we know that a strand is more, rape, more what, wasteful, right? Look at, the, look at the colors. Do you know, you might be thinking, okay, it's like, it's like your jade. It's not though, is it? It's got a different tone. But it's valued in the same way that jade is. For, how, do, how do I describe it? It's like, um, it's a moodier agate. Sorry, a moodier jade. Does that make sense? It's really hard to describe, but it's natural. Now, nothing to do with us. Can I also show you how it's presented? It, that's how special this is. It comes in a silk pouch. Your first price crash, jewelry makers. We are matching 
the bangle. But Dave did call that this could go lower. Look at the quality of the how it's, you know it's something is special if it's presented to you like so. You know, it, Ross is just saying in my ear, I can't believe that it's natural. You know when a gemstone looks so good that you almost think it's imitated or treated at the very least. Not the case. Absolutely beautiful. With those rare bluish tones. The warm, deep reds. My first experience of Ashlan or Alashan, sorry, agate. Stunning. If you got the bangle and you can afford to, I think you need to get the strand to match it. Can you imagine this in a mala? An Alashan mala. We've called it, it's going to go lower than the price of the bangle. But that, that, that's almost mauve, isn't it? You've got almost like a grand digerite blue and then you've got like a mauve colour here. What? £79.99 pence only. All natural. What? That's not the price that Dave said to you. First time I've ever seen it today in 25 years of working with gemstones. Never, ever seen Alishan agate before. Not the same as dyed agate. Completely different from your dyed agate. This is natural, and as Bernard said, who is a, a, a specialist, if you like, in your ornamental stones, the only variety of agate rarer the Nan Hong is your Alishan. And we're going lower. Good luck. Sixty-nine pounds and ninety-nine pence only. Julian Tynanware, Cumbria's multi-four. Are you going for the cut? Are you going for the Marla Cumbria? Wow. Alwyn, Gale's multi bought Swansea's multi bought I've never seen a colour palette like it in any gem. That's the thing. Maybe you know, I, I get why it's got that wonderful excitement behind it. I get why it's as popular as it is, but I've never seen a colour palette like it. And it's so difficult to put your, your finger on. Imagine this with those pearls that you saw a few moments ago. Alishan, natural agate alongside natural metallic ripple pearls. But how many do we have? I didn't know that. 50. I only had 50 available. 23 of these left, well done. Richard in Wiltshire, Alison in City of Bristol, Janet, Julia, Cumbria, Caroline, well done. Caroline, um, you messaged in earlier on, didn't you? Caroline texted and said she's got four. Was it four? Four six millimeter beads. And this is my words, this is Caroline who's purchased with you now. I have four six millimeter Alashan beads and they cost me 200 pounds. There you go. You're getting a full 38 centimetre strand today. Hello, Caroline. I'm saying, I can't see it from there. I'm, I'm so buying this, especially as my four beads were, were expensive. You're crazy. We are. We certainly are. To be honest, though, this isn't really us. This is Dave. Dave allowed it. And it's his purchase, so this isn't really us. So there's no repercussions on our part, is there, Dave? Is there, Roscoe? No. Our hands on this occasion are totally clean. Totally clean. 69.99, Rupal in Middlesex. Well done to you. Alison, Richard, Janet, Julie, keep on dialing through. I have, in the next hour, four strands. Speaking of Nan Hong, the mine that is completely closed, Nan Hong Agate. The history stretches back centuries. The first mine was mined out. Decades later, they found another. 
but that mine in November just gone has just been announced as mined out. So what Nan Hong we have is all we have. Don't forget Ellie's amazing masterclass, all about your beautiful brand new gallery wire as well. We've got lots to squeeze in. We'll see you after this. Hi, Jewelry Makers, Monica here. Just wanted to tell you quickly about what's coming up on Wednesday's show on Jewelry Maker. In the 9am Project Tower kits, we've got these brand new sterling silver seaside themed connectors um, along with the tassel caps and seed beads of course and these beautiful tassels as well and not forgetting some beautiful um, fire agate gemstones which is one of my favourite gemstones because I just love all the patterns um, in there. So I've also got the instructions written to show you how to make these necklaces. And then in the 12 o'clock hour we've got all full on seed bead kits but with brand new hex cut twisted hex cut size 10 uh, seed beads which I've never used before to be honest with you and I really love them they are so sparkly this is the bracelet uh, that I've written the instructions for it also comes with a magnetic clasp which, make, which makes it fabulously easy to wear uh, we've got three colorways of those as well and the instructions to make this bracelet um, so I hope you can join us on Wednesday on the 22nd from 8 o'clock in the morning see you then Never miss a show by watching on the go with the Jewelry Maker app. Head over to your app store now and search Jewelry Maker and simply download to your smartphone or tablet. You can watch the shows live and see your favorite presenters and guests. Click on the Today button to shop all of the products that are featured on today's show. Want to know what's hot? Then click here to see today's best sellers and highlights. Have you missed a show or want to watch one back? Then click on the schedule button and you can go back seven days to watch and shop and you can also see what's coming up over the next seven days. Want to say hello or ask a question to our guests? Then send a message to the studio. You can also keep in touch with all the latest news, events, product launches and much more by clicking for our social media pages. Never miss a show by watching On The Go with Jewelry Maker. How would you like to be part of an unofficial world record attempt and amongst the largest number of people making jewellery at one time? On Friday the 31st of May at 10am, Jewellery Maker will be holding the world's biggest make-along, where over Zoom you can join fellow jewellery makers of all abilities as we attempt to break a world record. Whether you've never made jewelry before or it's your favorite hobby, you can join us. All you have to do is sign up via the link below. We will send you an email with the Zoom link to join us near the time. Go to www.jewelrymaker.com for inspiration and of course, how to sign up. See you on the 31st of May for the world's biggest make along. Hi Jewelry Makers, it's Charlie. I'm back with you this Friday, Friday the 24th, and I'll be with the lovely Elle and the fabulous team. At uh, nine o'clock, we have got some beautiful floral pendants. I'm going to be walking through how you go about setting those. And then at 12 o'clock, we have so many goodies. It's all about metal smithing, forging metal. Uh, so we've got lots of hammers, steel block. There's a new tool as well, a new tool that will help you um, if you're uh, soldering at the minute and you're struggling to get everything set up, this is gonna be really useful for you. Um, so I really look forward to sharing all that with you guys and I hope you can join me on Friday. See you then. Welcome back everybody. I told you it was gonna be a super Tuesday. Told you. And we're still not done. They've got lots to squeeze into the next hour and a half. An hour and a half, and then this is our Friday, by the way. Yeah. We get a weekend, we get two days off. Um, what's that? There's a star by coming your way after the four strands of Nan Hong. Oh my goodness, this is amazing. 
So after your nan hong, you have this. That's what I said. You have this uh, this star by. That's ombre, type A jade. Ah, oh, Ross, that's amazing. Look at those sections. Those almost like inch long sections. They're the most imperial I've seen. It's at this point. I'm hoping you tell me, El, for that star by. I've got quantity. Oh. <sighs> I've got 30. I'm so sorry. 30 available. But that's, listen, that's me being complacent, Naughty L. We've got 30, which is amazing when we're talking about a gem of this quality and rarity. That's an. Wow. I want this. These are called your candy colours. You've got your pure mutton fat whites. See what I mean? These sections here of that wonderful chrome rich green. That is gorgeous. Do you know what I'm thinking? I bought, do you remember that carving that Jewelry Maker launched, which um, actually isn't a carving. It's just like a flat slice that with just like a bale at the top. Yeah, nothing on it. I bought that and I want to put that on this for my husband. Mm. I think that I think that looks so cool. That would look nice. Coming or, up after your nan hong. Yeah. Or I, with one of the big silk nan hongs oh, in the middle beautiful. at the bottom. Yeah, amazing. <laughs> Ellie, are you a nan hong agate fan? I am now. I, I had never heard of it before, re very recently from Jewelry Maker. Um, and I really particularly like the silk. Do you? Nan That's Hong. your favourite. Yeah. You'd be forgiven for that. I hadn't heard of it. I've heard of Nan Hong, but I'd never really... I didn't know the history of yes, it so yeah. much. Um, well, let's talk about that. Now, um, Ross has got some information that he can share. So, Nan Hong, firstly, is not to be confused in the same, the same way as your Ashland agate or your Sakura agate. Should not be confused with any other variety of agates. Not all our gates are equal. It is a wonderful material. It's a gemstone that literally forms over millions of years. So agate is very old. It's very old gemstone. But you can dye agate, and that's fine. It's beautiful. It's lovely to work in into your jewelry designs. It's quite an ornamental stone as well. But the, the dyed variety is not as rare as what you're about to see. Now, Nan Hong agate, was mined centuries ago. Now, that mine that was only one location, it was there was one mine in the world in China, was mined out hundreds of years ago. They rediscovered, uh, rediscovered, rediscovered um, Nan Hong Agate more recently. But our team, Dave, who you've just seen, and many more, will travel around the world. They will go to places like Geneva, like Tucson, which I had the privilege of going to, like Hong Kong, all around the world, to various different gem fairs. Yes, buying, but also it's very important that you're there. You're present to build relationships, but also, yeah, you've got to show your face. You've got to show your face, because you think about it, a WhatsApp or an email, no relationships are being built over that, over email or WhatsApp, are they? You need, like, you've just seen, you know Dave well, don't you? You know Jake, you know um, Rachel, our buyers. As buyers, it's as much about building relationships. Because without those relationships, Dave wouldn't have had that invitation to Philip's auction house, would he? Dave wouldn't have the relationship with Bernard or with Sally Hewer or with Stanley Chews, one of the most coveted jade traders in the world. Anyway, I digress slightly. So that's another reason why they go. It's not just about buying, it's to show your face, networking if you wish, but also to keep your ear very close to the ground. Now, when our team were in Hong Kong in March, I think it was, February or March, they were not expecting to hear the latest development on Nan Hong. And the latest development is this material is so rare now because the situation of the mine. 
This has spooked the market because of the history with Nan Hong. Since September, the price for this material is now 10 times the price. Okay, what situation? Nan Hong with the best red, that is almost 100% red, is as expensive as red jadeite in the market. That's never happened before. What is that situation though? The mine closed in November, which is the last Nan Hong mine in the East and the last one in the world. China has seen this before when it disappeared for centuries and now they're going back through the mine, grinding up the remains of Nan Hong. Even this is commanding huge, huge premiums. Um, they set it like Cappy Diamonds at Shopard and it's still around 1000 Hong Kong dollars per gram for basically Nan Hong dust. So yeah, they can almost be like a floating diamonds, but they could also be maybe a, like a, they'll, um, reconstitute it, actually put it into like a resin form. Is that Nan Hong? Well, yes, I suppose it is, but it's treated, heavily treated. Your four strands that you see today are natural, totally natural. If you prefer the silk variety, like our lovely Ellie, we have that. But we have two of the finest red Nan Hong agates. So another photograph. It's this is so crucial. It's all very well and good us, you know, ranting. Well, not ranting. That's the wrong words. But talking about okay, Nan Hong agates. This Nan Hong agates. That it's mined out. Uh, but actually being able to visually see it there at the location is as invaluable. So here's a photograph, and you can see 30,000 Hong Kong dollars for one single Nan Hong. That's the reality. Remember, Nan Hong Agate with 100% red is commanding the same price as your Taipei red jadeite. I have eight to nine millimeters and also five millimeters in the solid red. And then we have, I have 14 and eight mil in the twisted silk. Personal preference is up to you. That's it though. That's all on Nan Hang. I know it's obvious, but one more, one final statement. We can't replace something that is physically mined out. The only thing we can do is possibly buy it from another trader. But you can see the price is like that. That's why we take photographs. The only way of us replacing this is through another Nan Hong trader who will make the most of the fact that it is gone. Good luck, everyone. We could obviously listen to what's going in the market. We could increase the price tag like every other Nan Hong Agate trader. Definitely worthwhile getting your certificate of authenticity on this one, jewelry makers. Remember the deep, vibrant, red, natural Nan Hong, not dyed. The mine closed. It closed in, was it September or November? September. No, since September, the price is now tenfold. Uh, and it, it, the mine closed was announced in October. Do you know when I always say to you, talking about things like your um, Cotan Jade, I always say, don't sell Cotan Jade yet. Wait until, wait, wait until the mine closed. That's when you'll see the price skyrocket. That's precisely what's happening with Nan Hong right now. The mine has closed, the price has skyrocketed. We have... How many, Ross? 30 available within our vault. Once it's gone, it's gone. It's a full strand with 175 uh, carats. Even here, 499. You know, we went to a trade show in Hong Kong and didn't see those prices. I'd mix this with the gold, the twisted silk. Mm. I think it'd be beautiful together. 30 available opportunities jewelry makers and that's it once they're gone they're gone i have two strands of the solid red 
that's it. And that's in our in our whole portfolio, Ross. Um, I know I know Wayne's not there, but I actually mentioned to him the other day. I was like, "Do we have any more Nan Hong Agate on order?" He's like, "Oh, nothing." How? Where do we order it from? The mine's closed. We're at one hundred and ninety nine pounds for a full thirty eight centimeter strand. There's only thirty available. Eleven have already gone, jewelry makers. And the remaining quantity, I think, is going to sell out today. We will do, on the back of what has been an absolutely amazing Tuesday morning. Who wants this in double figures? If you do, we need to see you there. Certified, natural, genuine Nan Hong agate. Who wants it in double figures? Remember, Nan Hong with the best red, that is almost 100% red... And that doesn't have to be sort of the deep, deep, deep dark reds. It doesn't have to be. Solid colour, basically, is, all, uh, is almost 100% red, is as expensive as red jade out in the market. And I'm assuming by that statement they mean type A, because red jade, I, dyed red jade, I, it's not a big deal. We will take this to a double figure price tag for the final 30 opportunities, potentially ever. I don't know of our sister channel doing any Nan Hong Agate showcases recently. Wow. That's unbelievable. Look at that, that depth mm. of colour. So you love the twisted silk. I, I do love them both, but I'm really drawn to these deep, beautiful reds. Yeah, and do, do you know what would be really nice, though, is if you had one of each, of all of them, and they could graduate a necklace wow. with all of them, with the twisted silk in the middle and then going up to the red Nan Just Hong. Just gorgeous. Yeah. And, of course, like it's such an auspicious colour. I can I get why Nan Hong Agate is so popular in the East. Yeah. You know, it's got great meaning behind it, but again, very few natural. Just think about it gemologically as well. There are very few natural red gemstones. Yeah. Very few. Garnet, yeah, different shade. Yeah, it's much deeper, isn't much it? Much deeper. Usually? Ruby, yeah, but 95% of the world's ruby is actually treated. Mm. You know? How many? There's very few red gemstones, really, yeah. apart from those two. Yeah, and carnelian's on the cusp, isn't it? Cause it's More like orange, orange, I would red. say. Yeah. This is a natural red gemstone. Corals, but then ethically, you wouldn't really want to be sourcing that, would you? No. Yeah, what? unbelievable. Natural red. Anna, Patricia, Lorna, Mary, Cumbria, Maker, Victoria, new customers getting involved. The final 30, possibly ever. I, I look, never say never in the world of gemstones. We might stumble across an amazing gem collector who is willing to part with their Nan Hong Agate uh, parcel that they've been collecting um, over the years in the future. But I can't guarantee that. That's my point. And now, what I definitely can't guarantee is that any future purchases of Nan Hong will be anywhere near double figure prices because it makes no sense to. Well done. Do stay where you are. Let's move on to, I love this next round. Probably my favourite Nan Hong strand. Is there a quantity of these? 30 again. It's more than I was expecting. I just think the potential was something like this. Tassels. Imagine that, like a, a Nan Hong agate tassel. How about contrasted in between your green jade eyes? Well, that's what I was thinking. Every where you've got every step on the on this on the special strand, every gap, not every gap. Every step you could put in every change a red of colour. That would be the change of colour. There we go. <laughs> that would look nice. I think it, it would look really lovely. Because they're the same size, so that would make yeah. sense. Oh, beautiful! Look at that colour. That's the deepest crimson yeah, red. Yeah, see, I prefer the smaller strand to the larger one. I think. That quote when you talk about best colour. Yeah. This is what I imagine. This is what I imagine when they say Nan Hong with the best red. It's almost 100% red. Is as expensive as red jade out in the market now. I can, I get it. I can see why. It's natural. With so few natural red gemstones in the world. With your star bar, yeah, that's coming up a little bit later on. I think that would be absolutely beautiful. Perfect together, I think. Those oh, two. I love that. And a long line necklace. Gorgeous. I have 30 though, jewelry makers, just 30 available opportunities. And they're already going. Now, wait a minute. 
I don't... Shall I assume, Ross? Well... We had a bigger carrot weight on the previous strand, Ross. But this is a darker colour. Oh, oh, straight away you're at matching the price. We should be higher, though. I think we're all in agreement there. We should be higher. Good luck, jewellery makers. We're going um, even lower for the final 30. No, it doesn't make any sense. A gemstone that is, quite frankly, irreplaceable. The mine closed in November. And then we'll go, oh, yeah, we'll go lower. Let's get the <laughs> clock on screen. It is ridiculous, isn't it? Just for um, funsies. <laughs> just for, for just cause. I love that. But you know what? That's why so many of, um, uh, you know, the, the contacts that we have all around the world and all different works and walks of life love the fact that that's what we're about. They love the fact that it's not about how much can we charge for this. It's mm. quite the polar opposite. It's how little. That's no reflection of the true value. Cumbria's bought three. Cheshire wants two. Jeannie's on the web as well. I'm joining you on this. I think it would be absolutely beautiful in between maybe, um, maybe in between your Cotan jades or maybe some of your lovely sort of apple green. Certainly the star buy that is a, se uh, a few seconds away. Well, a few minutes. Sorry, not seconds. Cumbria, well done. Cheshire, well done. London, well done. Jeannie, well done. £49.99. pence. For a gem, a one locational gem that is now only just been announced as mined out. <laughs> Mary in Cardiff, Anna in Derbyshire, Tessa, you've got yours, Heather in Hearts, new customers as well. It's beautiful, isn't it? I love that intensity of red. Nothing will dampen that red either. No. It's that richness and opulence. Like, like, oh, like a crushed velvet yes again i get it i do get why the east is so passionate about this beautiful gemstone um congratulations everybody again make sure you're checking out what's this can you can you put it with the silk the smaller silk the smaller yeah twisted silk oh amazing i love that i love those two together i think they're perfect for each other Gorgeous. Yeah. We have, after everything that we've said, the new information that we have we know about Nan Hong Agate with 100% red, yeah. I still have the twisted silk available. Okay. Yeah, yeah I get it. But that's like saying, okay, hang on a minute. Ross has just said, yeah, but now with the new information, Twisted Silk isn't as expensive as the other variety. But that's like saying, okay, a pink diamond isn't as expensive as a red diamond. It's still a pink diamond. Still a pink diamond. Do you see what I mean? That's like saying, okay, but yeah, an e colourless uh, diamond is, is, you know, it's not as good as D. But it's still E. True, but L, he says L, these are also shorter. True. We're going to bring these strands down in price. At the price, at the time, the price that we launched these was more than fair. Now things have changed in the market. Okay. I've got two though. Guest designer Ellie, she's got hers. I'm going to start with the large 14 mil. Can you see why Twisted Silk is so popular though? Again, these are all natural. I'm going to just show my way along the strand. It's absolutely beautiful, Ross. Look at those, and that's natural. I'm going to show you, at the time, over a year ago, this was the price that we purchased and launched this exact strand at. And at the time, I have to tell you, it's an absolutely unbelievable deal. We get a great deal, you get a great deal. But sometimes, I don't almost don't want to say this next sentence, but I will. We're about to cut 
some fairly in uh, fairly significant losses, aren't we? We're going to lose big here. So if you've always loved your twisted silk nanhong, there has never been a better time than today. 149 has always been the closing price on this strand. Today, how about if I say three of your most favorite words? Close out deal. Oh goodness, that's so low. You've just taken a hundred pounds off that price tag, haven't you? A hundred pounds off one of the world's rare, it's still Nan Hong Agate. Just because one sentence or of, of Nan Hong Agate with the best red, yeah, I get that. Just because of that one sentence is commanding the same price tag as, as Red Jade Eye doesn't mean that every, every other variety of Nan Hong Agate shouldn't maintain its, same, it, it, its already incredible price. Look, 30,000 Hong Kong dollars. And I have to tell you, they're nowhere near as nice as the ones I see here in the studio. They're all a bit misshapen, aren't they? A bit misshapen and it's a bit odd. Whereas you have perfect 14 millimeter rounds. Close out deal jewelry makers, Marion, Jenny, Oxfordshire, Alison, Gail, Elizabeth, Mariska and Tracy. I had how many of these? 20, okay, so it's more limited. Um, absolute closeout deal. So it's all down to your personal preference. If you prefer the solid red, we can bring you that. If you prefer the twisted silk, and we've shown you carvings of twisted silk pieces, haven't we? There's one where um, it's sold at auction um, that you can see the white and it's like a face. Literally a face peering through. That's Twisted Silk Variety and it's sold at auction. And again, huge premium. There. Oh, there you go. So superb Nanhong Agate Guan Yin plaque. Look at the price. 100,000 to 150,000 Hong Kong dollars. That's what you're looking at. You know, we, there was nothing wrong with the 149 price tag previously, by the way. This is a, a closeout deal, but it is ridiculous that we're bringing closeout deals on a gem that's irreplaceable frankly you know again look at that that's what 4.4 centimeters long it's a carving and it's beautiful but again it's the twisted silk variety that i have in this one strand well done everybody close out deal opportunity on one of the world's rarest varieties of agates mind out it's happened before centuries ago one nanhong agate mine um depleted Centuries later, we discovered another location, but that just closed in November, just gone. Well done, the final five. Maker, Lynn, Maker, Mariska, Tracy. Oh, Mariska, you've got yours. Um, if you check out your baskets, you will be successful. Heather in Hearts, you're there as well. I have one final twisted silk nanhong, and then I'm going to bring you the Kotan Jade Strand. That's beautiful. I want this strand. Really want to join you on that. Okay. I think looking at that plaque, that's not on a huge amount of gold. You've got a few, what, seed beads. A carved bead. Or seed pearls or something like that, maybe. A carved lava kite by the looks, maybe? Lava rock, yeah. But look at the price that it's actually estimated for. Yeah, it's a work of art and it's carving. Have you, do you think that's vastly different from the carvings that we've brought you here at Jewelry Maker? Because I don't. We're going to do this in one price crash. Good luck. The gra How many do I have? 23, okay. Possibly the last time we ever bring you Nan Hong Agate. We are going to do a brand new low price tag. Get your certificate of authenticity. There she is. If you were wondering, if you were thinking our lovely Ellie's gone quiet, she has. It's because she's shopping with you right now. Well done, Ellie. Are you ready? Don't blame you there. She's not going to get another chance again, is she? Brand new low on your screen, your beautiful twisted silk, uh, twisted silk variety. 
29 pounds and 99 pence only we're going to put a 60 second clock on your screen at this price tag it's not, again i get it you know just because one variety is commanding a higher price tag in the deep reds doesn't necessarily mean that the other colors aren't are also valuable in the same way that's but that's the probably the most uh um and it's a terrible analogy but it's true isn't it yeah, yeah, we know that a red diamond is the rarest of all, but a pink diamond's also rare. So just because the red diamond's like, oh, it's 10 times the price fetching, fetching this amount, doesn't mean that the, the pink one's going to be cheap by any stretch of the imagination. Make sure you're checking out everybody, Tessa, hello to you, Renfusia and Oxfordshire and Cheshire and Lorna and Jenny and Deborah and Ellie. Nikki, there's another guest designer, lovely Nikki in Merseyside. Frederick, hello to you, new customers, Tracy. We're running out of time. We're gonna be diving into your amazing star by opportunity, which is none other than the 10,000 years history of Coat and Jade. I still think, you know, somewhat three, four years on, that it's a huge privilege and pleasure to be able to talk to you about the gemstones that we do on a daily basis, but in particular, gemstones like this, Cotan Jade. Cotan has arguably one of the longest histories of any gemstone in the world. 10,000 years. Still blows my mind. And when we've shown you photographs in various different presentations, which I will do in a second, this is still a mine to this day that is mined alongside, along the Kotan River. Do you know, in all those 10,000 years of being around that location, they have never found the primary deposit. So every Kotan that Sorry, just Steve Bennett FaceTiming and he's like going across the sky. <laughs> Every Cotan jade that's been excavated, usually is about palm size, is actually the secondary deposit. So it has been alluvial, uh, alluvially excavated, if you like, and may have traveled down the Cotan River. But that history stops soon. They believe that the Kotan mine only has two years left. I've said this before, and I'm no financial ex expert. Believe me, you don't want to trust me with your money. You don't. I'm good at spending money. But what I can say, I'm not a financial advisor, and I'm dreadful at maths. So there you go. But what I will say... My personal recommendation would be, if you are fortunate enough to say that you own, you are the custodian of genuine, natural Nan Hong. Uh, sorry, I'm still on Nan Hong. Kotan Jade. If you are the custodian, because we are, we never own it, do we? We're custodians of something like this. It's, it's heirloom. You pass it down from generation to generation to generation. This is something that you do not, I personally wouldn't sell. Not right now. Maybe look at, revisit it when the news w uh, breaks to the world that Kotan Jade, after 10,000 years, is no longer being mined. What do you think is going to happen to the price, the price per carat of the already the world's most expensive gemstone? I've shown you pieces before and I wonder, have you got it, Ross? I've shown you pieces before. That amazing heritage in bloom necklace, the most expensive necklace ever created, that had a staggering, an eye-watering 200 million. Yeah, <laughs> 200 million masterpiece. And oh my goodness, it is a masterpiece. See that diamond in the center? That's a Cullinan diamond. Chow Tai Fu, by the way, is like our Tiffany's in the East. It's one of the biggest jewellery houses in the world. 
And they say Hong Kong based jewelry retailer Chow Tai Fu released a gorgeously crafted diamond necklace, but it's so much more than diamond. A heritage in bloom in September 2015. Once released, it became uh, the new most expensive diamond necklace in the world. But you're noticing there's other gems. If we take a closer look, that halo of around the Cullen and Diamond is Kotan. You have, take a little look at that, absorb that translucency, absorb that pure linen white colour. We refer to it as uh, mutton fat in the industry. Now look at just one section of this star by opportunity. What? Wow. It's a 55 centimetre strand. You've got the smoky bluey greys, one of the rarest colours of all jades. You have some of the most beautiful spinach greens. You've got the candy colours that I've only ever seen in Kotan. But more than anything, you own one of the world's most valuable, one of the world's most historic, and one of the world's most sought after gemstones, particularly now, as we realise that the 10,000 years history is about to go. History will always be there, you can't change that. But we won't be able to access it. And they reckon it's gonna be in about two years time. I have how many available, Ross? 30 available opportunities. And I know that for, look, that's, a, that's four figures. It's a thousand pounds. But in the market for Cotan J, do you try and find anywhere that will spring you co genuine certified, laboratory certified, Cotan Jade, not type B, not type C, for anywhere near that price, let alone this price. Can I show you the photographs? Cotan Jade is sold very differently to other varieties of jade. Burmese Jade forms in big, vast boulders, sometimes the size of a car, if you like, and then they'll slice it, and then they'll obviously, they'll obviously orientate it. Cotan Jade, you know I was saying it's along the river? This is how, these kind of sizes. So it's incredibly, incredibly rare. They sift through, look literally like this sift through to discover this amazing gemstone. Never found the primary deposit. And then at the market, they are sold individually. Jade from China's West surpasses gold in value. Yeah, they say that. Gold is a price, jade is priceless. In particular, your Kotan jade. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Roscoe. What? No. Not need. Fifty carats of your natural Cotan Jade. I'm joining you on this opportunity for a three-figure price tag, hundred and forty-nine pounds, and plus you've got your split payments there as well. Imagine, these are the pieces, like I say, we don't own them, we're custodians of them. And this is the kind of piece that when I, when, when we, I should say, get hold of opportunities like this, I'll make a little note to, so that when, my, when I do pass, that my girls know exactly what it is they're actually holding. Just how it's historic and how special and rare this gemstone absolutely is. Make sure you're staying where you are on those phone lines and checking out your baskets. We are running out of time. Um, we're well aware of that and we have got the most unbelievable masterclass. So what I'm going to do is we're going to let this run with you over the break, jewellery makers. I only had a limited quantity, but I'm going to make my way over to our gorgeous Ellie because you you've got brand new floral gallery wire coming up which is absolutely gorgeous so don't go anywhere we'll be back after this hi jewelry makers monica here just wanted to tell you quickly about what's coming up on wednesday's show on jewelry maker in the nine name project tower kits we've got these brand new sterling silver seaside themed connectors um, along with the tassel caps and seed beads, of course, and these beautiful tassels as well. 
and not forgetting some beautiful um, fire agate gemstones which is one of my favorite gemstones because I just love all the patterns um, in there so I've also got the instructions written to show you how to make these necklaces and then in the 12 o'clock hour we've got all full-on seed bead kits but with brand new hex cut twisted hex cut size 10 uh, seed beads which I've never used before to be honest with you and I really love them they are so sparkly this is the bracelet uh, that I've written the instructions for it also comes with a magnetic clasp which, make, which makes it fabulously easy to wear uh, we've got three colorways of those as well and the instructions to make this bracelet um, so I hope you can join us on Wednesday on the 22nd from 8 o'clock in the morning see you then Here at Jewelry Maker, we only charge one PMP throughout the day. You can add as many items to your basket and check out and still only be charged once. Once you've checked out the first time and want to order again, you simply add the item to the basket and click on the Combine Order button. Remember, standard PMP is 395. Charges may differ outside the UK. Or upgrade to our premium option of 595. Shopping made easy on Jewelry Maker. How would you like to be part of an unofficial world record attempt and amongst the largest number of people making jewellery at one time? On Friday the 31st of May at 10am, Jewelry Maker will be holding the world's biggest make-along where over Zoom, you can join fellow jewellery makers of all abilities as we attempt to break a world record. Whether you've never made jewellery before or it's your favourite hobby, you can join us. All you have to do is sign up via the link below. We will send you an email with the Zoom link to join us near the time. Go to www.jewelrymaker.com for inspiration and, of course, how to sign up. See you on the 31st of May for the world's biggest make-along. Every day, our experts will bring you a wealth of knowledge. They'll take you through the steps of making projects and feature fabulous tips along the way. Whether you're new to jewellery making or a seasoned professional, you are sure to learn something new. We are live every day from 8am until 1pm and you can also watch back all of the demonstrations featured on the show on our YouTube channel. Hi jewellery makers, it's Charlie. I'm back with you this Friday, Friday the 24th, and I'll be with the lovely Elle and the fabulous team. At uh, nine o'clock, we have got some beautiful floral pendants. I'm going to be walking through how you go about setting those. And then at 12 o'clock, we have so many goodies. It's all about metal smithing, forging metal. Uh, so we've got lots of hammers, steel block. There's a new tool as well, a new tool that will help you um, if you're uh, soldering at the minute and you're struggling to get everything set up, this is gonna be really useful for you. Um, so I really look forward to sharing all that with you guys and I hope you can join me on Friday. See you then. Have you purchased one of our projects and want to download the instructions? Then simply log into your account at jewelrymaker.com. Go to your order history, find your order and click on download content. From there, you can save to your computer or print off a copy. Please note that your project sheets will be available once your order has been dispatched. Jewelry Maker. Create. Wear. Share. Ah, oh, welcome back. As if by magic, it's 20 past 12. I know. Why is today gone? The day has just gone. Flown by. It does that when you have fun, doesn't it? It does, yes. Lovely early. Right, incredible oh. masterclass to show you in a few moments' time. But first, speaking of incredible, let's show off your incredible uh, design. Shall we start off? Yes. This is beautiful. I know, it's so pretty. This is 576 Hinder Bendelo. Hello, everyone. Please find attached a photo of my finished peacock bezeled necklace project by Mark. If anyone has the project, I'd start with the bigger stones. So they're not as fiddly, but after a couple, you'll be fine. Now, will I start Monica's shell pearl bezel or Alison's rounds? Good luck to all entrants. 
So pretty, isn't Beautiful. it? Beautiful. I have, speaking of stretchy bracelets earlier on, number 577 from Jim Hall. I love this, Jim. Uh, good morning, everyone. Here is my entry for this week uh, for the Wall of Fame. It's a simple stretchy bracelet made using frosted blue sesame jasper rounds with gold hematite crosses. Uh, best of luck to everybody in the draw. Take care. Loving that, Jim. That's gorgeous. Yeah, lovely. You're 577. This is 576, uh, sorry, 578, Rosie. Hi everyone at JM. Here is my Wall of Fame attempt from watching Mark's tutorial using faux four dyke beads and black size 80 seed beads, all from JM. I'm addicted to these beads and I'm happy to admit it. Good luck to all the very talented wafts. Sending big hugs and lots of love to everyone at JM Towers. Loving that, Rosie. Yeah. Very beautiful. 579 is definitely giving me those sort of that heritage and bloom vibes. Yes. And this is from uh, Jackie Anderson. Hello to you, Jackie, you're number 579. Hi, everybody. Here is a piece made with pearls, spinel, which I've had for years, she says in brackets. Um, black jadeite donut and stunning silver filings, all from Jewelry Maker. Good luck to all who's entered this week. Gorgeous, loving that, Jackie, you're 579. Lovely. And this is 580, Barry Austin. Good morning to all at Jewelry Maker. My make this week for the Wall of Fame are a pair of earrings made using bugle beads, Swarovski bicones, a couple of seed beads, gold-plated sterling silver wire guardians, jump rings and stud earring findings. Everything purchased from yourselves. Many thanks for the deals and inspiration. They're so pretty. Loving them. Imagine how sparkly they'll be as well. Oh, gorgeous. Very mm. opposite. Do you know, again, they look like um, the Louis Vuitton emblem yes don't they yeah. uh, number 581 is from joanne mccarthy hello to you, joanne morning lovely team jewelry maker my waff entry this week is a pair of seagass earrings inspired by this week's lovely sunshine they are totally giving me holiday vibes all components are from jewelry maker wishing everyone a lovely week joanne they're gorgeous and i can see why holiday vibes yeah they are lovely loving those your 581 uh, oh, again, holiday vibes. I know, I know. 582, Vera Barini. Good morning, all at JM. I love gemstones with character like this bumblebee jasper necklace I created for a wedding guest. The theme was spring, so the yellow backdrop went perfectly with her yellow hat and handbag. Good luck to all the WAF entrants. Loving That's that. That's lovely. Beachy. Very beachy. Yeah. Beautiful. And again, Vera, I think you... Uh, Vera Barini, I can almost imagine to be like a Hollywood A-lister. Yes. You know? Gorgeous. Or a designer, yeah, exactly. Yes. Yeah, fashion designer. Amazing. Right then, are we ready for a launch? Cue for a song, isn't it? <laughs> uh, <laughs> are we ready for a launch? Now, I remember the original launch, the original, original launch of Gallery Wire where I think it was, was it Beadalon? I think it was Beadalon that actually wrote yeah. exclusive instructions for us yeah, in the jewelry maker. It. Yeah, I've still not used it. Have you not? <laughs> it's a home song. It was like £129. Yeah, I remember. <laughs> and you still have a it's precious, yeah. And yeah. we were like, that's fantastic. And everyone got super excited about it. But let's be honest, it was £129. It was quite expensive. Yes, yeah. So we started making our own and that brought the price down. However, these are brand new designs. I've not seen this price for Gallery Wire before. OMG, Ellie, the amount that you have done. Yes. And the pieces that you have done with, and we've got it in gold plate or we've got it in silver. Yeah. Big quantities of both of these. I'm actually going to start with the silver. But can we just take a moment to admire each and every single one? of Ellie's beautiful designs because it's brand new gallery wire unlike anything we've done before yeah I mean this probably is actually the most traditional gallery wire of them all do you agree yeah but then if you take them. a look at yeah this beautiful Grecian vine yes very clever Ellie's also made stud earrings yes Just using one yeah. of the 
And then you can see as well those little flowers. Yeah. And you can see if you go if you go to the overhead, you'll see that's how much gallery wire I've got left, I've and this is how much pieces. jewelry that I've made. Um. Yeah, there's quite wow. a lot left considering all the pieces, and I used all of my cabs that I received. Yeah, because you get the cabochons as well. Oh, Ellie, absolutely amazing! Is that back to front? No, but the teardrops have fallen. Oh, <laughs> there we are. That, oh my goodness me. That is so beautiful. Now, if I'm not a wire worker, I, you know, I admire your wonderful creations, Ellie. Um, the neatness of your wire work. But if you're not a wire worker, is gallery wire a great alternative? Yes, it can, especially to wrap the cabs in, it can be. So you'll oh. see... Well, yes, yeah, like that one that's got the... So instead of doing it the usual around the edge we've done it over the top mm -hmm. and secured it in that way beautiful and I don't need to be a silversmith either with something like no, this no oh, that, that's just wrapped with wire no at the top just a tiny bit of wire that's all and then I did pop a tiny bit of glue just behind oh, it perfect. just in case now similarly to Beadle On you get your own instructions jewelry makers with Ellie's written designs um, so if you're thinking oh I'm never going to remember this don't worry you'll have this available on your order history forever that you can print off um, or save to a desktop whichever you wish we've never done these designs before jewelry makers and again just to jog my memory I do have a big quantity of these which is super exciting 200 of oh. the silver 100 of the gold which is still equally a very very good quantity um okay let's show you the different designs so you have this beautiful grecian design of which how long are each length six inches would you say yeah i think so but that's it 15 15 what 10 or 15 Fif centimeters i can't remember 15 centimeters can't be millimeters yeah <laughs> that's probably the width i love those two are my favorite Yes, absolutely love those. I like them all really for their different purposes. Yeah, I think. And then the cabochons. Look at the cabochons, and you get. I mean, we guarantee the carrot weight here, but they're all absolutely amazing, whatever the shape. Look at that. Oh my goodness me. Yeah. And some of mine that are on the stands are just being a bit cheeky with the angle they're at, but all of them, yeah. all of them have got a really yeah, that's lovely the flash. That's the joy of Labradorite, isn't it? You'll look at it from one angle. If look, Let me see if I can do it. So if I show, typically this one's behaving, isn't it? But look, dark, and then when you turn it around, yeah. you get that amazing labradorescence that's totally and utterly natural absolutely incredible so you get three cabochons with this as well um so that's yeah how about if we said 20 pound for your labradorite we don't do labradorite cabochons very often no not anymore unfortunately uh how about then if we also said 20 pounds for each strip of your gallery wire of which can we confirm the length sorry um Okay, yeah, that seems fair. I mean, when we first launched your um, gallery wire, they were, what, it was £129. You didn't get the gemstones, and you didn't get four lots. No. Four different designs. Did you? No, you got two or three, I think, but it was it was smaller than this, I think. Yeah. And, yeah, it wasn't because it was in the sterling. Yeah. It was a bit more, but... Yeah, which I get. How long? Mm. Ten centimetres on each. Okay. More. Okay. And they are precious metal plated. So you do get an element of silver in there as well. Yeah. Plus the instructions, jewelry makers. Soft and malleable. And again, if you have any questions for Ellie, do feel free to text into the studio. Five components. Six, really, if you, count, if you actually can count the instructions itself. How about, I can't believe I'm about to say this out loud. How about £10 each? £10 for your labradorite and £10 per strip of gallery wire. How about that? Instructions for free. It's pretty good, isn't it? It's not bad. I'm going to show Ellie. We've got 200. I know. 
<laughs> so many. Ellie, I'm going to show you on my star by sheet, if that's all right, Ross. Okay. So, that's... Is that surprising? That is surprising, yeah. I mean, we're already <laughs> at 49.99. Yeah. Already, and we are going even lower. What, your advice to anybody that, say, never used gallery wire before, let's just say this is an ideal introduction project. Uh, yes, yeah, so the project that I've done specifically for this, I have put beginner because it's just a small basic bit of wire work behind and then I've, I've used glue. Oh, yeah. Um, because I wanted it to be accessible to people who Absolutely. might not necessarily know the ins and outs of being able to do things like this, you know. But also, I mean, Ellie, I'm not great at weaving. I can't wire weave. I've got, I haven't, it's like I can't plait very well. Yeah. You know, I've, it's just too much sort of going on. I've got enough fingers, it, it feels yeah. like. <laughs> Whereas something like this, I'm fairly sure I could wrap 8.4 wire around something like this. Yes. And yeah. tie it into place. It's that much more workable and malleable. Manageable. £29.99. For four lengths and your cabochons, is it just me that's thinking the cabochons should be twenty nine ninety nine? They are very flashy. The quality is absolutely unbelievable. Look, you've got cobalt blues, golds and coppers and yellows, and that's just the one. I think this one's my favourite. It's got like rainbow colours in it. This what the one. pair? Yeah. Yeah, it's amazing. So again, this is what um, Ellie was just talking about. When you look at it at one angle, it's not really behaving. But actually, when you say, no, 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 come on, have a little look at the, the natural light surrounding you. It shows this beautiful phenomena yeah. effect. We had 200 jewelry makers. You get, well, I've got three cabochons. It's the carrot weight that we actually guarantee. And then you get the four lengths of your silver plated. I love that idea, Ellie, using the mini earrings. I've never yeah. seen that done before. Yeah, I just thought, I mean, I just popped them onto a flat back stud. I just glued them on and I just thought they're so sweet and summery. Yeah. Um, yeah, I just thought, oh, sunflowers. Love just that. Makes me happy. <laughs> and, those, and those kind of uh, um, leaf-like shapes. Yeah. Just one of those in a stud. We had 200 available opportunities again. You get the five components um, in the kit. And then you've got your instructions as well. Any questions that you have for Ellie, do text in because we are live in the studio. How about then, jewellery makers? We've got a massive quantity of these. They're brand new, never been on your screens before. How about if I said... Five pounds... For each 10 centimetre strip of silver plated gallery wire and then five pounds for your labradorite. There's 200. You know, listen, yeah. we are always wanting to encourage you to do to jewellery make. Of course, there wouldn't be a jewellery maker without their jewellery maker customers. But, and how to develop uh, and move forward with different yeah. different techniques. If you have never worked with gallery wire before, I don't think there's been a more affordable op introduction than today. I don't know if we've ever done gallery wire at 25 pounds. No. Not for that amount and that desi those designs. And I'm pretty sure that's more than 10, I'm sure they're it more It is, than I don't think it's 10 centimeters, Roscoe. Hang on. I know the details say that, but that looks more than that. I haven't got a, I haven't got a, I haven't got my ruler with me. Oh, what are these are centimetres, aren't they, on here? Yeah, that's more than 10 centimetres. That's a centimetre here, isn't it? Yeah, let's put that down on your board. It's okay. No, here. Yeah. So that's yeah, that, 10 centimetres there. there. And look, it's double I think, that. I think it's meant to be 15, I think is what it said on my... We've, well, we'll over-promise a massive... Uh, we'll we'll under-promise, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> Get it right. It's 10 centimetres. <laughs> and massively over-deliver, because I'm looking at that and it actually says that it's 18 centimetres. Um, amazing. Under-promising, over-delivering, again. 
Well done. Amazing, everyone. This is an introductory deal for the instructions alone. Again, you get all these. I'm looking at each and every single one of these. If I was to lay them out, that's a lot of gallery wire, isn't it? It is, yeah. If I lay them all out just quickly to show you. Sorry, Ellie, you've got the overhead yet there. These are at, at the lengths that they will arrive. That is more than 10 centimeters. Yes, yeah. That's <laughs> Amazing. All of that for £24.99 pence only. Incredible. Plus you get your labradorite. Plus you also get your instructions. And we're going to dive into the demonstration. We have also got the gold-plated variety. Can we shop ahead on that, Roscoe? Yes, it's on pre-order. So if you want to get the same patterns, but in the gold, um, you can do that because they'll work together. And we've got a plentiful quantity of that as well. So, I mean, at that price, incredible. Well done, everybody. Ellie, over to you. Yeah, and th this, uh, this is what made me question the length because these are cut to 10 centimeters. <laughs> so, my, the, bits of, yeah, the bit of wire, I was like, I'm sure that's a bit longer. Yeah. But yeah. <laughs> It's a good problem to have, though, it's isn't it? It's not a terrible problem. It's not there a bad are worse thing. problems to yeah. have. Yes. It's better to have two more. Yes. Too much, <laughs> rather. Um, so this, I wanted to make something that looked quite fancy, but also um, was relatively accessible for people to make, basically. Yeah. Um, and that oh, doesn't shine. I'm try oh, sorry. I'm trying to get it so that it shines. There you go. <laughs> Yeah, um, but yeah, it's nice. It's nice and simple to do. There are how many steps? Sixteen steps. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. So what I've done is I've cut five pieces of ten centimeters of your 0 0.8, and what we're going to do is we're going to create a weave that looks like this, and it's kind of a zigzag. That's what I've called it in the instructions. A little zigzag. So. It's nice and simple to do. You'll, I'm using a small piece of wire here just so that I don't poke L in the eye. Um, <laughs> I'm good at dodging. Though, yeah. <laughs> um, but in the instructions, it says to use about 70 centimeters of your 0.4 wire for the wrapping. This is this will be too much, but I always like to have a little bit more in case, just in case. So what we're going to do is I'll take the first piece of 0.8 mil wire and the 0.4 and I'll wrap around a couple of times to secure the wire on. Then we'll add in the second base wire above and wrap around twice. Then we'll bring that wire in between the first and second wires. And we're gonna add our third piece in wrap around the second and third piece twice and then bring your wire in between the third and second again we're going to add in your fourth wire above and wrap around the fourth and third twice and bring your wire back through in between the third and fourth wires here. Then we'll put the fifth base wire in and wrap that twice. And then what we're gonna do here, now you've wrapped that twice, I'll splay, I'll splay the wires out a little bit so you can see what I'm doing. I also do this when I'm wrapping anyway so that you can tell which wires you need to go between. And this just stops you from getting in a little bit of a tangle because the wires do pull together and get tighter anyway. So then come back through in between the third and second wires. And then you're going to wrap over the fourth and third wires. It sounds more complicated, I think, and once you get into the flow of doing it, It'll actually, you'll actually become a lot quicker at doing this. Um, bring the wire back down and between the second and first wires and then wrap around the third and second wires twice. And then bring back round to the start on the other side of your first wire and wrap around 
the, oh, sorry, the first and second wires. There we go. And what you're going to do is you're going to do this. This is one of your zigs or one of your zags. Mm -hmm. So we've got Whether this. up a zig or down. Yes, yes. Whichever way you prefer to call them. So we've got this done. And what I did is I did it for 10, 10 zigzags here. And this is one I made earlier because I thought you may not want to watch me just wrapping wrapping the zigzags because that bit I takes know. <laughs> I still can't do it <laughs> I can show I can show another row of it first and then we can move on to that piece afterwards so go back in between the first and second wires and then wrap around twice then pull your wrapping wire between the third and second wire then wrap around your third and fourth wires twice and pull it up in between your third and fourth wire and then wrap twice around your fourth and fifth wires and then we're going to go back down again and like I say, it, like I often keep splaying them out to keep them so I know that they're, because they do get a bit tangled. It's difficult to see sometimes. So then bring your wire back through in between the second and third wire and wrap twice around your third and fourth wires. Then bring back down in between the first and second wires and wrap your second and third wire twice. Then bring back down behind your first wire and wrap around the first and second wire twice. So you can see there that we've got, we've got our nice little zigzag starting there, our nice pattern starting. And on my piece, I started just a centimetre or two down from the ends of the wire. So what we're going to do now is we're going to trim off the end wires to create our loops that are at the end of our, brace, our necklace piece just here. And I say in the thing to do it about one and a half centimetres in the instructions, but if you want to, you can do them all different lengths. And then that creates like a different fan either side just to give it a little bit more detail and that's it oh. yeah so there we've got them all all trimmed down to, and i did them all different lengths mm -hmm. But yeah, you can do them all the same if you want and have like a layered loop effect. Nice. So we're going to take our round nose pliers, just curl all the way down to create our loops. Do this to each wire. And I worked from the outside in, it just made it a bit easier to form the loops. And you'll see that the bottom loops are further apart than the top ones just because that's the way your zigzags have gone. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. And you're effectively creating uh, bales at the same time, aren't you? Yes, and this is where you will attach your chain at the end. Mm -hmm. Um, and you can choose which loop you want to attach your chain to. I, I went for the top one, but you don't have to go for the top one. You could um, quite easily select the middle one. Did I go for the top one or the middle? Oh yeah, I went for the top one, but you yeah. can do it. You could do it for the middle one if you wanted. 
<laughs> and this me. and this piece of wire work is actually quite nice as a pendant in its own right. You could actually just have this piece of wire work and then pop your pop your cab into the middle if oh, you wanted to that. with a little bit of glue. It works with the gold, doesn't it? Yes, that's why I thought I'd demo in the gold just because it shows up a little bit more, I thought, for the demo. Um, and then we'll take our leaves, the little vine leaves, and I cut four for each of my sides. Of oh, course, cool. so you can t you can uh, mirror image it, can't you? Yes, and that's what I thought. So create another little fan, and then all I did, and you'll have to. I've said it takes an hour and a half um, for a beginner, but obviously you have to consider the drying time. Yes. For the glue. And that will vary depending on which glue you get. Make sure to get a glue that you can use with metals and stone. And then, mm -hmm. yeah, all I did was pop a bit of glue on. This will not look like it will stay at the moment, obviously, because it takes 48 hours to dry, this glue, or 24 to 48. That just happened to be the one that I had. Available. Just be patient. Yes, yes, basically just be patient. <laughs> I left mine overnight um, and then I stuck the cab on the next day after it had properly. Wow. But look at that, that's gorgeous. Yes. Uh, that could be a lovely brooch as well. Yeah, and it could also be a nice segment on a bracelet. Yeah, or head headdress. Yes, or a headdress. Yeah. Um, I really liked it and I just thought it'd be really nice to have a simple way that people can use it without necessarily having to know how to solder. Yeah. And Yeah, absolutely. Now yeah. we do have the gold and we've got an amazing quantity. You know, like normally with gold coloured um, components, we'll, we'll have to say 50. The popularity of gold has skyrocketed. Yes. Um, so we've got a bigger quantity. Still got 100 though. So whereas we had double that quantity in the silver. Again, let's show you each of these strips. I know our graphics say 10 centimetres. It's way more than that. Yeah. It's way more than that. What about, is that not 10 inches maybe? And this one screamed fireburst, sunburst to me, which is why I did the pendant at the end. Um, yeah, I, I love them. I actually snipped individual ones off so that I could wrap them to a base wire. Yeah. To do the surround. Beautiful. Lauren, have you got a ruler? Um, so, amazing. Then, these are all brand new designs. And lastly, the one that Ellie was just working with. Gorgeous. I, they, they, they say, our graphics say 10 centimetres. They're definitely not that. 100% not that. I think 10 inches. But it's, it's closer to 10 inches than it is 10 centimetres. Let's just put it that way. Um, then you've got, <laughs> then you've got your beautiful cabochons. Um, <laughs> Thank you, Lauren. Let's have a little look. I mean, okay, it's not 10 inches. No. <laughs> it, it, can I just say, it's 20 centimetres. It's eight inches. Eight inches. Like I said, it's closer to, it's closer to 10 inches than it is 10 centimetres. There you go. Is that one? Eight inches. We need to change that, don't we? Oh, do you know what? <sighs> Do you know what? We perhaps shouldn't do. You get the idea. They're definitely not 10 centimetres. <laughs> They're all the same. Um, look at the quality of your beautiful labradorite. Again, full of labrador essence and magic. We're going to match the price, jewellery makers. We're going to match the price. Oh, look at those. That's amazing. And it's so flashy. I really wish you could see how flashy that is. That's yeah. why I put it upside down, because it was most flashy. Well, not upside down. 
but with is the Is this pair. it? Have I got the right one? No, it's the one right at the end. Hang on. You reach around the end. Okay, hang on. I can show that. Just sometimes takes a little bit of encouragement, that's all. There you go. It's so shiny. Unbelievable. <laughs> Look at that. Ellie, that's amazing. And a gorgeous piece of jewellery. Wow, it doesn't, yeah, it doesn't take much. No, it was just, it happened to be put down at that angle. <laughs> yeah, and also you've got to remember, you know, they've been sheltered from the busts to a certain degree. Um, okay, I've got a hundred of these. We're going to match the price, jewellery makers. Gold-plated base metal floral ga gallery wire um, with the instructions and the cabochons of your Labradorite also. £24.99. pence. Can we show those earrings again? I think that's a genius idea. Yeah. And all I did for these, the like sunflowery, the silver ones, is I... You can go to the overhead again quickly if you want. I'll just quickly show you how I did these. So I just snipped... Nice. Snipped three off. Mm -hmm. Bent the bottom oh. ones around. Put my flat nose pliers in. Added a jump ring in here. And then I stuck a post on at the back. Oh. They were so quick. They were so quick. And I think they look really, really pretty. They do. Super effective. And yeah. I'm just trying to get an idea of scale. Um, here you go, look. Ooh. Put one up on you. Yeah. Yeah. And that's why I did the studs as well, because I thought, they're yeah, just they're nice really for just studs. Yeah, really easy to work with. Yeah. Super easy. Um, amazing. Let's pop that back there so yeah. Michael can actually go. Yeah, there you go. Uh, £24.99 and pence only jewellery makers. We had 100 of these available. Um, Elegiu Atia and London, Sarah, Marishka and Anne and Suzanne and Kathleen and Tina and Kerry multi buying on these. Lucy, Victoria, Hilda, Bristol. Hello to Jeannie getting, uh, sorry, Jenny getting four. Barbara Keith, Bristol, Jenny, Shanta. I can't keep up. Um, <laughs> so we've, we have established. How long were these? Eight 20 centimetres. <laughs> Look at that. Eight inches, not ten. Which is what our graphic says. Mm. So that's amazing. You get more. Double. And you get the cabbage. Look at that, Ellie. That's amazing. And this this was one of my favourites. Oh. It's purple. It's actually a purple Labradorite. Look. Purple sheen. It's so good. That was one of my favourites out of all of the ones. Yeah, that that's I got. amazing. <laughs> yeah. That looks like solid gold, doesn't it? Yeah. That's the thing. That one, because you can use, and I remember Claire sort of teaching me this, that with gallery wire, and this one being a prime example, I don't know if I can borrow a, um, a set of pliers. Here we go. Um, and she was actually sort of saying that you can just. I'm, 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 that's I'm what just, I did. Did you? Did, yeah, you, did you put bent, one underneath? Yeah, I just bent the. Yeah, I've just put the, I just folded them behind. Oh. Folded them behind. And then they were It literally looks like around. a solid gold. Yeah. That's amazing. And then I just trimmed off uh, two leaves so that I had a bit of a stem. Yeah. From here to make the loop to put my, to put the chain on. That's cool. Yeah. Very, very Grecian. Grecian. Yeah, absolutely. Very, very cool. Amazing. Loving these again. Make sure you're checking out your baskets, everybody, to gar uh, guarantee um, your success. The quality oh. of the Labrite, Labrite is absolutely amazing. Look at this. Ooh. Amazing. The northern lights in a gemstone. Yeah. And I like that they're all different shapes. It's nice to get a variety to work with. So I wouldn't necessarily work with like um, a rectangular one, like the one that I have yeah. over here. But it was quite fun to yeah, have that's... something different to work with. Other than... I do love the pears and the ovals, but it was just quite nice to have a different it, shape. It encourages you, doesn't it? Yeah. It encourages you to sort of have a go at something that you perhaps wouldn't naturally gravitate towards. Yes. Um, incredible. Well done. Twenty four ninety nine. Make sure you're checking out your baskets, everybody, on um, on those. And again, you're getting. 
I think it's three cabochons. Uh, is that yours or, or this that's, one? That's from here. Yeah. I, I got four. Did you? Oh, it so depends it's the on the weight. carrot weight. Yeah. So I so this one was this one and this one was smaller. So I got two. I got two instead of having the one. I guess that okay. would have been the size of both of them together. Depends on the carrot weights oh, of each yeah. of the cabochons. I know they're amazing, so aren't nice. they? Nice. Um, well done. Sorry, we got a message coming through. Hello, ah, oh, it's lovely Mark. Hello, Mark saying hello, lovely people. L, you and me Saturday. Yes. Um, just the tonic I need at the moment. Hugs all round. Oh, bless you. Oh. Well, I will give you the biggest cuddle on Saturday, Mark. Um, what's this I see in my peripheral yeah. vision? Though? <laughs> oh. That's oh, what Mark nice. has for Saturday. A variety of agate. Ooh, That's fancy. creamy. Mm. Beautiful. Amazing. I can't wait, Mark. I can't make. I'll drop you a message a little bit later on, lovely. Uh, £24.99 pence only to get hold of this. Oh, really? You've got a lash and agate, Mark? That's the avocado alashan agate, <laughs> which we've only just, I've only just seen for the very first time today. It's absolutely beautiful. I think it's going to be one of my uh, new absolute favourites. Um, now, I do have one more gallery wire opportunity that we can squeeze in as our finale. Um, we'll do it in one price crash. So, in fact, can I, what's probably better is if I use Ellie's overhead um, to, show the... to show them all. The different patterns. Is that all right? Yeah. There. What do you think? You get four strips, silver plated. This is 10 centimeters. <laughs> That's 10 centimeters. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and then you get these as well, these lens. Cool. Oh, can so you see? can put them straight in. You post them. Fourteen ninety nine. Oh, they go straight in. Oh, look at them. Look how easy that is. Just, Just a little it. bit of glue and then Ah, very All you could cool. do is put a little bit of chain on the other side and you've got like a cuff bracelet. Oh, I like it. Adam saying you can make big hoop earrings. Yeah. Or even a strip of earrings with gems hanging off the nice. bottom. Nice. Or a nice um, talk bangle. Yeah. You could do that as well. Or a branglet. I can't remember. We always mixed it up, didn't we? A, a branglet. A manklet. <laughs> it's, it's not a bangle. It's not a bracelet. It's, a, it's an in-between. So it's half bracelet, half bangle. Oh. Uh, Branglet. Branglet. I don't know. I might be saying that completely wrong. <laughs> £14.99 pence only. You get the little endings. What? Two, four, six, eight. Yes. Eight of them, Enough which makes sense. Each. Oh, no, there's more than that, isn't there? Two, because four, you've got six, eight, ten. There's ten. ten. Ten in total. Coming up on tomorrow's show, you're going to be joined by the lovely Carol. Um, and you have an eight o'clock, a 925 sterling silver wire early bird. At nine o'clock, you've got your seaside tassel cap and connector. Very exciting. Um, that's for lovely Monica. Uh, 10 a.m. is 40 carats of your beautiful Baltic amber ombre blue rounds. Ooh. Uh, 11 o'clock is all about your limited stock jet. Um, and then at 12 o'clock, you have your masterclass with Monica as well, which is going to be absolutely amazing. Uh, we're back with you now on Friday, jewelry makers. We have lovely Charlie joining us as well, so that's going to be incredible. I know that Dave is joining us at some point over the weekend on Friday too for faceted black, a faceted Ooh. black jade out bangle. Wow. From Guatemala. Sounds fancy. It does. When are you that beautiful? Um, I don't know actually. I'm on holiday in June, so I'm not I'm not in I'm not in, in June. But Aww. I'll be back in July. Well we look forward to it. Enjoy your holiday. Thank you. You deserve it. Yeah, we've been waiting for this. Yeah. For a long time. Well, you deserve it. <laughs> I'll see you on Friday. Enjoy the rest of the afternoon.